Oh my god, is it working? I don't think it's working. Maybe it is working. Wait, why does it say 0 0.5? No! It's kind of working. It's... It says level instead of LV. One minute. One minute. Why is it not working? It says say level. Oh, god damn it. I'm fixing so many things. Okay, there we go. Now that's fixed. Oh god! Why are there so many twos? We have a problem. It's it's close. It's almost working. It's Don't worry about it. It's fine. Everything's fine. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, that needs to be there we go. Okay, I think that'll work. Okay, the level is kind of working. The timer didn't reset when I leveled up. Okay, I gotta fix that. Or did it fix it? Dude, I don't even know. I think I have to make a, a delay in there. Of 10 MS. Okay, there we go. Okay, that totally worked. That worked that time. Kind of. I think that worked. I think it did. I'm just- I'm, I'm building this thing in the fly. Don't worry about it. I don't know why it's- <laughs> The math. Oh god, the math. Okay, so the math is working now. But it should actually be doing that differently. Hold up. It should be that, but like, times a hundred. Oh god. All of the math is wrong, Chad. I'm trying to fix it. I'm trying to fix it. Where's- where's the math? Oh god. Okay, hold up. I'm doing- I'm doing the math. It's fine. Times 100. There we- there we go. Okay, now I think the percent is gonna show the proper percent. I think. It's still gonna be really long. Oh god, that's not correct. Oh, I forgot. I forgot the dollar symbol. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about the math. It's fine. The math is fine. It's fine. It's fine. Alright, we're almost there. We're getting closer. It's got infinitely repeating threes now. That's fine. Um, God, what is what is the number for this? Shit. I don't know how to, I don't know how to limit it. How do I limit it so it's not super long? Oh, God. Someone has to do math here? No, dude, no math. Math is a villain. This is, like, almost working, though. It's so close to living. I didn't want it to spam the Discord anymore, so I made this whole UI today. Wait, where's the math? Oh shit. Wait, maybe if I go into my debt super chat system. I think I did math in there. I'm pretty sure I did math in there. Did I do math in there? Dude, I don't know if I did math in there. Oh man, maybe I have to do- Oh god, no. Oh god, no. Uh, I think I have to do C sharp to make this not shit. Oh god. Oh god, I don't want to. <laughs> Geosim's telling me I don't need C sharp. Geosim, how do I make this so the math isn't so long? <laughs> I just want it to be to like two decimal points. Not all of these decim- there's too many decimal points. Please save me. Save me from the math, Geosim. There's too much. Also, I don't know where my glasses are, and I have to go find them. Dude, I don't know how to truncate in streamer bot. I have no idea. I'm not using- I don't want to use C-sharp on it, I don't want to. It's over. It's over. There's too many. Oh god. Jusim's finding the syntax. I'm gonna go get my glasses. One moment. I can't see shit.
All right. I'm back. I think the timer is working, too. Oh, God, the timer is totally working. All right. <sighs> We're not doing it in C-sharp. I'm not doing it in C-sharp. We're doing it in streamer butt. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It'll be all right. We'll survive. Oh, God, everything is wrong. I'm not doing it in C flat. It works other than it doesn't fit the box. I know, we're going to do it to two. It'll be fine. I think everything else is working, too. I've changed some other things. Set that variable to OBS. What is the N? Is that like how many decimal points it is, Geosim? Dude, this is what I'm setting them. So what, how do I change that thing? Like, that's what's going into the GDI text. So I don't know... I don't know how I would change that. Ironically, this is easier to do with Cobalt. No, it's not. You take that back to the banking industry right now. How oh, dare you. How oh, dare you? You use Rust. How oh, dare you? Just means I'm more accurate? That's true. I'm so accurate right now. I love that the hype train is somehow still going while we're testing this. It, it does work, though. It is working perfectly. In fact, it's more accurate than Twitch's. So, it's, it's functioning. Look, it just, you leveled it up again. Look how awesome that is. Isn't that red? I do need to fix some of this, though. What is the N, though? Geosim, what does the N stand for? Do I need to put a... Is that a placeholder? Do I need to put something there? Okay, let's try this. Yeah, so that didn't work. At all. And now it's really upset. As you can see, now it just says the word math. It really does not like saying the word math. Yeah, this is not correct. change that back. Alright, I think it's correct now. Well, at least it'll go back to the way that it was. My version of incorrect. A different flavor of wrong. Alright, we're back to the flavor of wrong that that was. Yeah, it definitely does not like that in any respect. Standard numeric format string. Let's see, number... Yeah, it's not working at all. Oh, why don't we just do percent? Hold up. Why are we even doing this as math? Why why don't we just Why don't we just do this? Cuz if that P thing works, then we could just do P. Now we'll see what it does. I have no idea. Is it going to break? Waiting for it. Waiting for it. Hey! That kind of worked. I mean, sort of. It's got a, a space and then a percent for some goddamn reason. So, so this kind of works. Why does it have a space, though? I hate that it has a space. 
I hate that it has a space. Hey, wait, I'm changing to the... You, now you can just see it. I hate it. Why is it doing that? Where are the properties in this damn thing? Why is it space and then... Oh, God damn it. I hate it so much. You have no idea. It's so terrible. Well, what if, what if I did this? I have an idea. I have, I have an idea. Let me change this to an N and that should change it to a number. And we're going to see how many, I don't even know how many decimal places that would have. Oh, we can do N2. There we go. So now that'll do decimal places to two. That's good. That's good. That's doing it correctly. Then we could take this. One sec. How did I do math before? <laughs> Dude, I don't even know how to do math. This is what happens when you're a programmer, all right? You don't know how to do math. The computer always does it for you. You're constantly confused. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm going to try that. I don't know if that's going to work. It should be multiplying that by 100. <laughs> Why? Why can't you do that? You should be able to do that. Shit, I have to set this to a variable, don't I? This is going to make me set it to a, a global variable, isn't it? I have to set like an argument or some shit. Here, one sec. I'm going to copy this. I'm copying the sub-action. I'm pasting the sub-action. Putting it in there. Train percent. We're going to call it train percent. Go down into this. Grab this whole ugly thing. Put this in there. And then we're going to go down here, and we're going to say... Math. Train percent times 100. And then dollar symbol and percent. Oh, wait. I forgot to put the... Oh, god damn. I forgot. It's not going to work. No, it's over! Okay, I don't get to test it until the next hype, hype train. Ah! Well. I did everything I could in the time that I had. But I'm out of time. Thank you for the level 8 hype train, you absolute mad lads. Rip math. Alright. Look, it's me. I exist. So, what I was trying to do, before I got so rudely interrupted by it exploding, is I made a new system, and that new system does a whole bunch of shit. Where it actually takes your guys' percentages for the train from the Twitch Hype Train API. And then instead of putting it in a Discord, it actually puts it in a new UI that looks, well, like that. Like that did. If, if I turn that back on, let me go to effects front, and we're going to turn it back on. It looks like this. Well, that's not good. I mean, it's almost, it's, it's trying, I guess. I, I mean, I guess, right? I don't know why it says math now. Because, like, this right here is just doing percent decimal N2 to two decimal places. And then this one down here is just doing that value times 100. Man. <laughs> why not LBL? Because it has to fit double-digit levels in there. Alright. It's already got the closing thing. This is how it works. So, like, here, look. See this? Clo opening and closing. We're good. And then train percent. We're good. We had percent working? No, we didn't have percent working. It did not work. 
Train percent is not a string. I know how you're just making things up randomly. That's this right here, the argument train percent. To set the percent decimal. Just like this one is train width. Is set to this. I find it incredibly strange that we can't just set that directly, but I guess we can't set that directly. I guess the only Geosim, the only thing I can think of is we we might have to set that to a global variable. Which is dumb, frankly. I think this is a bug, like to be completely honest with you. I'm pretty sure not being able to do just this right here. I feel like not being able to do this is a bug. Legitimately. Like that, that should function. Because this in isolation works. Like that works, but this does not work. Which is sort of annoying, right? Unless we have to do that, which is really weird, right? Like, that feels like it'd be really wrong. Or we have to take this amount and then take that. You know what? You know what might work, actually? Maybe if we take this thing, put it like that, and then in here... We do train percent, right? We grab this thing. Ah, I think I know how to do this. N2. There we go. I think that works, right? Because we're, we're doing all the math with the math that worked. And then we're, we're sending it to OBS as that value N2'd. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, it's not even really about math. It's about it's about the streamer bot sending a thing that OBS. It's not a string. It's a variable. It's a variable. You're gonna be fine. I know. I know it's difficult. I understand. We can't hit test. If I hit test, it's just gonna send that as a string. It has to use live data. Live data is the only way. It doesn't work any other way. Now the other thing is, is on level, it's not actually updating the progress until the next one goes through. And on start, it's not. So I'm gonna have to do... I think... I think this works. Action. Run action. And I think we could do progress like this, and I could just call that a day. I'm pretty sure I could just be really lazy about this. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. Because then, progress is it just updating. Right? Right? I think it's good. I think that's the laziest way I could do that, because then this happens whenever it updates, but it... <laughs> I know this is weird, but when it levels up, that doesn't count as an update. It counts as a level up. That's a little bit strange. But it, that's what it does, so... Yeah, I don't know. It's a weird thing. Welcome to the API. You're a little bit strange, all right? How dare you. Okay, I'm gonna go back into here. I'm gonna go to the hype train. I'm gonna turn this off now. Wait, wrong one. Shit. Wait, wrong one. Shit. There we go. Slide away. Alright, we're good. Everything is good. It probably works now. We'll find out in an hour. <laughs> no, we don't do the percent N2 N on the outside. We don't do that. That's not how it works. And it's not even... No. That's not how that works at all. Because we've already done that before, and this doesn't work that way. We're just going to make things up. It's it's colon N2 on the inside of the variable. Is this amateur hour? No, this is trying to figure out streamer bots deeply annoying syntax randomly. Yeah. it's It goes like this, see? Train percent... N2, and then a percent symbol. That way, this is defining that it's a variable, and this is defining the thing is happening to that variable inside. Trust me, we've already done this. It's already done. It's, I have not tried using the upstrat. Upstrat may fix this. And we pulled this directly from Microsoft standard shit. So the way you do it from Microsoft standard shit right here. Where's the N? I swear to God, it's gone. 
There we go. There we go. N. See how it says N1 and N2 and N3? Yeah? Yeah? For the number of decimal places that it's going to go through? Yeah? Yeah? So we know it's correct. And we know it's correct because we tried it a minute ago, and it worked with the percentage. So it's, we're not using P because P does this. It goes like 00.00 space and then a percent, and that looks stupid. We want it to look like this, but it looks like this. And I can't remove this when it's P. So I have to set it to N and then apply my own percentage to the end of it. It's not OCD. It looks bad. It's called attention to detail. It formats it in the ugliest way possible. So we're doing it the hard way. And the hard way means that we have to first... Uh, first, we have to set that to a variable by multiplying it times 100 with math. And then we take that variable and then we go down here and then we're like, cool, now that variable pass it to OBS as a number with two decimals. And if this doesn't work, then shit. <laughs> I don't need to see the wiki.streamerbot platforms hype train. We already know what that is. I'm not worried with that. We already know how that works. See, like this right here, percent decimal, that's from that. We're good. I don't need any more. I don't need documentation. Thank you, ChatMD. Show OBS Raw? No. OBS Raw is not the problem. OBS Raw is how we control that bar increasing and decreasing in size. We've already read the manual. We've already read it. The only time that we can test this is with live data. So that's what I was doing. And it's good. We're good. YouTube, tu you're a YouTube tutorial. It's true. I'm not even lying to you. You're actually a YouTube tutorial. Also, what happened while I was fiddling with it? What happened? Did I miss something? Did something explode? Okay, there we go. Everything's working now. All right, we're good. You were fine. Don't worry, just the, the wheels, two of the wheels fell off, but they didn't matter, right? They were holding us back. It's good. It's good. Don't worry about it. Burn the manual. Yeah, see? It's cold outside, and the manual will keep you warm. Good. It's good. Can can you be our ferret? What does that even mean? Yeah, two wheels is how we could just make a motorcycle, right? It's it's shaped like a car, but it has two wheels, so it's a motorcycle now. Just an advanced motorcycle, you know. Appreciate your professionalism as a coder. I'm very professional, as you can see. Also, I think I fixed some other things. Who wants to get banned? There's a lot of people saying me. All right. Well, by the end of the stream, we'll see if you're worthy enough to get banned. We'll find out. <laughs> Ban all of chat? Eh, maybe not. Maybe not all of chat. I'm testing something. I'm testing something. All right. I'm going to try something right now. If you want to get banned... One moment. One moment. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. We're just, we're just going to try something, okay? It's a little bit of programming gone terribly wrong. Why, hello. Thank you for the 28. How you doing, Kalidor? I'm about to ban people in my chat. I don't know how many. We're going we're gonna to find out. I don't even know what this is. Uh, 
don't know what's gonna happen when I do this. Don't worry, I've I've got it. It'll be fun. <laughs> there, there are a lot of bands. So just give me a moment. It's not gonna be like J. Maybe it'll be like J. Schlatt. Maybe it will. But it's gonna be in your. It's gonna be your fault. So, and you will be unbanned afterwards. We're just trying to see if this works. I don't know if it will. It looks like it's going alright. It looks like it's working. We're skipping the queue, so that's fine. Okay. Okay, it's not running like shit. Looks like it's good, going good. What, what was the reason that I was putting in this thing? I don't know if this is going to work or not. But we're going to find out. Alright, chat. If you want to be banned right now, if you want to be banned, please type, I volunteer as tribute. Fantastic. Wonderful. It's working. Oh, it's working. It's a lot of you got, a lot of you are getting banned right now. They to you know, I've been saying for years that this isn't a cult, but I'm, I'm a little worried that it is now. I'm a little worried. There are so many of you. I think on YouTube side it doesn't work, by the way. <laughs> it's definitely working on Twitch. <laughs> okay, stop. Cease. Cease, you goblins. I'm turning... Oh, God, wait. No, it didn't work. It didn't work. Stop. Stop. Oh, God, it's too fast. All right, we're good. Okay, I've ended it. I've ended it. I've ended it. Oh, it's still banning. Oh, shit, it's still banning. <laughs> <laughs> Cease! Cease, you fools! Okay, well, I've turned it off. It's chewing through all of your messages. Just wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. I need to find out how many of you just did this. Um, I'm Just to let you know, I put in the ban reason as dumb. That was the ban reason. It's still banning people. Even though it's edited. It's still banning. It's still banning. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Okay, I think it's done banning. I'm going to apply this filter. Somehow it's not finding any of you. I have to control F5 the page. Please. I want the reason... Oh, God damn it. It has to load all the chat bands again. It's going to go load all, like, 3,000 chat bands. You're not getting permanent banned. I'm unbanning you in a moment. I just have to wait for the tool to, like, recognize that you exist. <laughs> You're not banned permanently. Just wait. Just wait. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. How many bans? We're going to find out in a moment. It's literally loading them. One Hi, Bezos. Bezos is here now. I'm... I'm just give him, give him a minute, all right? I'm, just, I'm loading the bands. I know. I know you want them to watch. I know. There, wait. I'm applying the filter. Oh, Jesus Christ. How many of you... You guys are so dumb. <laughs> it's just a wall. Okay. Remove all bands listed below. 178 of you are dumb. I'm unbanning you now. 178 of you are dumb. That's a lot of dumb. That's a lot of dumb. Proud of you. You're getting unbanned. There it goes. The system works. The system works. I'm happy with this. It's still... It's a little slow, though. We're still having throughput issues. What exactly does the system do? Reads all of your messages, and then bans you when you're dumb. That's what it does. It's like Nightbot, but angrier. That's kind of how that goes. Yeah. And now you're unbanned. Thirst and drinking water? This is water, actually. It's got no sugar in it. It's got no sugar substitute. It's got no calories. It's carbonated water and strawberry flavor. There's nothing in it. It's like drinking TV static. Created by a man that remembered what someone else described as a strawberry. It's basically what that is. Yeah.
like the faintest, most incorrect hint of a strawberry that could ever exist. Is what that is. Mothman. Mothman. What do we need to change Mothman to? What kind of a model does he need? I was never banned before. Congratulations. Oh, wait. I need to go look, too. So many of you guys have a ban now. What is a ban reason? Pirate software banned Miss Muede. Muede? I can't even pronounce that. With reason. Dumb. <laughs> it went on your permanent record. If you got banned in that, you permanently have a mod note that says that you're dumb now. <laughs> Anytime a mod clicks on you, they're gonna be like, this guy's dumb. Holy shit. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Perma dumb, dude. Anyway, mods. I've unbanned them all. You're good. I've unbanned every one of them. At least I think so. Some of you may have died for democracy during that. I don't I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah. It says reason <laughs> dumb. Oh uh, it does this. It just says reason. Dumb. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. It's so good. Yeah, sacrificial, but at least we t we tested you know. We tested the new system. Democracy works. What are you coding? Well, I was coding a way to ban people in chat for being dumb, and it worked. There were 178 people who now have a permanent record that says that they're dumb on them, which is really funny. It works like a charm. Just a little bit. I, I feel like it was pretty, you know, charming to watch that happen. I'm learning all the nuance of being a streamer here. This is the nuance of being... Don't learn anything from me. <laughs> Not about streaming. That's a terrible plan, right? Oh, uh, Is that 10 gifted subs? Thank you very much, dude. That's outrageously nice of you. So, we've got a couple of new things in the stream today. If you guys are just tuning in. I've got some new stuff that's going on that's kind of cool. And I'm kind of excited about that. What else do we have? I think we have some other stuff, too. Um, What's on my calendar today? Oh, God. Uh, what day is it? Hey! You know, there's nothing happier to me than looking at my Google Calendar and seeing one thing on it, which is just the stream. It's been weeks without a day that's like that. It's been weeks. Weeks. Without a day that's just stream. Huh. <sighs> Oh, by the way, I'm sure by the end of the day it'll be filled up with meetings. There's nothing I can do about that, so. <laughs> oh, we've got like 10 hours for people to bother me about meetings. Yeah. What is reason dumb? Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna... Just gonna get rid of that. Now you don't know. Is that his new house? No, 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 no. So, the new house... I'm in this, like, scary... This is the scariest moment, right? I don't know how common this is in other countries, but in the United States, we have this thing called earnest money. And basically what happens is you take a certain percentage of the house and you put it down and you're like, I'm really going to buy this house. And they go, all right, you put money on the table. That money goes in my pocket. And if the thing goes through, then you get money. Then, then I get the money and it's part of the down payment, right? Like basic, basic shit. So I've already paid the earnest money on this. Pay the earnest money on it. Now, it's like a deposit, yeah. Now, here's the problem. If things go to shit and it's my fault, <laughs> I lose that money, which is horrifying. If things go to shit and it's their fault, then I get the money back, right? Yeah, scary, right? Scary. If I screw it up, I lose it. Right now, the loan is going to be a thing. And the loan is, like, mostly finished. They're in final approvals. The house has to be bought in four days. And the loan man is like, hey, it's going to be fine. Don't worry about it. And I'm like, dude, there's four days left. There's four days left, dude. Please. Please, you're killing me. You're killing me, man. And um, if the loan doesn't get approved, then this would be my fault. So, that's... No, it is enough days. They're telling me it's enough days. I'm just deeply horrified by this. I am deeply... Yes. 
They're telling me it's fine. They're te- the lone man is telling me it's fine. But I'm scared to shit of this. Yeah. Are you sweating thinking about that right now? Yes. There's a deep amount of fear in my bones about this. Also, thank you for the $50 to the moderators. Rick Rue 59 That is incredibly nice of you. Thank you. So, that freaks me out. However, if it works, then it works and everything is fine. Also, the ISP man has contacted me. The ISP man has given us an amount of money that it's going to cost to put in the internet, but he has to do final approvals to find out if that amount actually makes sense, which is good. It's terrifying, but it's good because that means we're going to be able to get, and this is, this is awesome, a three gig up and down connection on the house. Which means we can run, we can run whatever, the, whatever the hell we want. And it'll come with an SLA, a service level agreement, which means that if, if it ever goes down, ever, they send a man out to fix it immediately. Or they have to pay me money. Which is really funny. Yeah. I can do whatever the hell I want of that. And it's a business line, so I can really do whatever the hell I want of that. Which is great. Which means I can start running a server infrastructure out of the new house. What's an SLA? Service level agreement. Meaning if the internet goes down... For too long, they give me monies, which is hilarious. Exactly what I want. Yeah. We can do whatever we want with it. They said I could go up to 10 gig, but that was prohibitively expensive, and I don't want to deal with that. I don't need 10 gigs up and down. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. By 3 gig, do you mean 2.3? No, I mean by 3. I didn't mean 3. It's, it's fiber to the house. It's fiber to the land. Yeah. Yeah, the SLA is the big one, dude. That's the big one. So it's a business line. It'd be a whole thing. So this is the thing. This defined prohibitively? Do you want to pay like $3,000 a month for internet? No. No one does. That's ridiculous. No human being should do that. So no. I don't want 10 gigs up and down. Yeah, that's dumb. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a ridiculous amount. Nobody needs that. Nobody needs that. Yeah, you don't need 10 gig yet. I'm never going to need that. Never going to. Business towers? I'm not a business tower, right? We're running like two streams off the land. Maybe I'll run, th- maybe I'll run three. Maybe I'll run five. I don't know what I need. We're going to have 3 gig. It's fine. It's going to be good. How much is 3 gig? I don't even know yet. I have no idea. But that, that was the things that they were quoting me for in that. So, with that in mind, they have to build it. Building it. If I could type. God damn it. Building it. Uh, I don't know how much time that's going to take. I have no idea. So, I'm probably going to be living here. Until we find out how much time that's going to take. And then I probably won't move until we find out how much time. And then it's done. Until it's done, I will likely be living here. And then when it's done, I'm going to go from here to there. And then I'll live there. And it'll be good. Maybe that's writing. You don't know what it is. Are you paying for building the infrastructure? We're going like percentage with them on it. So the way that I swung it was like this. Because they were like, hey, it's going to be a lot of money. And I was like, I don't have that kind of money. What if I had less money? And you paid some of it, and I signed a contract where we worked with you for a certain number of months. And they were like, I like that. And now they're trying to figure out what the counteroffer to that is. But it looks like if I sign on to a contract with 60 months with them, they will make that, like, way less money. So that's what I'm looking at right now. And they're going to come back with a, with a thing. Yeah, I'm not going to – I'm going to be real with you. When I move to the new place, I'm going to die in that house. Like, I'm fine with that. It's on well water. I don't have to give a shit. Why commit? Because I don't have to give a shit. Once I live there, I don't have to care. I get, just, I get to be in the middle of a forest with internet at three gigs up and down. I don't have to give a shit. I don't have to give a shit. Like that's... Yes. I get to die there on a piece of land where I build a ferret rescue. Done. Finished. What's well water? Water off of the municipal grid. Off of the... I don't have to pay for water. I just have to pay for power. Power's terrifying. Pretty sure you still got a poop? Septic. Don't have to care. Don't have to care. Wonderful. Indoor plumbing? Yes. And, and, flash water heater. Infinite hot water. I could lay in the shower like a sponge human until I die. Just baking like a lobster. I can't wait. One day solar, maybe. The, the fears that I have now, too, there's two things that I have to do, which is horrifying. The house is like 30 years old, which is not that long, right? But here's the problem. It never had a change of roof. Roof is bad. Roof's sad. So in the summer, 
I'm going to have to change the roof, and that's going to suck. And then also, I noticed something around the windows. See, the windows have that, like, shitty wood around them. And I reached out and I touched it. And my finger went through it like a sponge. Not good. Not good. It's not great. So I took this to the dude selling the house. And I was like, hey, man, I want like 45K off the house. And he was like, you can eat my entire ass. And I was like, well, you got to give me something. He's like, I'll do it for 20K. And I was like, done. That'll pay for all this anyway. I didn't even want 45K. Done. Negotiation. Negotiation. He took it off the price of the house. Done. Finish. Don't have to care. Not termites. Mold. Mold. Hey, who needs a roof in Washington? Well, the roof is there. It's just covered in moss. And the moss is like peeling it up. Yeah, 20k for a roof is pretty normal there. Because they do uh they do like the tar roof stuff, and it's easy. Yeah. Mold is so costly. It's it's not costly when it's isolated. And the reason it's not costly when it's isolated here is because we build our houses out of wood. So when one of them is broken, we basically just ship a Theseus the house. And we're just like, whatever. Unplug it. Plug in a new thing. Walk away. Who gives a shit? Right? Because it doesn't really spread in our houses. It's not a mold roof. It's a moss roof. It's different. Yeah, we just don't have to give a shit. We don't have to care. Mold doesn't matter here. We just unplug it, plug it in. Who needs windows? Bah. Is it still the same house? No. House of Theseus. No one cares. It's easy. Yeah, just give it penicillin. That's fine. So yeah, um, this is all the stuff that I have to deal with right now. Oh, oh, wait, wait. There's one more thing. The corporation has been formed. And the reason I know it's been formed is because next to me I have a pile of papers about this thick of scam mail for the corporation. It hasn't officially been formed. I don't even have the papers of incorporation yet, but I'm getting all the scam mail already, which is great. A lot of them are like, hey, you have to pay us $133 so that we can print out this thing and then put it up on, you have to put it up on your wall by federal law. It's like a document to like for your employees because I'm technically an employee of the corporation now, right? And um, here's the thing. The federal government gives you this for free. So there's all these companies trying to get me to pay them to print out a thing that the government already gives me for free that I just print out myself. Cool scam. Pretty good scam, actually. Like, I'm kind of impressed by how many people have contacted me about this scam. It's a lot of paper. It's a shitload of paper. It's ridiculous. Like, the amount of trees that have died to this scam must be enormous. If I'm getting this, this much, you know. Do they give you a nice frame? No, I'm just going to go to, like, I don't even know where I'm going to go. I'm going to go to, like, some shitty store and buy a crap frame. I'm going to go to Target. I'm going to go to Target and get the shittiest frame I can. The cheapest, shittiest frame. And I'm just going to print it out and put it there. Just sue yourself and take everything you've got. You know, I feel like that's not a bad idea. I'll form the corporation, I'll fill it with money, and then I'll sue me. That's a good, I that's a good idea. It's a good idea. I'm sure that'll work out. Yeah. It's a good idea. America. America. I was hospitalized new ferret. So I'm pretty worried about the new ferret. We've got So we had we had this this family. Um they contacted a whole bunch of different like uh vets. And the vets wanted a shitload of money to try and solve the problem for this ferret. This ferret has neurological symptoms. Neuro symptoms are really hard to deal with. He can only turn left. He is unable to like move his mouth correctly. When his mouth touches something, he tries to bite it incessantly, like typewriter biting, so he can't control his jaw. He can't control his face. Um, when he gets near food, you can see he gets near it, and he gets frustrated and mad, and then he yawns because he doesn't know how to open his mouth to put his tongue out to eat. Neuros, neuro problems are really tough. Really, really tough. His brain has to basically relearn how to move his body, right? Right now. He is better than he was before. He had some blood stuff that was elevated, we have now brought that back in line, and he hasn't fully recovered. So, we have a CT scans done, where they do a scan of the whole body and the brain. Those CT scans have to go to radiology in the next day or two, right? This costs a lot of money, this whole thing. I think it's going to cost about 4 k in total, which is paid for out of the ferret rescue funds from you guys watching ads on that channel. So it pays for it, all of it. The reason that we're going the extra mile for this is... If the CT returns that there's nothing wrong with his brain, then we will give him as long as he possibly needs. We will take him home, take care of him, syringe feed him, do everything we can so that he can come back to health. It's not 4K for a CT scan. He's actually in there 
on fluids, round the clock care. There's all kinds of other stuff that they're doing for him. It is not just the, the CT scan is, was like 700 bucks, I think in total. And Shea gets a 40% discount because Shea is, works in exotic vet med. There is so much other shit going on. They've had him for like five days, right? So it's, it's a lot. It's full intensive care for like five days. And he's doing fantastic as a result of that. So it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah, it's everything. It's everything all together. So with this in mind, there are two options here. This is the way that it goes, right? One is it turns out not to be a brain issue. We take him home. We work with him. We try to improve his quality of life. If it doesn't improve, then we have to make a choice there. Two, it's a brain tumor. If it's a brain tumor, we have to euthanize because there's nothing we can do. And it's not fair to put him through that. We don't know which way this is going to go, right? The way that I look at it is this. You guys watch that channel so much. The ad revenue from that is insane. And it allows us to take a chance on situations like this because that animal's life is worth it. It is worth it to give him a chance until we know for sure. And if it turns out that it doesn't work out, then we did everything we could. And if it turns out it does work out, then he gets to lead, hopefully, a normal life, right? So that's really what it is. It's life, but you look at it very realistic. That's why I like you so much. Yeah, I, I, I'm doing my best on this stuff. It's rough, too. It's not easy. You know, it's, it's really not easy. It's one of the shed ferrets. No, 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 no. They're okay. They're doing fine. Uh, the shed ferret, uh, the only one that was having a problem that was a man in a shed was one that had a cordoma, which is a uh, tumor on his tail. And that was Peepo. So she, rather. Uh, we had the le back half of her tail removed and she's totally fine. She's healing and she's cool. So she calls her Peep. I call her Peepo. Yeah. So this is one of the two new ones. They, um, they finally contacted uh, Shay's boss who was going to have them go to the Humane Society and then Shay's boss contacted us instead and was like, yo, do you want to take these two? And I was like, yes, we can we can figure this out because they couldn't find anyone. They couldn't do it because the, the cost is too high. The cost is too high. Shay's boss, Shay works in an exotic vet clinic. So, yeah, Shay goes, Shay goes to work every Tuesday and Thursday, 10 hours a day each day. How many ferrets total now? 33. I think we might be at 34. There have been so many new ones I need to find out. Also, Shay just gave me all of the images for them. So if we pull those up, let me grab those. One sec. Boop. Arise. There we go. Yeah, we've got all of the ferret images now, which is pretty cool. I'll show you. Oh, God. Why is this? Stop that. I don't want that. you Ta-da. Look at them all. Look at them all. Look at them all. It's all mugshots. All them. So we're going to have these up on the website. And this is the one. There he is. That's the one that has the neural problems. I got, a, I got a picture of him with his tongue out today. He's very cute. He was trying very hard to eat, but he just doesn't know how to do it. His uh, The neural problems are just a, a bit much. What is this? Here we go, pull this up. Grabbing it. There we go. Yeah, so I actually put this out on Twitter, and I said, added a clinic with new arrival to the ferret rescue. Came to us with neurologic issues. We've got him stable with good vitals. Waiting on CT results to hopefully determine cause. Neuro issues can take a long time to resolve. Hoping CT doesn't discover something untreatable. And that's really what it is. So here he is. You can see he's got a little bit of what's called orbital tightening, tightening right there. Um, and he's pulled his whiskers back. This means that he's in pain. So he's got some kind of facial pain that's going on. That They've got him on gabapentin to try and fix that, right? And then here, this is, he was trying to eat, um, it's, it's called carnivore care. It's like a soup stuff. It smells awful. Mostly egg. It, it gives him a lot of fats, so it can try and uh, increase the amount of weight that they can gain because it's really high density in there. Is, look at him. So his tongue is working. That's working automatically, which is good. He didn't bite his tongue or anything. But look, he's just so worn out, dude. He's just, you can see just the the sadness you know so we're doing everything we can yeah you can see he's real tired and uh he can't move right and you can tell it's frustrating the shit out of him so we're doing everything we can for him but he's he looks good when he looks good you know do you have to force feed him no he can't move his mouth properly so what we do is we take a syringe well a plastic tip not like a needle tip 
and you put it into his mouth and you just whoop, and then he goes nom, 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 and you just do it again and again and again and syringe feeding takes a while that it frustrate he's frustrated because he can't operate his face and he knows he can't operate you can see it too he he gets like a little body language thing when he's trying would you name him his original name is henry so we haven't changed it but uh the owner originally wanted to name him link and his sister zelda so we might name them link and zelda might change to those names yeah 100 percent need to keep henry we're trying to we're trying to how does this happen so Ferrets with neurologic issues like this, the reason why I'm super concerned is the owners told us that he has always been a little wobbly and his symptoms have just slowly increased over time. And I'm like, shit, man, because that that means a much higher chance of it being a tumor, like a much higher chance. And I'm like, I'm really worried that it's going to be that because I don't want him to be like this, you know? Yeah, I, I don't want it to be that thing, but that's that's what it is, you know? So we're waiting to see. Yeah, it's not... it. Every part of me is like, this is not good. The story is probably not going to be a fun one. But I'm still hoping it's going to be fun, you know? Yeah. I hope I'm not right, but I feel like I'm right. And that's that's the worst part. What happened with his old owners? They surrendered him to us and surrendered his sister to us because they couldn't afford it. Uh, you'll, you'll find a lot of the times people who are good owners can't afford this kind of stuff, right? They just can't. Like, think about it this way. In order to just get discovery on what could go wrong has been $3,700. Just to get discovery. Like, we don't even know. It could totally turn out that, that he's not going to make it. This is discovery. Yeah. So when you're dealing with exotics, you're dealing with incredibly high amounts of money. And that's why it's like, as a rescue, we can do this kind of stuff, right? And that's with our discounts. Yeah, that's with our 40% discount. So when you're looking at this kind of stuff, dude, like... The grand majority of people cannot afford this. They can't. It, it, yeah. Because you guys watch that channel, we can do this kind of stuff. That care is such a scam, so sad. It's incredibly expensive. Insanely so. For an exotic animal, it's, it's doubly so expensive. Because you have very specialized veterinarians that work on this stuff. Incredibly specialized. Like, exotic vets are not a cheap thing. Yeah, it's not a cheap thing. Yeah, so is human care? Yes, it is. What other pets do we have? We have a cat. His name is Meatball. <laughs> he was a stray. <laughs> he wouldn't leave. And then one day there was going to be uh, frozen rain. And she was like, can we bring him in for a day? And I was like, God damn it. And then Shay brought him in the house. And now he's just, he's never left. He just lives here now. And he screams all the time. Yeah. Screams all the time. Can it be fixed? Uh, the ferret? We don't know yet. We have to find out. I'm hoping so. But like, that's kind of where that is right now. But Yeah. We work really, really hard on this stuff, man, and it is insanely expensive, but because you guys watch that channel, we can do this. So thank you, because your actions of watching ads on the internet, surprisingly, is doing a shitload of good in the world. So thank you. Thank you for doing that. The channel is ferrets.live. I hope you're wrong. I hope I'm wrong too, man. I know enough about, like, ferret medicine and like ferret medical stuff that uh, I don't think I'm wrong, but I hope I am. If I'm wrong, it'll, it'll be a very pleasant surprise. Yeah. If you need to pay more than $200 in Sweden, you get it for free. Likely not for animal medicine. Likely not. Can Meatball be fixed? The Meatball is, is fat. The problem that Meatball has is that he's a fat ass and we feed, we've been feeding him less and all it's done is increased his level of screaming. And he's, he's learned to tune his screaming to not sound like an old man, but instead to sound like a small, high-pitched, obnoxious baby. Yeah. He's also learned that if he steps directly under your feet as you're walking, he'll get attention. Animal. Is Meatball geriatric? No, Meatball's like two years old and obnoxious. He's just a fat ass. He's a he's a fluffy fat ass. That's what he is. Smart, not wise, but smart. He's a little smart. He's more of a smart ass. Meatball is precious. You want him? <laughs> Meatball dedicated stream? No, dude, I can't. Got a picture of him? I don't know. 
I think so. I'd have to ask Shay. I think Show's got a or Shay's got a bunch of photos of let me go on Twitter and look. From River Makes Meatball. Oh my god. Found a picture. There you go. I told you, man, he's a fatty. Look at him. Look at this fat ass watching watching TV. Look at him. That's what he does. He complains. He complains constantly. Until you let him watch TV. And he, you have to be holding him like a baby while he watches TV. He is an absolute chonker, dude. Look at this. Look at this animal. Look at him. Look. Just, just look at this. Just look at him. He's so chonky. He is an absolute chonk. We keep reducing his food and it's not working. He's just staying fat. He's decided to become screaming and fat. He's just a chubby ferret. He's a really fat, fat boy. Also, if you um, if you put a harness on him, I want to show you what he does. When you put a harness on, because we wanted to take him for walks, right? We're like, oh, I would take the cat for walks. Maybe he'll be less fat. This is what he does. He just lays there like he's dying. And if you try to pull on the harness, he just slides across the floor like he's dead. And that's all he does. He's like, all right, well, cool walk, dude. Yeah. He just lays there. He's a goblin animal, dude. Absolute goblin animal. He also doesn't want to go outside anymore. Oh, I did find out. I think his original owners abandoned him. And the reason why is every time cardboard boxes come out and we start filling things with cardboard boxes, he freaks out. So I think his last owners just put him outside and just left. Like they moved away. So he's got like some weird... He's, I've never seen a cat react that way to like me packing boxes, but he gets really upset. So I, I do... Because th- we found him outside. Like he was a he was a stray. And he was clearly like a like an indoor cat that had become a stray. So I think it's that. It makes the most sense to me. But he's he's an indoor cat. He's an in, Don't worry, he's got a home. He's fat as shit. He's fine. <laughs> he gets to lay around inside and bitch about food. That's his whole life now. He's fine. So don't worry. He's fat. He's big chonky. He's going to be all right. Also, Bezos is about to be here. How long have you had him? Like a year. Yeah. He's fat because of lack of activity? No, he's not. Do you know why he's fat? Because we cut his balls off. And then he got fat afterwards. Because fat cats that have a shit little muscle, and then you cut off their balls, you know what they do? All that muscle turns into sugar, and then they turn fat. He's fine. He's just... fixed. Just ballless. Yeah. We stole his balls, and he got fat. Yeah. That's what happens. It's not lack of activity, trust me. He gets- he plays every day. He's got a shitload of toys. He runs around the house like a horse. He's good. Like a horse. Hello, Eds. How you doing there, Bezos? You happy about- look at this. Oh, Neuron activation. Does he do night zoomies? Dude, he does all day zoomies. He literally runs around the house like a horse. Like he gallops. It's wild. What's up with the bit goal? I, I'm not doing it until the house goes through. I'm not supposed to pay any large amounts of money or it could endanger the loan. So I'm just like waiting. And I have all this debt racked up to you guys. I'm basically becoming Jerma is the problem. I have like three bit goals. I've got like a shitload of debt to charity. I've got all this debt piling up and I'm just waiting for the in four days. I can stop being Jerma is basically how this feels. It's so upsetting. You have no idea. Oh. What's the interest on our debt? Don't worry about it. It's, it's probably none. It's probably, don't, wor- don't worry about it. It'll be fine. No interest. Snail's house counts as a charity? No, it does not. We are not a 501c charity. It is part of pirate software. Structurally, part of pirate software. It's not 7%. No, it's not. It's 0%. Zero. 
Zero is the next best seven. What is TTSQ? Oh, shit. Read the, read the pinned comment. I'm going to go put it in the YouTube side, too. What's the point of neutering him just to prevent breeding? Let me tell you right now. If you don't neuter a male cat, he's going to hump all of your blankets. Just letting you know. As a male cat owner, I really don't like having all my blankets molested in such a way. So, that stops being a pr problem. He also will keep spraying on things to mark it if he still had his balls. Not great. Not great. But yeah. You ever had a male cat spray on something? It's not like pee. It's like condensed pee. Like pee times 1,000. In a specific spot that you will then have to carve out of your home and throw away. There is no way you could ever possibly get that smell out. No matter how many products state that they will, they won't. I may know this specifically because of the fact that I've had male cats before. There's no escape from it. No escape. No enzyme cleaner, none of that shit will ever get rid of it. You have to cut that portion of your house out and throw it away. Is it a TV? Gone. Is it a wall? Remove it. Gone. Floor? Gone. Cement? Probably still gone. Probably still gone. It is the most pungent, most powerful thing on the planet. Fire will do it? I don't even think it will. You know why? Because I feel like if you lit it on fire, it would go up into the air and just stick to everything else. And then you just have to throw the whole house away. Right? Then it's just all gone. Just get rid of it. Just get rid of all of it. No, female cats don't do that. Only boy cats do. Only boy cats. So. Neutered. No more balls. No problem. Although I will tell you, because he had grown up with balls and now he doesn't have them, he still humps the blankets, which is upsetting. I wish he wouldn't. It's gross. It's gross. I can't do anything about it. Anyway, let's do the queue. Now we're an hour into the stream. <laughs> there were so many updates. I actually have an update video coming out soon. Soon. Is this going to work? Do I have this set up correctly? Is this broken? Did I break this? Me as a VT has obtained the cursed quest. Nice. Miyaza, are you there? Are you there? Art. Cooking. Potato. Choose. Choose. Miyazu VT, are you there? We got away from Miyazu. Is Miyazu there? User. Miyazu. Are they gone? Is Miyazu gone? No! Okay, well, they're not here. Damn. I waited an hour and 12 minutes. They didn't stick around. Well. Guess we don't have it. Next. Troy Tech with 500 bits said your, wait, after I called you as cool as a loaf of fresh baked bread was immaculate. Speaking of feisty Latinas, there's someone doing a Google campaign to dethrone Mouse, but if you thought the whole feisty Latina thing was funny, wait till you see the counting art. I'm linking two vids you need to watch when you have 10 minutes to lose your mind laughing. The first link video first, then the second https colon slash slash w. I will watch both of these. I don't know, what is the feisty Latina thing? I need to know, because Mouse is hilarious, and I keep hearing this, because I, I watched the original thing, where everyone was making fun of, like, everyone was making fun of Iron Mouse, it's this whole thing. I'm not going to watch it right now, but I think it's hilarious. It's the sea dog thing, yeah. Connor made a dumb joke on a YouTube short, is that all it is? Wah. I like how Chad is agreeing with it. Connor and her always go back and forth. Dude, I know. We've been playing Helldivers together and it's hilarious to me. It's really funny. 
My favorite moment out of like out of all the hell diving we've done, my favorite moment so far was blowing Connor up using mines and then him freaking out, turning around a corner while screaming and then dying on a Tesla tower that I put down as well. <laughs> oh, it was so good. It was so good. I was so, I was already dead too. So it's not like you could do anything. It was too late. We lost the mission. It was great. It was fantastic. It's everything that it should have been. It's good democracy. There's a large amount of democracy. You saw it live. It's so funny. <laughs> Who's got the clip of that, man? That was the funniest damn thing. I did. I died by the same tower. I jumped off the hill and I was like, I don't even know what the range of the end dead. It's great. Helldivers is super fun. I'm level 30 in Helldivers now, by the way. I finally unlocked Helldive, Helldiver rank. And then also, I learned some shit. You ready for something cool? There's some sh secret shit that they're doing in Helldivers. I'm actually really excited about this. Where is this? It was inside of our... I think it was in our democracy chat. Let me go pull this up. So Rubber Ross was showing me some shit. The way that Helldivers is actually testing its new stuff is probably the most brilliant that I've ever seen a game do it. It's incredibly smart. What they're doing is they're saying, hey... Your, your mission has a new experimental technology from command. And look at this. Wait. What? Oh, what? So certain missions you go on, there are mechs now. And they're doing live testing of these new features that are coming out soon by secret dropping them into random missions with people. So people are getting walking mechs. Yeah. It's a really smart way of doing it, of like, command is giving you experimental technology, get out there and fight, soldier. You know, like, it's such a good way to try this. It's A-B testing. It's live A-B testing, yes. It's very, very smart. It's incredibly smart. And if you look, it's not even the hardest difficulty mission. It's a, it's a difficulty seven. We do difficulty nines. So, like, that's good. That's a really cool way to do it. And it's not just tanks. It's not just tanks. Yeah, look, yo, I got a mech lobby in Helldivers 2. Cool as shit, right? There's another one. Check this shit out. An armored personnel carrier stratagem is appearing in Helldivers 2 matches. There are now three unreleased player-controlled stratagems. Mech, recon vi uh, vehicle, and APC. So look at this. You can get a you can get a whole, like, APC, armored personnel carrier now. If I can actually play it. Look at that. And it's got, like, turrets and shit on it. So, like, dude, they've got some new stuff that's coming out. And, like, we know we can see it. And the way that they're dropping this into missions for testing is brilliant. It's brilliant. Yeah, exactly. And if it's buggy, oh, it's experimental tech. Exactly. It's experimental tech, Diver. Don't worry about it. Command will fix those bugs. It'll be fine. There's We got some kinks to work out. Brilliant way to do this. Honestly, incredibly smart. I love seeing this because this is an evolution on testing. An evolution on, on dropping new content into a live service game. Where you don't just give it to the entire community. And then the community is like, this is buggy as shit, and they throw it away, and they hate you. Dropping it into small areas as experimental technology on missions, brilliant. Really, really smart way to do this. Less jobs for QA It is not less jobs for QA. You don't know how the development process works if you think that's the case. Stop that. Sit down. Yeah, this is, this is a brilliant way to do this. QA is already testing this exactly the same amount, no matter what. The public is going to find bugs whether QA found them or not. That's how that works. The, the public does not replace quality assurance. It never can. And spreading that kind of stuff means that you don't work in QA. Ridiculous. No. I always, like, I'm going to be here with you. I hate that narrative. And the reason that I hate that narrative is because it shows a deep misunderstanding of how quality assurance actually works. I, I spent much of my career in quality assurance. You are testing things constantly. Wrote as much as you possibly can. The public finds exploits. That's what they do. They find ways to use that tech in ways that QA couldn't think of. They find shit that's broken as hell. Weird edge cases. That's what the public finds. QA is not there to find that. QA is there to find everything else. That's the point. So, no. Does not replace QA, and it should never be seen as replacing QA. And if you spread that, you're, dim you're literally diminishing the work of QA. 100%. And making it seem like it's just random people out in the world. That's not how it works. Yeah, you can't find all the bugs. You just find most of them. 
And to be real with you, the fact that those things run at all means QA did their job. Yeah. Not to mention bugs caused by the insane amount of hardware variations there are. Bingo. Yeah. Um, generally, the way that that works inside of the, the industry for testing that kind of stuff, you have something called a compat lab. So a compat lab is a laboratory where you have a shitload of different machines, and all those different machines allow you to test the game on those different hardwares. And you're still gonna, you're gonna have tons of bugs there. Compatibility laboratory. Yeah, compatibility lab. Compat lab is, is generally for that, is for finding hardware configurations that don't work for the game. Super normal. Yeah. Yeah, wide range of specs. And it, you, you do that for phones, you do that for, for PC, you do it for all kinds of shit. The only time that that's not like that is with console. But console has incredibly difficult constraints. You have to go through TCRs and TRCs in order to get on a console in the first place, and they have to do all these reviews, and there's certain colors you can't have on the console. There's certain UI elements you can't have on the console. There's all kinds of weird shit that you can or cannot have, right? Whole kind of a thing. Nice. Sniped him. Hmm... Hmm. What did that one do in the Ferret Software channel, Kronos? Now I want to know. I have I have an interest. <laughs> By the way, uh, just to let you know, when you say some rude shit in Ferret Software, you get banned in the rest of the community. That that channel is also us. Just gotta put that out there. It's gonna be real. Yeah. Not the smartest move. Yeah, some rude shit. We've had people go over there and say outrageous stuff, and then come back and be like, Why was I banned from the Discord? And we're like, We are also banned here. You own ferrets? I run a ferret rescue here in Washington State. We actually rescue ferrets from around the state of Washington. And then, um, save them from euthanized, like being euthanized, basically. Do everything we possibly can to save their lives. And you can go and watch it. I'll show you. You can see them at any time. Over on ferrets.live. Look at them. They're currently sleeping in night vision land. Well, they're eating right now, it looks like. Oh, they poured all their food out into the bed, and they're eating it. Wonderful. Who's that? Who are you wiggling? They're a night vision camera right now because they're in the dark. Because the, uh, the dark helps them produce more melatonin, so that it will counteract the effects of adrenal, which basically every ferret gets. So, Glad to see you're better. I'm doing a lot better, yeah. Midnight snacks. I think they're eating midnight snacks. We we have so many of them in this area that we had to change out the food location. I think their bowl was getting cleaned or something. Shay put one of my bread pans in there. <laughs> so my glass bread pan is in there filled with food. Is Bean still in horny jail? Yes, unfortunately. That will be fixed eventually. I think Shay took this down for some reason. I need to find out why that was taken down. Maybe they were peeing on it. I bet they were peeing on it. Yeah. Are you going to play Helldivers 2 today? I don't know. Let me contact the dudes. I'll let him know. I'll let him know that I'm available for diving. You done with BG3? I'm not done with BG3. I... I have so little time. You were supposed to play Helldivers with Baru, but you got sick. I know. I know. I want to play with Baru, too. Baru is good shit. Where is Baru? Baru. Goblin Plague has left my body. When are you able to democracy? Question mark. There we go. Also, we're typing it in all caps to each other. I don't know if it's because we're yelling or if we're both so old that we need caps to read the screen. I'm not sure. Yeah. It's one of the two. You want to see the heartbound development what? I want to see Heartbound development, honestly. A lot of that stuff I do off stream. Do you know why? Would you like to know more? Boop. The reason I do most of this off stream is right now I'm in the middle of building a room that has about a thousand lines of dialogue. I'm about 600, 700 lines of dialogue into it, and I've got a bunch of different systems that I don't want you guys to see. It's a big part of the ending of this chapter. It's a major milestone for the game, and if I revealed any portion of this, it could damage the experience for, frankly, everyone. So, 
I just haven't been working on it on stream. I've been working on it off stream quite a lot, though. Huge amount, frankly. Did you work on StarCraft 2? Yeah, I worked on the editor. Um, I was part of QA at the time, and I, I did uh, automation testing on the editor, which sucked. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah. No percent of the train overlay? God damn it. Okay, wait. Wait, it's working, though. The train overlay is actually working. Hold up. One second. Train percent? Do it. I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work. I'm waiting. Is it going to work? It works! Holy shit. It's just kind of off-center. Let me fix it. Please. Please. All right. There we go. That looks good. Yeah. I think it looks good. 98.99%. It's level 9. It's level 10. Oh my god. 50 gifted subs. What the hell, dude? Ishi TTV. Thank you very much. Look, it works. It works. And the Twitch one is so far behind. Oh my god, it's actually working. Look at it. We've beaten Twitch. Their front end says it's level 10 right now, finally, and we were beating it. It works. Our system is better. The timer is correct. We've beaten Twitch using their own API. Wonderful. Wonderful. We've done it. We now have a hype train that shows correct information. The hype banner works. We now have a hype train that works. Fantastic. I'm, I'm happy about this. Math. It took a little bit to build this today. <laughs> I'm okay with this. Also, ours shows decimal points. Theirs doesn't. Theirs shows 34%. Ours is 34.28. Sick. Oh, you know what, though? They have their, their bar smooths. I kind of want that to smooth. Ours won't smooth. Theirs looks a little bit cleaner because of that. There's a little bit of smoothing happening. Am I drinking soda? No, it's water. It's TV static. There's no sugar or sugar substitutes in it. It's carbonated water and... I guess the best way I could put it is a fort of a, of a memory of a strawberry, right? Like the saddest version of a flavor in your life. Yeah, it's not good. It's It's drinking TV static, yeah. Is that bubbly? It is. You got the brand. You got the brand. I drink it all the time. I want to get, um... What is it? I want to get a soda stream so I can just have TV static on tap. Yeah. But I don't have TV static on tap right now. A distant dream of flavor, yeah. Stored next to... St no, stored next to a guy dreaming about strawberries for a day is that flavor. Like, he, f he was like dreaming of strawberries then he wakes up and he forgets about it and then they extract that the moment in which he's forgetting about the strawberries and then they put it into a flavor and I'm drinking it and that's that's what that is lime TV static is good stuff I agree with that it still doesn't taste like a lime yeah I'm playing Helldivers with cloud gaming kind of so what I'm doing is I, I got a second computer that just plays Helldivers 2 and then I pipe the video from that into my computer and then that computer streams it out to you which is really funny which is really funny and then my computer, the inputs go over to there so I can actually use this computer to do the inputs and that computer to yeah, it's localized cloud gaming it's LAN gaming is what it is I'm LAN gaming is effectively what's happening here. So that means this computer gets all the kernel level anti cheat, and this computer doesn't have to give a shit. Land party with myself. Land party with myself. How high is your input lag? None. Don't have to care. Let me see this. Oh, this is this. Is, <laughs> I love this clip. This is my favorite clip. 
from all of Helldivers so far. <laughs> Hold up. I'm going to stop the music for a moment. This is absolutely my favorite clip out of everything that we've done so far. <laughs> this you thing know, has run into every single mine and hasn't died, Thor. Look at all the mines that put around the objective unit with a false you. sense of security. What That's what it is. See, look, he's dead now. Oh, all of the enemies have ignored your mines. <laughs> hey, look at that. Oh, and this... <laughs> the Tesla tower behind the rock, dude. Just the moment where he's like, I'm getting away from the mines. And this is the moment right there where he doesn't notice this. He doesn't notice it. And then... Hey, look at that. Oh, and this... Oh. <laughs> Wait, there's another tower! Go on, we're racing! I think we did great. The enemies walked into that one. I think he left after that too. I don't remember. I don't remember what happened. <laughs> yeah, this team kill strategy set up is insane. Hey, I was just spreading democracy equally. That's all. That's all it was. Equal democracy for everyone, including your own team. It's fantastic. It's good. You tilted him hard. It was a good amount of tilt. It was perfect. I'm actually gonna go put this in Helldivers or Helldivers chat. I just said this is easily the most democracy we've had, and then I linked the clip. <laughs> oh, it's so good. You're giggling your ass off to that dude. It was hilarious. Oh no, I did. Yeah, no, Sea Dog's in there. Sea Dog's in that chat, and Iron Mouse is in that chat. I just linked it in there. <laughs> what did you do to play Hell Divers 2? Ran on a secondary computer, and then have it so that it's routing the video to my computer. Which is really funny. We're not invading, we're just aggressively democratizing. There's a lot of democracy happening, you know, it's good. What is this one? What is that one? Okay, there was a... I don't think you guys realize, like, how, how broken Sea Dog was by the end of that stream. Okay. I'm, just gonna, I'm just gonna play this one, too, because this is really funny shit. I think I... I think I scarred him with this. I got you got it. it. You got it. Aim at me. Aim nice. at me. Got nice. It. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. No, the vines crossed. Oh my Democracy. God! Oh. <laughs> you could just hear him. You could hear his his brain shattering. No, the vines crossed. Oh my <laughs> God! Oh, we are. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dude, <it's, laughs> I can't even handle it. Dude, it's the funniest shit on the planet. Oh, it's so goddamn hilarious. It's so hilarious. He, yeah, Connor yearns for the mines. That's pretty true. I get. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna go post that one in here too. I gotta go post that one as well. I said this one as well. <laughs> there weren't enough mines. There needs to be more. Um, I actually... I'm hoping to see additional mines in further updates to uh, Helldivers 2. I think democracy requires additional... Maybe just one big mine. Maybe we can just have like a large... Just singular mine. Just one big mine, right? The mind scream needs to be a redeem. <laughs> the minds! It's just him losing it, dude. It's so funny. It's so funny. We should have a mind that turns into more minds when you step on it. I think it's how that should go. Also, this chapstick is now dead. Into the trash. I landed it, too. Nice. That's something I said on my desk. 500 kilogram democracy? We need a 500 kilogram mine. That's what we need. Oh my god. It's called a bounding mine. We need it. We need that. Okay. So, what do I have to work on today? 
Oh yeah, this shit. And and I think I think Jake sent me some shit. Where's Jake? Jake Arino. Hi, Jake. Uh, do we have to job him? I think we have to job him. Don't we? Oh, we do. Oh, we have to Java. But only for compiling, so I think it's fine. Yeah, I think we have to Java for compiling shit. Java's gross. I don't like the Java. You know that? I really, I don't like to. But I have to. Streaming? No. Development. GitHub. Block a game bow. What got updated? I think it was just core and items. I think it was just core and items. It's one of the two. No, we just use it for spreading stuff back and forth. Vanishing Curse needs to change. We're changing the name of this to Curse of Butterfingers. There we go. So we've got Curse of Butterfingers now. Doot 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 doot. So, the changes that I'm making is your um, your cursed items will no longer disappear when you die. They're cursed butterfingers now, and you drop them when you die, which is funny. Yeah, butterfingers. Yeah, the butterfingers effects. Yeah. So instead of them disappearing when you die, they drop, which is more fun. So now there's a reason to blow up people that have. Lots of items. But only certain items. Not all of them. Yeah. Only certain items will drop. So cursed items won't won't disappear anymore. They're going to drop. Um, most materials will have cursed of Butterfingers. So the idea is that you have to extract out of... Out of Murkheim. And then extracting out of Murkheim takes... You know, you have to go and do it. Is Kotlin much better than Java? I don't know. Whatever you want to use, man. It really depends on what you want to do. Changes the line of code. Commits. Well, I'm done for today. No, that's not what I'm doing. I, I need to go check to see all the other stuff that he changed out. Because there are some other things. We will be compiling out this one. I don't think there's anything else for name modifier. That's easy. We're good on that. Template modifier. That should be fine. We've got our palm. What version are we on? Items. What version are we on? God, we've changed so much shit in this. All right, good. We've we've actually updated the palm correctly, so that's good. What kind of shorts is this? This is called a long, actually. Yeah. Why Java? Why not C sharp? Because we're making stuff in Minecraft. Minecraft requires Java, or Kotlin, depending on what you want. Javaba. Whoop, package it up. Do it. Make the thing. Make the thing so that I could just put it up there. Yeah, Bedrock is ass. Hi, look, Bezos likes Java, so that's fine. Why Java and why not Rust? When you when you make Minecraft in Rust, I will continue to use Java. Only to troll you into thinking that Java is somehow better than Rust. In actuality, neither of them are good. That's right. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now, Rust bros? I don't care if the White House wants me to use Rust. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Yeah. Dear God, don't use Rust for game dev. Look at him, dude. Look at the crabs. There's going to be a lot of seething crabs in chat in a moment here. Your preferred IDE? Notepad++. That's right. When you're old like me, you you don't give a shit about the ID anymore. Just new, use Notepad. What are they gonna do? Nothing. I just use this because we have a framework set up, and I just hit go, and it's done. It's downloading all this bullshit right now, though. All these dependencies have updated, and I'm sad about it. At least we have pride. That's true. Rust devs love their Rust. Yeah, Notepad++, plus plus, dude. Got, just got an ad for a monster Java drink? What does that even mean? 
<laughs> Rustevs need to be quiet? Damn, dude. Sit down, Rustevs. Any particular reason to use Maven instead of Gradle? Because we had the framework set up already and I just have to hit go and don't have to care. Like, you, you have to understand, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Doesn't matter. Does it compile the thing that I need compiled? Done. Don't care. Helldivers today? Likely. I'm waiting for the democracy crew to be ready. We'll wait and see. Oh. Champions of breakfast keys. I gotta send those out today after stream. We'll do that. How do you feel about RPG Maker? RPG Maker is brilliant. Do you know why? Do you know why? Oh god, the Q wait timer. Shit. I have to start burning the Q. I need to stop screwing around with that. Um, Let me show you. Where is it? See this game? See this beautiful game about a small cat man? And a light bulb? That was made in RPG Maker, dude. Yeah. Yep. And they do some wild shit with it, too. Night Merchant and Gur are the people who actually run uh, Future Cat LLC. Uh, they're buddies of mine. Local friends. Awesome human beings. We actually hang out during, like, Christmas and and Halloween and shit. Yeah. One Shot is so sad. It's a good game. Good buddies, too. My favorite is pink. Nice. RPG Maker like Game Maker? It's another engine. Yeah. Uh, you, it's. I found it to be kind of limited. If you're using RPG Maker, it couldn't do some of the stuff that I'm trying to do with Heartbound. But it doesn't mean you can't make an amazing game with it. Like, One Shot's an amazing game. Yeah. So, do it. You guys go trick-or-treating together? No, I'm an old person. You think my bones would allow for that? No, I sit in my house and I scare children. That's what I do on Halloween. My job is to go to the door and be dressed in a way or or act in a way that scares children. And then I give them candy. That's... When you evolve into an old person, this is what you do. You scare children on Halloween. And my God, Halloween is my favorite holiday because scaring children is hilarious. There's nothing funnier than scaring children. And then, like, if you scare a small child and his dad is standing there and his dad just starts laughing at the child that's afraid, you know you've done it right because that dad is like, God, I wish I could scare my kid like that. Funniest thing on the planet. It's the best. And the mom's just staring at you with an angry face. The mom always gives you a mad face. The dad always laughs. You know you did it right. I love Halloween. I love the shit out of Halloween. The mom is angry. The dad is happy. You did it right. Oh, look. It's finished. Let's go put this on the server. Without testing it. And that's when you know you did good. What day is it? Monday morning. Pushing something into prod without even testing it. It's good. Live environment. I'm not even going to shut the server down yet. That old one's running in memory. Doesn't even exist on the server anymore. It's fine. Alright, next one. Boop. Alright, so this is the new drop item functionality. That's been put in. Looks like Jake has already done that. That's good. Item classification, so item type is actually up there. That's good. And it looks like our dropped curse here. If it's got vanishing curse, it'll now drop the item correctly. So that's good as well. Regardless of world guard flags, this function drops all items with curse of vanishing on the floor. Regardless of world guard flags, drop item. The functionality here is to do inventory player item. Player get inventory. That's correct. World, world, player get world. So it gets the world and then it caches it. And in player inventory contains item, throw new. Okay, so if it contains the item, the item is not, the item to drop is not the player's inventory. That's an interesting one to do, because we already do if item equals null, or error, then do it. But I guess if something were to cause that item to disappear at between here and there, somehow from an async event, this is a good catch for that. So I guess that's fine. Yeah, I guess that's fine. 
world.drop item player get location item clone. So we clone the item and then we set the amount of the item in your inventory to zero to actually delete it out. Good. Good implementation. Interesting catch. Async events happen. Welcome to. We're getting ready to move everything over to Folia eventually. We have to think about these things now because Folia is fully multi threaded Minecraft, right? Yeah. Why are there no other games like Skyrim? Because no other human beings could create a game in which you want to create 10,000 wheels of cheese and crush a man to death. They're cowards. Every other game dev is a coward. That's why. That's all it is. That's the core gameplay loop of Skyrim. A million wheels of cheese and crushing people to death with them. Yeah, cheese wizardry is my favorite part of Skyrim, to be honest with you. Alright, alerts. Clockwork Peace with 500 bits said Yarchir 500 I have men by way to being a beetle, now to just keep rolling rolling rolling. <laughs> it begins. Uh, 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 also, I may be adding another hour to stream times. I may start starting at, at midnight instead of 1am. More stream. Additional stream. Why? Because I can. So I might do that. Daylight saving stream? I hate daylight savings. I don't respect it. Don't you need sleep? Nah. I have enough time. Are you a robot? No. I'm a human being, TM. I have real human skin, see? Is that convincing? I feel like you're convinced. Yeah. Moonboy2508 with $2 said I like pie. I also like pie. I understand. Why did... Are we going from... Wait a minute. I have a deep concern. We're going from 1293 to 1297. Ah, it's fine. It's probably fine. It's probably... It's probably fine, Chet. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's probably fine. Does Booty need to be updated? I don't know if Jake updated Booty. I don't know if he did. I'm just going to leave that one alone. Clock game is good. We fixed all of that shit the other day. We're slowly churning through things to fix. See you on YouTube shorts all the time. Finally catching a stream. What's up, dude? Nice to meet you. Finally catching the man himself live. Yeah, that's me. How, how's it going? For all you new guys, if you don't know how this stream works, I make video games on stream and I teach other people to do the same. Read the pinned comment. I, um, I answer questions and I never get through all of them. So, when I don't get through your question, here's here's how this works. Who here is new? Who here has never seen the stream before? You're 100% new. Me, me, me. A lot of me's. A lot of me's. Okay, so, the way that this works is when people throw bits or super chats at me, it goes into a queue. I'm going to show you how the queuing system works. It actually works right here. All of this is queued. Nothing is lost. All of it is stored. You can see it right here at any time. It's awesome. Super cool system, and it does it based on the time in which you put in your message. So I can see that the next message is going to be bits. When I press this button... Descendancy with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, I've made a mistake. I know I should make games. Games are fun, but I listened to Primogen and started learning Rust. Now I see crabs everywhere. Crabs aren't fun. Chat, don't do it. Love yourself, go make games, and buy the demo. Classic mistake. Classic mistake. You're a Rust developer now. You see, what you don't know is Primogen is actually an old god. Primogen is actually a cryptid that is trying to push the will of Rust upon the world. You're going to get blue hair now, it's true. Just like Primogen did. He's hiding it now, by the way. He's dyed his hair back so that it is no longer blue to try and trick you into thinking he's no longer part of the Rust Foundation, and he is. He is. He's the old god of Rust now. It's unfortunate. So sorry. You were echo from the TTS bot? Likely because I'm too close to my microphone. 
But with that in mind, all these messages go through. Now, here's what happens if I don't answer your message by the end of the stream. If I do, I keep the money. <clears throat> you doing a TTS is a bet. It's a bet with me. If I answer your message, I get the money. If I don't get to your message in time, it goes into the debt. The debt tracker is automatically put up on the Discord. Yeah, it's a bet. It's automatically put up on the Discord because I never finish everybody's messages. And you can see when new debt hits zero, I get to make fun of you. If new debt doesn't hit zero, it's because I didn't get through every message, that goes into a debt tracker. And when it hits 7777, which is now at 7777 or above, I give that shit to charity. And I post receipts every time. Yeah, so you can see $7,500 were given to Ferret Dreams Rescue and Adoption this last time. And now we're going to probably give this to the Godot Foundation because Godot is fantastic. So we're going to be doing that. Yeah, if I don't answer your question, I don't deserve the money. We give it to charity. Hey. And it's all posted publicly. None of this is hidden. None of it is bullshit. However... I'm waiting to do this until after the house stuff resolves because I'm not allowed to spend a bunch of money. You could just not answer? No, because that would be foolish and live. So if I did that, it would immediately remove all of the trust the community has in me, and then you'd stop doing this. I like being transparent with stuff. Not a dick, right? Yeah. This is all done live, so. You lied about using mines? Nah, I didn't lie about using mines. I just didn't use mines when I could have. I could use more mines if you like. Is the point hole back? No, the point hole is missing. It's gone. I made a new system for, for hype trains, though. Yeah. There's a new system for hype trains. Oh, dear God. <laughs> That's amazing. I remember, like, when I was a kid, uh, I was actually, Geosim was showing me their Halloween costume. When I was a kid, I remember my mom was super into Halloween, and she used to make up the whole house like a big witch's den, and she put, like, a prosthetic nose on and was, like, a crazy witch, right? And our whole yard was, like, made up in, in like, fog machines and, and webs and all kinds of shit. And I remember a dude opened our gate, and he had two kids with him, and we're like, oh, shit, we get to scare kids. And he opens the gate, and he looks down the hallway, like, down the, down the walkway, and just goes, nope. And then just walks away with his kids. The yard was too scary for him and his children. He was like, no. Nope. He actually just said nope out loud and then left. And I, it was the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life, dude. I was like, I think it was like 14 at the time. Made me laugh. I thought it was hilarious. <clears throat> yeah, he was terrified, dude. When will Heartbound full release? I'm working on that. My hope is to get out uh, Animus very soon, within the next month. Everything, I'm going to be real with you, everything got slowed down because of the amount of people that came into the stream. Like, I actually have a section on here. Let me go pull this up. Like, I am, I'm putting together my list of stuff I have to talk about for the next update, the update video. Like, that has to go up there. So I'm I'm doing that. So like Cambrian Explosion, which is all of you guys exploding into the stream, uh, our Twitch stream exploding, the Ferret Software stream exploding, the Discord, the moderators, the new corporation, the Game Jam, Heartbound, you know, updates and the Stream Rewards updates. Like I've got a lot of shit to put in. In fact, I need to put Block Game in here too. So like there's, this next video is probably going to be like 30 minutes long, like 20 to 30 minutes long because it's just so much shit to talk about. So I'm just going to sit down and record it and then send it all over to, you know, to, to Steets and be like, yo, yeah, block game, dude. Cambrian Explosion. Yes, Cambrian Explosion. It's, it's when all of you burst into the internet onto my stream. Block game. Oh, God damn it. I put a capital L. Fine. Block game. There. That's fine. Be lock game. You happy now? Goblins. All right. Also, I've been going through and finally cleaning up my notifications in Discord. Finally. I have finally cleaned up my notifications in Discord. I only have 150 left. Out of 720. No, not Mark is red. Not Mark is red. I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing that. Right now, I'm actually adding everyone to friends that has tried to friends me. And then if they, if they send me a message that is weird, then I just remove them from friends. And the ferrets have crashed. It's a good day. 
It's a fantastic deck. No, don't flood my inbox. Don't do that. All right, I'm going to get it down to 100. No, don't. Stop. Oh, God. It's it's going up faster than the API will allow me to click it. Stop. Stop. No. 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 I'm, I'm clicking the thing to add. God damn it. I give up. I'm going to wait till later when you give up. I'm going to wait till later when you're not paying attention. <laughs> it's just going up. Look at it. Look at it just going. Look at it. It's just going up. God damn it. I had it at 100. <laughs> I'll beat you one day. Maybe not today. Maybe not tomorrow. But eventually, you'll run out of dudes. All right? You'll run out of dudes. And when you run out of dudes, I'll have zero notifications. That day may not be today. But it will happen. It will. You will have no more dudes to send. Not today. But eventually. Alright, I need to go kick everyone off the block game server and so that they cry about it. And we're gonna update some shit. In fact, we're going to be updating a lot of shit today. A lot of shit. Just so they cry about it? No, there's a lot of updating going on. Wow, well, you meaning? Dude, I gotta update the server. No, dude. Oh my god, it's 170. God damn it. I had it down to 100. I had it down to 100. You get, a, you get a five minute timeout over there, YouTube. I look at you. I'm seeing you. I know the ferrets crashed. They did. I'm turning it back on. Anyway, alerts. Silvernot with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, can we have a personal or a global point hole counter for the ferret channel? I am surprised at how many people like the point hole. I will do that. I'll make a point hole counter on the ferrets. Oh my god. How am I going to do that? I'd have to run streamer bot on the ferret channel. That computer is kind of garbage. I don't think it can do it. It already has enough trouble running stream avatars. Like, it's at like 80% resource usage. I have to upgrade the ferret stream. D like, computer. What is the point hole? The point hole is when you throw points into a hole, and then I calculate how many points have gone into the hole. That right there. There we go. Yeah. I gotta come up with something for it. You feeling better? I'm pretty good. I've been surviving on NyQuil and Hull's defense and Ricola. I'm doing it. I'm surviving. I've mostly been doing a lot of democracy. Those ferrets are super cute. There are so many of you that are sending me pictures of ferrets and animals. This is good. The notifications are now at 195. I'm upset. <laughs> I could have escaped too. One sec. Hmm. Are you into robotics? I like watching some robotics streams. That's kind of fun. I, um, I do very little with physical world stuff like that. I do minor electrical engineering things, like tiny, tiny tools and stuff like that, and automation tools and things. But, uh, don't do a lot of robotic stuff. Also, Robotic Head, thank you for the rating party of eight. It's very nice of you. You're awesome, dude. How you doing, by the way? Just wanted to point out I did not encourage this. I think you did. I think it's 100% your fault, actually. 
I blame you. In a stream of... 7,000 people, I blame you. You in a Raspberry Pi? Yeah. Okay, let's see if this works. Oh, hi. Server restart time. Everyone's like, no! 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 Boop! They're like, you won't. And then I did anyway. What do you mean you won't? I, I signed onto the server specifically so that I could. All right, one moment. What is it called? Yeah, reduced to ashes. I have to. If I don't do this, you don't get new things on the server. It's true. Plus, we're going to find out in a minute here that it doesn't work and that the server's broken anyway, and then I'm going to be very upset. That's usually how things go. Love the ferret avatars. How hard was it to set this up? It's not hard, actually. It's very easy. Uh, we use a tool called Stream Avatars, which you can see here that I've run for 26,467.2 hours. I stream a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the point two is the important part. What democracy level am I? 30. And I've unlocked almost everything. I'm kicking ass. That's right. Yeah, I'm level 30 now. Are we democracy? We are. Eventually. Not right now. I'm waiting in the Nerdos. My normal crew of Iron Mouse and Rubber Ross and Silbit are currently offline. And Sea Dog is streaming something else. So I think until Iron Mouse wakes up, we likely will not democracy. Although we might later anyway. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Chiskamunda underscore 33 with 500 bits said, How do you have such a voice that it can easily get me to calm down from a panic attack and let me get work done? Also, it starts with one thing. I don't know why it doesn't even matter how hard you try. I have no idea. I have no clue. Maybe it's because I talk in kind of like a... I don't even know. No, I have no idea. It could be anything. Yeah, it could be anything. It's the... It's the base. I'm going to be real with you. When you wrote, it's the base, I read it as, it's the bees, and then had to try very hard not to say, it's the bees. There are no bees in my voice. I, I just have to say that so that it, it stops being real in my head. It's, the, it's, not, it's not full of bees. My voice is not full of bees. No. No. Restarting the server. All right, let's see if this works. I don't know if it will. It might. It may also just explode. My voice doesn't have bees in it, Chad. No. WL Blaskovich with 555 bits Even said, YouTube. Go OD morning ferret nam. It's a lovely day outside, just a bit cloudy and 38 degrees. That's three centipedes for you non-USA units of measurements. Centipedes. It can get a little bit hot today, but freedom and democracy will be spread amongst you all. Good. Our next song is Oldia Goldia hit from the 70s to spread freedom. This no. band from Los Angeles is one loved by many. Fire up those engines and get ready for Credence and Clearwater Revival with Fortunate Son. For democracy, Yard Cheer 555. Thank you for the 555 bits. God damn it. That's funny. Uh, uh. Silver Alive? Silver Alive? Thor's voice just stung me. Nice. Good. Win Just Dance stream? What? Do you think I can dance? Bro, have you seen me? I am a white programmer.
The amazing Lord Milo with 500 bits said hello pirate father. I found a very cool streamer I think you should check out. Who's that? They are a security specialist who used to work at Home Depot doing quality assurance for tools they also used to work for the US government breaking into nuclear power plants. Recently though they have started streaming on Twitch and even got their own category for streaming building and furniture development. Their name is Pirate Hardware. You know, for a minute there I thought I was going to have a friend. How dare you? How, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you? That's rude. You're rude. Evangeline with $5 said every great wizard helps. Plenty of youth onto their journey. You eventually will need to help beat a dark lord to save the world. The Dark Lord is chat. That is true. Alright. Now I gotta do this. Curse of Butterfingers. Good. Alright. I need to change one thing in this. Mm, where is it? Items? Item. Where is it? Modifiers? Global. Drops and death. Remove unbreakable. Save. Nice. Did you watch the trailer of King's Kingsmaker's game? I don't even know what that is, dude. Oh, you're talking about the Kingmaker? Wait, wait, Kingmaker. That game where you're like, you go back to the past? Yeah, no, I watched that. Okay. For some reason, I think it, I, I was thinking of something else. But yeah, no, the game looks sick. Let's look at this. Did I get rid of all their durability? Man. The server's going to be offline for a little bit. I have to go fix everything. Otherwise, you're gonna have unbreakable items in the video game, and it's gonna be a bitch. Did I really break? Did I really get rid of this? Why did I do that? Why is past me a dumbass? I got rid of all the durability in the game, didn't I? I'm a genius. That was a full-on genius, dude. All right, well, time to get it fixed. Server's gonna be offline until I fix this. Largest brain time, let's do it. Where's that? Shot, caller. All right, so the things that I have to look at is this. Durability, max durability 400, repair type all. That's what we have to deal with. So I have to go do this on every single one of these, and then we're gonna update all of this shit afterwards. So, we'll just go here and do this. One at a time. Oh, hi, Lord Bezos. How's it going? Yeah, I just have to go through every single one of these and do this. It's kind of a bitch, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Otherwise, everybody's going to have infinitely... Unbreaking gear, which is not the smartest thing in the world, frankly. We really don't want that. Two, four. Okay. Now we gotta get a sharpshooter. Thankfully, this will fix it. There's going to be a lot of update today. Use regex? No, we're not regexing this. No, thank you. I need to make sure that this is done correctly. Because the outcome of this, if it's done wrong, is devastating for the video game. 
as much as I love doing regex, there are some things that I like to do manually just to make sure that it is done exactly to specification. Because the outcome of it being wrong means items that are introduced into the in-game economy that do not require repair powder ever. Which is incredibly, incredibly dangerous for this game. Things that can be never undone. Or would lead to a lot of weird, weird like bullshit. What is regex? A way of doing search and replace, basically. Just an advanced version of doing it. Effectively. And we could fix a lot of this stuff with regex, but I don't want to on this one. As much as I, I love the patron saint of regex. You know, I just don't want to deal with it right now. I want to do it the right way. Oh, alert. Mullatron 517 with 500 bits said Yarchir 500 I hear people asking questions about your next game after Heartbound, and I'll add yes. another. Will it be a quadrupler game? No. In fact, I'm gonna make the first B game. That's right. Not indie. Not double A. Not A. Not triple A. I'm making a B game. It's gonna be full of Bs. You gotta buy the game. You gotta download it onto your computer, and your computer's gonna unleash bees into your house. That's our selling point. Yeah, bees. Our selling point is bees. Live bees. I think it'll do well. Rasul with 500 bits said gotta love the testing in prod mode going on right now. Yeah. Hype train go be Sometimes you get a test in prod, you know? It worked. I just had to bring the live server down. This is going to be a full patch, and it's going to be a big patch. So, I was hoping it was going to be a, a, a small patch, but I realized, no, it's going to be a big patch. Which is fine. That's not a big deal. The issue comes when I forget to do things like this. Isn't that supposed to be repair type magic? Wait a minute. Oh, we changed armor to work on all, that's why. Yeah, we changed armor to work on all. Magic is for magic spells. That was the difference with that. I forgot about this change. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, there was a thing a while ago where we had, like, magic repair powder was used for... Like, magic gear. And I changed that a while back. And I was like, wait a minute. Just clip the bit about the B game? Good. Because I'm releasing a B game. It's full of Bs. Wasn't there like a B game on Steam, actually? I remember this. It was like a strategy game where you take care of Bs. What was that game called? Epico? Yeah, it's Epico, right? Let me go look that up. I don't think I ever actually got to play this. 93% positive, yeah. A laid-back beekeeping sim about breeding, collecting, and conserving bees. Set in a series of lush environments, Apico uniquely combines resource gathering, biology, and beekeeping minigames. Taking ideas from a mix of real life and fantasy apiculture and floriculture. I liked the idea of this game a lot. And like, I'm gonna be real with you. Be real with you. I, I want to own bees. But I am allergic to bees. And this makes it really hard to own bees, so I want to play this game. Yeah. I I want to. Just don't get stung? Yeah. 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 But, like, I really want to own bees. Yeah, I have to settle own, about playing a game where you own bees, but I don't get to own bees. Yeah. You can't get hypoallergenic bees? No. No, that's not how it works. Because, like, one of the things that I was hoping to do is they have these types of uh, hives 
called Flow Hives, where you can like put it on the side of the wall, and then you can tap it on the inside. So I could have a building where I go inside the building, and I just tap the thing, and then all the honey comes out, and I can untap the thing, and the bees are on the outside, and they don't come in. So I could just make a wall, like a bunch of slots for this in this building. I just have a bee building, and I just go inside the bee building and then do it. It'd be great. So it's like right now, no, I, I want that. I want the bees. But I can't have the bees. Because I'm allergic to the bees, and the bees would end up getting me, you know, would end up getting me like the big, the big dead, you know, as this is the good, the good, the dead. I would be the dead. It's not good. You don't want that. And stop eating them. I, it's hard for me to not eat the bees. All right. Don't. It's a condition. Leave me alone. How dare you? Let me eat the bees. Let me eat the bees, Chet. Rude. Oh wait, that's rare. We don't want that. Is it mithril? Yeah, it's mithril. The in-game economy of block game is getting a lot better, by the way. I'm pretty happy with it now. I might have to increase taxes on towns. That's the next little bit. I don't want to, but I think I might have to. Just a little bit, too. Not a huge amount. Not the taxes. Yeah, I have to. How much you learn developing games? A lot. I learned a lot of shit developing games. I, um, I've been making games for 20 years. And I still have new stuff to learn. I'm still constantly testing and trying new things. And yeah, I might have to increase them because the in-game economy is not quite where I want it to be yet. And I need to make it a little bit more punishing. Just a small amount. Because we have a lot of stuff in there. Taxation is theft. If we don't have taxation on towns, you know what happens? It, here's the reason why we have taxes on towns. If you don't have ta taxes on towns, if you don't have resource usage on towns, you know what happens? You get Power World. Why? In Power World, towns don't actually have a resource. And because they don't have a resource, those towns never disappear. So if you have a server and a bunch of people make towns, those towns stay forever. And because they stay forever, the server performance goes down infinitely based on the number of people who show up, make a town, and then never play again. Shit. So we have to put taxes on towns. Otherwise, towns stay forever and the server turns to shit. That's the most important thing. You have to. Yeah, we get rust instead. Yes. We have to have self-cleaning towns. And self-cleaning towns means taxes. Gotta have it. It sounds a lot like democracy. Democracy. Manage democracy. This is an online game. Do you not know what block game is? Block game is our MMO Minecraft server. Yes, it's an online game. What? What? Yes, this is an online video game. In which you are fighting with other players for resources. Yeah. Is it a MOBA? No, it's an MM it's a social sandbox MMO that we built in Minecraft. Chris Quest person is back. Hmm. Miyaza VT, are you there? Are you there? Miyaza VT. Is it like Undertale? Yeah, Undertale, the critically acclaimed social sandbox MMO. Is mayonnaise an instrument? Yes. If you do Foley sound, absolutely. 
punching mayonnaise is a great way to get weird sounds. Like I'll give you a, I'll give you a good example. Do you want to get a really good sound for Foley? What is the sound of a person getting blown up and then their meat hitting a tin roof sound like? You know what it sounds like? It sounds like a ladle full of mayonnaise being thrown at sheet metal. Mayonnaise is an instrument. Welcome to Foley Sounds. That's right. Yeah. Sound people are wizards, dude. I've done Foley Sound a lot, and I love it. It's so much fun. You're like, what could sound like a gun going off that isn't a gun going off? Let's make something, you know? What, what sounds like meat getting punched? Let's make a meat punch sound. Can you go make a meat punch sound? Scratch his mayonnaise from the shopping list? You don't need it anymore. I'm going to be real with you. There's only one mayonnaise that I eat. There's only one mayonnaise that I eat. And it's QP mayonnaise. QP mayonnaise is delicious. It is Japanese mayonnaise. It comes in a bottle that is creepy. But it's delicious. Yes, and whiskey is ketchup. Yeah, we've learned this. That's true. This guy knows? Yeah. I don't eat any other mayonnaise. I refuse. I only have the QP mayonnaise, but god, that bottle is weird. The bottle is weird. Show us the bottle? Okay, so... I won't. I won't show you the full bottle, and the reason why is because the bottle's kind of shaped like... like this. Right? And it's like this soft sort of rubber. Right? And the thing is, is they put an image of a fat little baby on it. And it feels like a fat little baby when you squeeze it. It's not good to touch it with your hands. It feels gross. It feels like you're squeezing a baby out. But the mayonnaise is so delicious that it makes me wonder if you could squeeze that out of a baby. And, like, I, it's concerning to me, I know. But, like, that's... There's nothing wrong. It's weird, and you know it's weird. Nothing that delicious should come out of a baby. That's all I'm saying. It's weird. It's a weird item. It's a cursed object. Don't make it weirder than it needs to be, chat. Okay, hold up. Sanity check here. We use magic repair powder for all wizard spells and all thaumaturgy spells. We also use it for their offhands. Should we use magic repair powder for their armor as well? Arcane Repair Powder. Getting a lot of nose. Hey, um, Mods, can we get a poll? Should Magic users use Arcane Repair Powder or Normal Repair Powder to repair their gear? It's a poll. No, we're not doing a new item at 0.001%. It's not part of the choices. Will do. Thanks, Felix. Can you explain the difference? Yeah, one of them is for... Arcane Repair Powder is used completely for magic spells and offhands for magic users. Normal Repair Powder is used for anybody using physical stuff. But Normal Repair Powder is used for armors for magic users right now. Which is weird, because you use Magic Repair Powder for all of their weapons. So it's a little strange, right? If it magic repair powder, what? How easy does it require each? They use different materials. You use like, uh, actually you use the same materials now. They're just slightly different. Yeah. Arcane powder for spells, normal for, for armor. Do they have magic based armor? I mean, yeah. Like they're wearing like cloth that gives them special magics, right? It is magical armor. It is. They're using magical, they're wizards. Wizards and thaumaturges, right? A thaumaturge is like a healer. They wear robes and shit. How deep does this game go? Very. <laughs> there's a there's a lot of game in the game. It's my side project. I, I work on it on weekends. But I didn't work on it yesterday, so I have to work on it today. Magic items should require magic powder to repair. Okay. Their offhands and their weapons already require magic powder. But their armor does not. 
Isn't all armor magical to some degree? Mm, not really. It's not really magical. Like, the, the, the tanking gear is just tougher, right? You know, they just get more of it. You just get thicker metal. You know what I mean? It would just be the arcane. Yeah, so the idea would be, like, do we change... Do we change the set? Let's see what it is. What should magic users use to repair their gear? Arcane repair powder or normal repair powder? That's really the choice. So go vote. Go vote. The vote is up. Go vote. Go vote. Tier 3. Thank you very much. Is your name Booty Muncher? Incredible. Wait a minute. Why is your name Booty Muncher 210? Was... Were the first 209 names taken? Do you have that name all over the internet? Is that your legacy? It's a kill count? How many booties have you munched? Did they die? I have a lot of questions. Arcane repair powder. Okay. Okay. Alright. We'll change it to arcane. I think that's a good idea. The reason... I'm going to agree with Chad on this one. And the reason why is because I think that thematically it makes sense... Because you're already using Arcane Repair Powder for all of your gear. Like, for all your weapons and your like your magic spells and your offense. I think that's fine. There was a bug that came in the other day where someone said, I can't repair my offhand. And I was like, you have to use Arcane Repair Powder on that. They're like, oh. Because they use Arcane Repair Powder for all their weapons, but they didn't use it for their offhands or anything like that. They thought they'd use normal Repair Powder. So, I think it would make sense to do it this way, right? I know the curse quest. Okay, curse quest. Hold up. Where's your where's your curse? Where are you? At. Where are you? Miyaza VT. I see you. Say something. Say something, Miyaza. You chatter, what game is this? Hello. My name is Thor. I make games. This is my Minecraft server that I make on the weekends because it's fun. But I didn't get to work on it yesterday because it was sick. I'm awake. All right, let's see. I am awake. Trying. I am here. Okay, Miyazu VT, your cursed quest. Let's see, cursed quest. Do you want art, cooking, or potato? These are the choices before. Which ones do you want? Which one do you want? This is only for Miyazu VT. It's in Minecraft. I know you from your base takes on YouTube shorts. What's up, dude? Thank you very much. You gotta choose. Potato is a choice. That is true. Oh, did you choose art? In the face of potato, you chose art. Unlucky. Let's see. User... I chose art. Okay, so art has been chosen. Let's think about this. By the way, the uh, hype train system works now. Does that include a Minecraft build? I mean, it could. We are working on Minecraft stuff right now. Hey, Miyaza, do you have Minecraft? Do you have Minecraft? Sadly, no. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Have you ever used block bench? Miyazo. Let me show you something neat. Block bench is cool as shit, and it's free. Look at this. Look at this. You can actually load the 3D models in this. Look at this shit. It's wild, right? It's awesome as hell. And you can export this stuff to Minecraft. Blockbench is amazing. Why not Blender? Because Blockbench is great. It's really good and super easy to learn. Look at it. You can make low-poly shit really fast. It's awesome. I know, yeah, but Blender. I, kn I know, yeah, but Blender, but this is awesome. It's really, really good. Blender is also really good. You know there can be more than one tool, right? Like, you know that. You, you could have a hammer and another hammer, right? You know? Yes.
sniped him. You know, I was actually I was actually thinking about giving the mods a game. I was thinking about doing that. I was thinking about having the mods have a kill board. I was thinking about doing that. Because they'd have to verify all of their kills anyway, because they put them into the ban channel, and they verify their, their kills. I was thinking about giving them a leaderboard of kills. You guys are getting some good kills today. I got one of them too, though. It's mine now. It would be very close. You guys are really good at it. I kind of want to make a kill board for the mods. All right. Who's the most right now? I don't know. Gamifying bands might be problematic. Only No. Do you know why? Because every one of the bands that happens, the thing that you said that got you banned is recorded permanently and put into a channel and an Excel sheet showing what you did, when you did it, and why you got banned for it. So if the mod doesn't put any information with that, you get unbanned and they get reprimanded. Because that shit has to be logged. Always. Yeah. So a mod leaderboard is totally fine. Because they're not incentivized to ban you for nothing. They're incentivized to ban you for reasons. Accountability. Always accountability. And by the way, Kronos is the lead moderator. So if they screw up, Kronos is going to go after him first. I don't even have to know about it. Not even my fault. Not my problem. When it becomes my problem, then it's probably bad. What is this song? This is Miserable Manic Shadows from our game Harpound. It's the next combat music. Yep, logging bands is always important, and we ban we log them all, my dude. Yeah, so I'm thinking about the Cursed Quest. Here's what I want you to do. I know this is going to be kind of weird. We've never done this one before. It's an art-related thing. Miyazu VT, have you ever used any kind of 3D software ever? Yes, corn is a fruit. That's true. Bananas are also berries. Also true. Are you the music creator? No. That is made by Stein von Wakeren, our musician. All of it's made in-house. We own the rights to all the, all the songs. No? Perfect. That is the perfect answer. Miyaza, you have to use any 3D modeling program that you want. Blockbench, Blender, anything. It is time for you to try this. You're going to make something weird, right? You're just going to make something... It's going to be fine. You won't know what you're doing at first, which is part of the fun. I'm playing VR. Thank you for the five gifted subs. It's very nice of you. The idea is to try something you have never done before. Never done. You're going to... You're going to make this. You're going to 3D model my face. It's going to be horrible. It's going to be horrific. It's going to have way too many or way too few vertices. You're going to make this. That's right. Oh, look. The hype train is working. It's working. There it is. Look at it go. My God, it's actually functioning. Oh, I'm so happy. The new hype train thing works. We have a new hype train thing. You accept? The contract is sealed. Wonderful. I know there's no music right now. I know I'm fixing it. Here, I'm going to turn it on hype train music. There you go. We're going to start the miserable manic shadows over. You can have it. The timer is not off. Do you want to know how I know the timer isn't off? Because Twitch's timer is off, and this one fixes it. That's right. Our timer is correct. Their timer is not. That's the problem. Which is why this was built. See that? See how it says 455, and there still says 354? Eh? Eh? Because ours goes directly from the API. I don't even see the hype train in Twitch, which is exactly why we built this. That's the whole point. We decided to chain. We built our own front end that interfaces directly with their API to stop this from being a problem. When you see that above, you know that there is actually a hype train going on. This way, we don't have to have any of these problems anymore because the front end breaks all the time. And now you know when there's major hype trains going on that it's perfect. It is going super fast, it is. Percy Gabriel 3 with 500 bits said Ya cheer 500 good morning you beautiful man. What do you think the best way to come up with ideas for a video game is? I mm. really want to make another after the last game jam and before the next one to learn some Godot but I don't know what kind of game I should make. 
Thank you for everything. Hmm. Best way to come up with ideas for a video game. Think of the kind of game you want to play. That's what I always do. I make games that I want to play. Not games that I think other people want to play. Games I want to play. <clears throat> and I find more often than not, people are like, well, what kind of game would other people want to play? Who gives a shit? What kind of game do you want to play? Make that game. Because you're going to be able to make it to a much greater capacity, and you're going to like playing it. That's it. Huh? My god, it's running. I'm so happy that the hype train system is working. I'm so happy. And I'll bump up the graphics and shit later. We kind of got a bare bones version of it right now. See how it just refreshed? You see how it just refreshed the timer like that? To the second. Code Miko, rating with a party of 1,932. Miko, look, I made a hype train thing. It's working. How you guys doing? My name is Thor. I make video games. That's what I do. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you all. How you doing, by the way, Miko? I was hanging out in your channel earlier. I was watching you running around the Mikoverse. Mikoverse is cool as shit, by the way. Hype train thing, yeah. So we have a lot of hype trains here. So I, Twitch's UI is really slow, and it breaks all the time. The front end doesn't work as well when we get these massive, insane hype trains. So I decided to make this thing where now it shows on stream, and it actually interfaces directly with Twitch's API, so it's instant. And it never falls behind. It's wonderful. And it's working now. Also, Code Miku's awesome as shit. You should watch her streams. And it was cool hanging with you at the Stream Rewards, because you're red. It's true. It's true. Should it only come up after level 7? No, it should just come up anytime there's a hype trend. It just shows up. T-Pain Raider? Dude, T-Pain's red as shit, too. Repair type Arcane? Yes. We're changing it over to Arcane. For all the healers. And all of the wizards. They will have to use Arcane magics. Nice deep voice. I can go even deeper. What if I just talk down here all the time? Is this what you need? I think it's about as low as my voice can go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, fifth puberty, let's go. I'm ready. And yeah, my voice actually used to be a lot higher pitched, too. What is this? This is me fixing armor in a video game. So if, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I... A long time ago, two years ago, I played Minecraft for the first time, and I thought it was shit. And I know that's probably not popular. I thought it was really boring. I thought it was really boring. So the reason why I thought it was boring is there weren't objectives. It was just Legos with no objectives. And I was like, well, I want to make a video game in this. And I was like, well, Minecraft can be a game engine. So what if I made a Minecraft MMO? And I learned about modding Minecraft. So for the next two years, I know nothing about Minecraft. I don't look up tutorials or do any of that shit. I just turned it into a really fun MMO. And then I refuse to monetize the server. It's just fun. It's just something to do for fun. I just do it on the side. It's it's a thing I work... Oh, hi, Bezos. By the way, I wait for ads. So you're not going to miss anything. Yep. Stream is paused for ads. We do nothing. I just copy-paste stuff. And you miss no content. Don't worry. They're missing nothing. Let them know. Let them know that they're free of from the ad demon. His massive Java knowledge. Oh, Java. Mm. I hate Java. I hate Java. Why did it have to be Java chat? Best part of the stream, you guys can't see it. What's the matter with you? Look at you trolling all of them. He's dabbling in rust now, you're missing it. No, I'm not. I am not. That is not happening. I love myself too much. If you want rust content, go watch the Primogen. Alright. That's not here. I'm not doing it.
What is it called? Wizard. All right. The ads are over. So for those who don't know, I pause for ads. And the reason I pause for ads is because I think it's shitty that you have to watch ads. However, by turning ads on, we don't have pre-rolls, which means new people who come in don't watch ads when they show up. Pre-rolls are awful for streamers. They're terrible. And the reason why is, let's say you've never seen someone before. And when you show up to the stream for the first time, you have to watch eight ads. Are you going to watch them? No. You're going to leave. Everyone's going to leave. Because it's dumb. You've never seen that streamer before. You don't care about their content enough to stay. So you leave. So I turn on ads so that we don't have pre-rolls. They make me money. And we don't have pre-rolls, which means new people can join the community. So, because you do that for me and watch the ads, I do this. Where we have Lord Bezos come out and I just wait. And you don't miss any content. So, if you get ads, don't worry. You're not missing anything. We wait for you. No one in the community gets left behind. Why is Bezos back? Because I hit a button. Yeah. Yeah, that's Bezos. It is. I should do something similar. It's really easy to set up using StreamerBot. That's actually all automated. Or go to YouTube. True. YouTube gets ads randomly for each person, though, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for the heads up. Yeah. Absolutely. Was that Joe Rogan? It's not Joe Rogan. Why? Why do all of you think that Jeff Bezos looks like Joe Rogan? What? What's going on over there? I'm worried about you. I have a deep concern for you at this point. I don't know what's... It, it's not Jeff Rogan. It's just because he's bald. Do all bald people look the same to you? Chad, do you think every bald person is the same person? I have a concern about you. I'm worried about you. All right. I'm really worried. Oh, look. The hype train ended. The hype train ended. Level 7 at 72%. Thank you very, very much. You're awesome as hell. Thank you. And all the music you hear in this channel, by the way, it's uh, all owned by us. We make it all. And, want to see something neat? Look at this. Wait for this. Wait for this. This is the game I normally work on, but I'm in a section of the game right now that would be very full of spoilers if I showed it to you, so I'm not going to. So I'm not going to. I'm not going to program in Rust. No matter how many times you write it and try and change your message, you're going to get timed out by the mods. I'm going to laugh at you. You know that, right? It's going to happen, cute zombie. Oh, you stop now. Now you're afraid. Oh, no, there it is. Let's see how long it takes the mods to get you. They'll get you. They're going to get you. They're going to get you. Maybe the mods won't get you. Now just let them go. All right. Mods asleep. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Just let him go, dude. Who are we getting? The dude writing programming Rust numbers to try and get past the thing. It's too late now. It's too late. It's too late. You missed the kill. You could have killed him. You could have done it. Could have added your leaderboard. You had the opportunity. You gave it up. But yeah, so Harbound is sitting at 96% positive reviews out of 1,614 reviews. This is actually the game that I normally work on, and it's incredibly humbling to know that you guys like my work this much. It's pretty goddamn cool. And then um, all the music you hear on the stream is from our OST. So our musician, Stein von Wakeren, gets all of the money if you buy the OST, and there's 100 songs in the OST. It's enormous. It's three and a half hours of music. And this is this is the big one, and I really want to call this out. As long as you are not directly re-uploading the music with no other content, you are free to use the songs in this OST in any videos or streams, whether they are monetized or not. If you want to stream with our music in the background, we will never DMCA you. If you want to put it in the background of your shorts or YouTube videos, we will never DMCA you. Because we didn't go through a publisher, we own 100% of the rights to the music. I'm the one who files the DMCA claims. Nobody else. And that's how that goes. So, have fun. What about in a game? What does this say right here? Videos or streams? Does that say in a game? Why does that question come up every time? What's the matter with you? Ridiculous. Goblins can't read. It makes me afraid. All right, let's do this. We're going to go from there. What about streaming? No. Who made you this way? 
There's always one that asks, they're like, I want to put it in my video game. And I'm like, no. And they're like, but you said videos, and video game has the word video in it. And then I have to smite them. Don't make me smite you. Please, I don't want to. Boop. Arcane repair powder. Yeah, no, if, if you get DMCA'd, if you actually get DMCA'd, it's because I did it. And if I did it, it's because I took it, and if it was even on the edge, I take it to Kronos, because Kronos is a copyright lawyer, and I go, hey man, what do you think about this? And Kronos goes, that's not okay. And I go, alright. And then I delete it. And you get smote from, from the space. Just like a space laser coming down and spreading democracy. There it goes. It's rarely okay, it is. Yeah, just don't. Just don't do it. I think my favorite one right now is how many people just re-upload my shorts. Like, they'll make an account that's like, I'm a pirate software fan, and they just directly take all of our shorts and just re-upload them. And like, I'm do Yeah, and then they monetize them, and then I just smite them out of the internet, and then their account gets banned. <laughs> Very cool. Stop doing that. It's not a smart thing to do. Okay, we gotta do revision ID... Revision dash ID and dot star. And then revision dash ID 300. And then regular expression inside of selection. Replace all. We did it. Hey, look. I reject serenoed it. We did it. What happened to the guy who wasn't monetizing him? So there was a dude that actually went up and was, like, making all the videos of our stuff. Like, trying to cut videos of it. So many people reported them for impersonation that their account got banned. I didn't even do that one. Because <laughs> I didn't give him permission to do that, but the community reported the shit out of him so hard that they got banned from the platform. And I was like, well, alright. Less work for me, I guess. <laughs> so thanks. That actually worked out really nice. What about green screeners? What does that even mean? What is what is a green screener? You think I... You think I'm using a green screen? Is that what you're trying to say? You know it's just the void back here, right? You, I just don't... We don't have the money to render the rest of the scene. I just don't have one. It's just... You know? Don't make it weird. Maybe I'll, one day I'll be able to pay for the rest of the world. You know, maybe I'll do that. True flesh tuber. True. Flesh tuber is the funniest thing I've ever heard in my life, by the way. And I think... I think the first person who's ever called me a flesh tuber... I think that was actually... Codemaker, was that you? At the stream rewards? I think it was. I think you... It was... Was it you? I think it was you. I think it was you who called me a flesh tuber. I'm pretty sure. Was it you or was it Onigiri? It might have been Onigiri. I can't remember. Maybe it was both. It might have been both. It was not Mouse. No, Mouse didn't call me a flesh tuber. I remember the stream. It could, I think Giri did it first. I don't know, dude. I think that one of the things that I learned... One of the things I learned, and I was actually talking about this recently. VTubers scare the shit out of me, and here's the reason why. If you piss off a VTuber, they can still be live on stream while also rapidly approaching your house at the same time. And you would never know. They could be doing like a VTuber sleeping stream, and their avatar is on. And they're still arriving. And that's terrifying. Like, that is really... There's like a level of fear. They could be in two places at once. You'd never know. Pip would be like, dude, I watch Pip all the time. <laughs> uh, Pip was hilarious, dude. <laughs> I think the reason I like watching Pippa the most is because she just says some shit and it's really funny to me. Like, really, really funny to me. I was like, oh my god. It's like, oh. It's, it's hilarious. Pip was hilarious, dude. 
she says it with that like super happy bright-eyed like while talking about like arriving at your house killing you during your home you know it's like a terror it's it's, it's the, the greatest level of fear can be acquired from Pippa's stream I like it it's good base connected to some great people yeah I, I like the VTubing community I do I think VTubers are fun man I'm sad that Palma graduated. Ah, that was that's a thing that always is weird to me. The idea of graduation. The idea of they're graduating away from being a VTuber, right? The terminology is so strange to me. That's the one part of the VTubing community I just don't get. I just don't understand that. It's an idle thing, is that what it is? Yeah, I, the the thing that really the thing that really bothers me that I've seen a lot of, and this is this is a weird one. I don't know if you guys agree, but I see this quite a lot. Is um on YouTube, there used to be a high prevalence of what are called MCNs, which are multi-channel networks, right? And multi-channel networks were this thing where basically if you're a YouTuber, you would join a multi-channel network and they would basically own the shit out of you. They owned you. They owned you and all of your content. And if you ever broke off, like you could lose everything, right? Yeah, Machinima. Yeah, yeah. Multi-channel networks were terrifying. Really terrifying. A lot of the VTubing stuff that I see now reminds me of this. Where like a VTuber gets wrecked because they want to leave and then they lose their entire persona. And it really scares me for them because like when you're a streamer, your persona is everything. You are that person, right? And losing who you are because you wanted to change business directions is really scary. Yeah, it's wrapped up MCN. It, it scares me, man. It worries me for like the VTubing community. And I'm hoping that I like I've been seeing a lot more of these like indie VTubers. I've been seeing a lot of them where like they don't have like an MCN or like a controller in place. And I I really like seeing that. I really like seeing them go off without having like a major agency, you know, that they're doing it on their own. Yeah. If you're an indie, you don't. Bingo. And I like seeing that. Why do you need a controller? A lot of the times the controllers will do things like like uh, help with marketing, help to get VTuber avatars made for people that just don't have a huge amount of money to do it. But the agencies are really scary. So I don't know much about the culture for all of them. I don't know all the different agencies for it. But it does, from what I have seen, some of it echoes the old MCN shit on YouTube. And it concerns me. Because I like the VTubing community. And I don't like the idea of somebody feeling forced to make that kind of content. I don't like the idea of someone feeling forced to toe the line. Especially as a content creator. I'm a big proponent for indies, dude. Like, I'm a big proponent for, for indie developers anywhere, getting away from publishers, getting away from anyone owning your content besides your community. As a content creator, the only people that I should be held accountable to, to is you. Ever. And I, I think that... I, I feel the same way for VTubers, and I worry about that because I see that same kind of weird predatory behavior that I see for indie publishers in the same way for VTubing community. Yeah. Have you considered growing a beard? Dude, I can't... I grow two islands of hair. I look like Pikachu on a bad day. Like, it doesn't make sense. You don't want that. I get two isolated islands of hair. I get sideburns. I get a chin thing that does this. I get a small triangle right here, and I get a thin little mustache. I look like Jigsaw. If Jigsaw's coloring was hair. It's horrific. No. I, I shave every day to save you the horror of what I become. It is like the worst kind of facial hair any human being could have. It's not good. It's not good at all. But yeah, so this is... Tell me if I'm right or wrong about this, because this is kind of the impression that I get from the VTubing community for this. Am I correct or am I incorrect about kind of the dangers of working with major networks like this? Cap, grow it? No, dude, it's awful. It's horrific. You're correct? It's even worse? Yeah, it worries me, man. It worries me, because like... MCNs were a scary thing, and it's it's very... I, I'm glad that most of the internet has moved away from the MCN. I'm glad it has. Because there was a time where people were like, oh, are you part of an MCN? Oh, you're not a real YouTuber, right? And, like, that wasn't a thing. You're not, you're not in an agency, or you're not a real VTuber. It reminds me exactly of the same behavior. It's like the same behavior. And it's weird to me, dude. Thor's Bad Fur Day. Dude, Conker's Bad Fur Day is a great game. Music industry is still like this? Yeah. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Felix, are you trying to get yourself banned by saying netcode? You know mods can't get banned, right? I mean, I guess I could ban you, but then I guess that means you're fired when you get banned. 
I don't think that works. <laughs> See, look, he just did it because you did it. You get timed out. Mods, you're timing yourselves out for 10 minutes when you do that. Oh, wait, maybe it just deletes it. It might just delete your message. Maybe you don't get timed out. Maybe you're fine. It may just delete your message. I'm teasing them. Look at them all get look at them all get timed out. Oh, and now they're getting timed out. Yeah, it's a 60 second timeout. <laughs> you just timed yourselves out for a minute. That's going on your permanent record. It is actually. I can click on you and see that you were timed out. Watch. Timeouts one. Blacklisted spam. Blacklisted spam, dude. Mountain Dew does it too, by the way. <laughs> Oh, it's like MTN do. Yeah, I don't know, man. I like the VTubing community. I think what Code Miko is doing is freaking rad, by the way. Like, Mikoverse is, is some amazing shit. It's really amazing shit. Legitimately. It blows me away. Which one will win? A multi-billion dollar Facebook? Or one little VTuber? And then Mikoverse is literally better than Meta. Yeah. All right. It's great. Yeah. A singular Miko. It's it's cool shit, honestly. Yeah, Mikoverse is really cool. Are all the mods gone? No. There's Kronos posting a big cat. Yeah. Mods are here, dude. What do you think Kronos is? What do you think Felix is? Mods. I like teasing them. This is fun. Is that ASCII cat? Yes. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Like, I, I'm going to be real. I, I played Second Life for, like, ever. I still play Second Life. And seeing Meta bring out what they brought was like, why did you try to release Second Life 0 0.1? Like, why did you do that? Why would you, why would you ever do that? Why would you be like, oh man, we're a multi-trillion dollar company and we're going to bring out a shitty version of something that's existed for 20 years. Yeah! And everyone's like, what? What the hell is this? Right? Like, Roblox looks more compelling to me than than Meta. Like, it's absurd, frankly. What about VRChat? VRChat's cool, but it's not the same kind of a thing. It's not really the same kind of a thing at all. Like, VRChat doesn't have the same in-game economy stuff as Second Life. They were trying to do that with Meta. They were trying to do in-game economy shit. And they just can't. Because it's sad. <laughs> Meta is not good. Yeah, Meta wanted to waste billions. I don't think they wanted to. I think they were trying to make something compelling. But to be real with you, here's, here's kind of how I felt about it. Unless Linden Lab didn't want to sell, which would be surprising to me, why didn't they just buy Linden Lab? Why didn't they just buy Second Life? Maybe they didn't want to sell. Maybe they did approach that goal. But what they've made is something that's inferior to Second Life. And the entire... Everyone just kind of rejected the shit out of it, frankly. It's just a little bit weird. Zuck wanted to innovate and just blew billions? Yeah. They probably didn't want the horny part. That's like 90% of Second Life, though. Which is why it's a banned game on Twitch. 10% <laughs> of it is weird, cool shit. I make object heads in it. I like to make things like clickable object heads. I made a, a Rubik's Cube that when you click it, it explodes, and then it reforms itself. So people walk around with um, like Rubik's Cube heads, and they, you can click on it, and it blows up. And then it goes back together. It's a lot of fun. I make weird shit in the game. It's fun for me. Add incoming? No. Eight minutes. Oh, ferret's crashed. That's twice Jackie today. Beans with 500 bits said, Yarn cheer, 500 good morning. Have some beans. I love beans. Oh, I ate a lot of beans today. I ate a lot of beans today. I made jambalaya. Mm. In the Instant Pot. And now I have like 20 pounds of jambalaya. I made way too much jambalaya. I need to... I need to freeze it. I need to portion it out into individual portions. And then I need to freeze it. Because there's so much jambalaya. There's only two of us. I'm going to be eating jambalaya for the next like... Four weeks. It's a lot of jambalaya. It's a lot. You can never make enough jambalaya? Dude, yeah, I can. <laughs> we may hear it. No, you can't. I refuse. Every time you're about to, I will mute my microphone. You eat beans? Yes. He was a delicious ferret. Mm. Mm. 
I refuse to listen, that's fine. Baby with $4.99 said hi Thor. Hi. Just wanted to say that you're one of my favorite streamers. But Aww. what do I do with my GDD when I'm done with it? When you finish your game design document, you need to go and make the game. You figure out first what kind of game you want to make. Which you've done with your game design document. Then you figure out what engine works best. Beth? Let's try that again. What engine works best? With, with the kind of game that you've designed. And then you choose a language for that engine. This looks like Lung. There we go. Lang. There we go. Beth. Yes, Macbeth. <laughs> so by doing this, you've basically chosen the kind of game you want to make. You've researched the kind of game. Then you know what you need for the, from an engine, right? Because you know exactly what kind of thing you want to build. Once you know what engine you're going to use, you know exactly which languages are available to you. And now you're good to go. You can do this. And you do it one step at a time. Once you get all that sorted, put an object in a room. A box. And make that box move based on arrow key presses on your keyboard. This is called the Hello World of Game Dev. The reason why is because player input is what defines the difference between a movie and a video game. You can capture inputs and make something happen inside of the game. That's 50% of a video game. If you look at a game like Mario, Super Mario RPG, what do you do? You go right, and you jump. The only thing you have to do in the beginning is make the character go right. That's half of his stuff. That's it. Once you go right, you know how to go left. Once you go right and left, the only thing you have to do now is jump. Once you learn how to jump, you just have to make him fall again. Now you've got all the core mechanics of Super Mario. It's like a really easy system. Really easy system to learn this. Don't overthink it. One piece at a time, man. Lacius128 with 500 bits said, Good morning, Goblin Lord. Did you see someone put a tramp stamp on the Mothman in West Virginia? I did. Um, I do believe that's called a lamp stamp. It's a lamp stamp, all right? And you will respect Mothman. In this house, we, res we respect Mothman for the month of March. Mothman March. Mothman Easter. Lamp stamp. Lamp stamp. Be nice. FR0GGY42 with $20 said the Blob 2 is a very interesting game where you play as a blob of color repainting the world after it's been bleached by Inky Dictator. I brought <laughs> this up because one of the game jam games reminded me of it. Have a good one, Thor. Thank you very much. I'm really glad. Yeah, there was some really cool games in the game jam, dude. Uh, we've got our winners, and I'm in the process of getting their prizes out to them. We've got like a couple more things. Um, if you were on the team that made the grandma game. You need to talk to your teammates and get us all the rest of your stuff because you, your stuff is the last ones. The grandma's people. Please. We need your accounts so that we can get you your ashes of creation keys. Please. Please. Yeah, Carpet Cowboy's on that team. Yeah, we need it. We need it. Yeah, grandma, don't click that. We need it. We need it. No, I can't give you one. The way that the way that we have to do it is we actually have to get their forum accounts. So like we need them to send us links. Like we're working on it. We have to get them to do it. This game is incredible, by the way. The Bunny Graveyard. I'll have to look that up. What if they don't want to click that? Well, pfft, you know. Pfft. I'm looking forward to IOC. I hope it won't flop to the hype. I think it's going to do really well, and the reason why is because they've, they've shown, the developers have shown time again that they're interested in changing the game to make sure that the players have a better experience, and I'll explain why, right? So I was on the fence about it too, originally, and then a couple years back, they did an alpha, and players found that the combat in the alpha was really shit. The, the largest amount of feedback that I saw was that it was floaty, meaning that the animations were not very good, they were kind of like low impact, and that it was boring. Nobody wants this to be a description for their core mechanic in their video game, right? A combat-driven game and the combat feels floaty and boring. Not good. Not good. So the developers, most of the time in situations like this, will be like, ah, it's alpha, we'll fix it by later, whatever, right? You know, like, they usually won't fix anything. However, they said, you're right. 
Yeah, they said you're right. So what they did after that was they went through and they deleted all of the combat. They started over from scratch. They changed all of the animations of the game, all of, God, what else? All the animations of the game, all the special effects in the game, every one of the spells in the game, the entire combat system, all the rigging for all the monsters, all the animations for all the monsters, everything in the game. Based on that player feedback. Nobody does that shit anymore. That's a big deal. The last time we saw feedback affecting a game that heavily is BG3, frankly. And then you can't really remember a time where that happened before that. And I find that to be incredibly impressive. Yeah. So, Ashes of Creation is something that I'm looking forward to very, very heavily. I was the alliance leader of Strabog Clade in EVE Online, which was the largest Treglavian alliance in the game. I played EVE for 15 years, largely a Logi player, so I played, you know, healer most of the time. But um, as the alliance leader, I have a lot of experience running large-scale guilds, especially ones in very competitive and spy-ridden environments. Uh, Kronos, who is one of our moderators, our lead moderator, actually, is also the Minister of Truth inside of the guild. And Kronos was the corporation leader for Mercurialis, which is the longest-running guild, or longest-running corporation in EVE Online. So between the two of us, we have about 30 years of experience in social sandbox games. We're going to kick some ass in Ashes of Creation. And I'm throwing everything behind it. Yeah. We're going to have a lot of fun. We're going to have a huge amount of fun. And we've already got our system of government set up. We're getting all of our tooling set up before the game comes out. And we're going to have a lot of fun. Yep. Your mic is slightly peaking and sounds distorted on the highs. I don't even know what that means, dude. Yeah, I don't even know. Some people like the mic, like what I sound like. Some people don't like what I sound like. This mic is six years old. It's kind of a potato. Sounds fine to me. I don't know. It's a USB mic. I plug it into the computer. It goes to OBS. I don't know. I just thought you're short about VPN being useless for security reasons. Is that really true? Is it absolutely useless in that regard? Yes. A VPN is not a security product. A VPN is there to change your geolocation or to give you access to a network remotely. And when you access to that network, that network becomes inherently less secure because it has an access to the outside. If your computer is compromised, you can likely compromise the computer of whatever you're connecting to open your network. Then a security professional, 20 years. Last job I had was hacking power plants for the federal government. Fantastic. Your voice sounds like I've heard it before. Probably true. Does it protect from cookies? What? Do you... What? What do you mean, does it protect from cookies? Are you just choosing words? Randomly? What does that mean? It doesn't make any sense. I am flabbergasted by this question. My flabber is gasted. Anyway, ads. You just stunlocked me with that. That was such a weird question. What do you... What do you mean? I'm out of... I'm out of... Busy water. Sadness. Are VPNs useful on public Wi-Fi? No. There's... If you're using public Wi-Fi, you're on a PVP-enabled network. Stop it. Stop using that. Don't do that. Use your home network. Get a soda stream? I know. I've been thinking about it. I want to get a soda stream, but I want to modify it so it can have infinite carbonation. Did you get that thing I sent you? What was the thing you sent me? Maybe. I got a lot of things. That thing, you know. The thing. I have like 15 copies of Spy Kids next to my desk. Did you not know about this? I can't even... I can't even get them all. There's... Spy Kids. On VHS. Spy Kids on DVD. Spy Kids 2 on DVD. They're everywhere. This dude Towns just keeps sending me Spy Kids. Look, it's even... It's even really actually Spy Kids in there. I don't know. I don't know why. I don't even... I had to go back through the VOD and see if I talked about Spy Kids, but I didn't. I don't even know why. I think it's because we brought up the thumbs. Maybe there's Scott's talking about the thumbs. I don't know. He just keeps sending me copies of Spy Kids. 
There's a shitload of copies of Spy Kids. Anyway. Have you an actual VHS? Have been sure it has been taped over? I don't know, dude. Towns just keep sending me Spy Kids. Just a lot of them. It wasn't even all in one package either. It was like four different packages with Spy Kids in it. It was like four different Spy Kids packages. There's so many copies. Of There's one. I forgot about one of them in my car. So every time I get in the car, in the door of my car, there is a copy of Spy Kids. And I just keep forgetting to take it out of the car. Because I get in the car and I'm like, oh, goddamn Spy Kids again. And then I get out of my car and by then I've forgotten about it. So the next time I get back into my car, I remember the Spy Kids again. It's an ongoing... Everywhere I go in my house, there is Spy Kids now. Every time. Why are you sending me Spy Kids? God damn it. So no, Faye, I don't know what you sent me. I don't know. If you send me something I, and it's still in the P.O. Box, I will get it soon. I'm not sure. Stop using your car as a staging area for Spy Kids. <laughs> Oh. I don't even know what your P.O. Box is. What? So, so you didn't even send me anything? You just... I don't know what I expected. I'm sending you Spy Kids. Faye underscore Viking underscore Princess with 500 bits said the goblins haven't changed. It is still best to buy the demo and flood the queue, to make vidyar games and more, to be happy in what we create, good or bad, and have courage when things go wrong. So make that thing, do that thing, take the trip you always wanted, build that game you always dreamed of, paint that painting, draw that sketch, check out of the hotel but you can never leave. <laughs> the density in that statement was enormous, by the way. It was like the center of a neutron star. Thank you. Evangeline with $5 said remember that you're awesome. Back to giving you no, some light awesome. trolling with love on a dark desert highway because it's Californiacation. I will survive this. I will. I'll weather this storm. I will. Cooperman with 500 bits said hey Thor, love the streams, I'm still pissed I didn't know about you until recently, anyway, okay. have you heard about a game called Eco? they recently announced version yes. 1.0 coming soon, it's been in development since 2018. Yes, I have heard about Eco. Eco looks really cool, I'm interested in it, I'd be interested in seeing where it goes. Game looks neat, game looks really neat actually, super into it. Yeah, block game is going to be down for a couple of hours. I've got a lot of shit to fix. Um, we're also going to be buffing runes. And reducing innate PvP resistance. Do you need more spy kids? Nah. Nah, I don't think I need more spy kids. Can you tap into Minecraft and unpause the game? If paused, I would appreciate. Why do I need to unpause the game? What do you mean, unpause the game? Jake. What does that mean? You mean unwhitelisted? No, we need it whitelisted right now. If that's what you mean. Just so chat can see the game? Oh. You know, I feel like that's a pretty important thing to see. Yeah, that's true. What do you think about that, chat? Jake has left this. I think it's true. Chat smells. It's true. That is true. It's just a, it's a true statement, chat. It's true. Tirava underscore Nightblood with 500 bits said, Good morning, Thor. Hope you are feeling better. I am. I have mostly finished my game design document for my first game and was wondering if you would be willing to take a look at it and let me know if you feel I'm overshooting for my first game or not. If you want to look at it on stream you can I have no problem with that. Any advice is welcome. I'll send you the link in Discord. Oh no. Oh no, you're sending me the link in Discord. Please just put the link in the thing. 
Uh, if you send me the link in Discord, you have to understand something. I've learned something really, really important. People who do a lot of things, like I have to do a lot of things every day. I've realized something that happens once you have too many things to do. You either do it instantly right then, or it never happens. And I've, I've realized this about everything. No matter what it is, if it comes on my plate, if it's critical, I do it instantly. If it's not critical, that ain't happening. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. And like, I don't, I did just send it. Yeah, but where? I have 206 notifications. Since the stream started, I had 100. I now have 206. It gets lost instantly. I will do my best to find it. I will do my best, because I do want to see it. I do want to see your game design document. I will do my best. But I don't want you to be upset if I don't find it. Yeah, friend request. If you if you friend request me, god damn it. Why? Why? Why, chat? I almost got through all my notifications. I did. It was close. I almost got through them. Excuse me? Why are you not in selectioning? No. You're gonna make me select it again? Oh. In selection. Thank you. Replace. We did it. Alright, so now we have to do revision ID. Revision ID to 400. Replace them all. Regular expression. Boop. 120 items are being updated. We've done it. We've done it, chat. All right, save all of these. Global modifiers. So now we got to add another one. Is there a fortune rune? No. That does not exist. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, did I fix it over in this side too? Hold up. update this though? I don't think I updated this. There we go. That one's updated. Sanctified. Wool. There we go. All right. 
I'm trying to think of what else. I believe the mod pack had been given. What is this? What, dude? <laughs> You try to make like a weird, like a weird band thing of it. You just got instant deleted, dude. Why does it look like he's editing some MC plugin right now? Because I am. Don't forget to save your work. It's already saved. That one needs to be saved. Yeah. Half dev life with 500 bits said I am building a game, but I am unsure on how to make the play testing phase. How to share okay. the game in a safe way, meaning, avoiding piracy or that kind of stuff. Also, thanks for being the inspiration you are, it was the helping I needed to start chasing this dream of mine. Honestly, one of the best ways to distribute a demo of your game is to put it up on Steam. Steam is phenomenal for that, dude. They have an entire thing for you to be able to put a demo out, be able to put up all your stuff on your Steam page, and it allows you to distribute that game in a way that people feel much more comfortable about. So there's no reason not to do that. Yeah, but it costs $100. It does. It does. So another thing you can do is you can put it up on Game Jolt. Game Jolt is phenomenal and free, and they pay you ad revenue. da -da. What happened to the Hype Train channel? Wait till the next Hype Train and look at the stream. You'll see. Poor Little Pigeon, thank you for the rating party of 8. And Gakari, thank you for the rating party of 10. You guys are awesome. How'd you get that split view in Notepad++ like that? I think it was a mod. I think it was a modifier that we did. An add-on for Notepad++, which is super useful. How much do they pay? Not very much, but eventually it'll actually pay off your stuff. You can do it over HIO too, but a lot of people don't want to download shit over HIO for good reason. Because, like, HIO is kind of spooky yuki. Have you heard of Harold Halibut? No? Is it like a weird kids show? I don't know what that is. Is Split View standard? I think it used to be an add-on. It might be standard now. Basically what you do is you just grab one of these. And you go to move document, and it says move to other view or clone to other view. It's a game. Awesome. I've never played it. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. Yeah, do it through Steam, dude. Steam is great. Music? M music? Why you no play? Okay, there we go. Here's the game design document person from DTS. Let me see. Bam! Butter time. All right. All right. For some reason, I can't copy paste this. There we go. One moment. Game design document based on Eisen's Mass Flux game design document. Good. Art design, audio, music, sound effects. The formatting is a little bit rough to read because these are all like stuck to each other. You just finished toasting a piece of bread and now you need to get it buttered. Control a perpetually moving piece of butter on toast in order to get it fully buttered for maximum deliciousness. Game release on Windows PC, Android devices, maybe Nintendo Switch. So, big thing, big thing for this platform. Don't bank on this yet. Nintendo Switch consoles, incredibly expensive. You do that when it feels right, you know? You do when it feels right. And I think that's really important to understand. So I wouldn't I wouldn't overshoot for that. January 2024, Pirates Suffer Game Jam theme, it spreads. When I heard of the theme, my gut reaction was butter being spread on toast. Gameplay overview. You guide a pad of butter around a slice of toasted bread. But it would constantly be moving, similar in vibe to Shake, Snake, and similar games. You gain a score to the end depending on how much of the toast you covered and how did I play your game I don't remember if I played this or not I played a game that was very similar to this in the game gym steam allows for playtest phase yeah I don't I've seen other games do it I think this is a fine game design document to be honest with you I don't think there's anything wrong with this at all. It's just a collection of notes, which is all a game design document really needs to be. The formatting is a little bit tough for me to read, but, like, it's your game design document. If it works for you, it works for you. It doesn't matter, right? Do you really need to solve coding problems? Bro, if I'm looking for internships? Just say bro on your resume. It'll work out. <laughs> 
But to be real with you, do I really need to solve coding problems if I'm looking for information? If you're trying to be a programmer, yes, they're going to make you solve coding problems. Most definitely. Like 100%. If you're trying to do a programming job, yes. You, you, you can't get a programming job if you don't know how to code. It doesn't work that way. If you want to learn how to code, there's a million resources for you to do it. You can absolutely do it. But you're not getting a programming job if you don't know how. It doesn't work that way. Every job has training. Bro is a great job interview opener. Oh. Don't copy paste stack over. Oh my god. Don't ever listen to chat. Don't do that. It's a mistake. No, this is good. There's nothing wrong with this. There's nothing wrong with this at all. So yeah, go make the game. Whether you made it or not, I don't know if you did. I didn't get to play every game in the game jam. I get to play some of them. AI code it? No. Don't do that. Thank you for the rating party of three, by the way, Red Cyber Dragon. Just the one that aren't gnomes? Haven't made it going to start? Do it. Yeah, do it. It's a cool looking idea. So do it. And it's simple enough that you can do it very quickly. I see from 2020 to 2023 20, you were chillin'? What does that mean? Sean, well, hold up. Sean Flagstaff, what do you mean from 2020 to 2023 I was chillin'? I had COVID for two years. I wasn't chilling. I almost died. It sucked. <laughs> yeah. Hey, check this shit out. I don't know if they were just making a joke they didn't realize, but there are people that will come up and say like, why aren't you, why haven't you worked on Heartbound in X amount of time? And they're like, why didn't you do any updates? This is me streaming. This is, this is me streaming right here. I basically didn't miss a single day for the first two and a half years of me streaming. You can see there's very few days in here I didn't make it, right? Very, very few days. Then you can see at like 2020, this is me going to DreamHack. DreamHack's an international convention. I got COVID back when no one knew what COVID was. And everyone thought COVID was fake. You didn't know? It's okay, Sean. It's okay. I didn't know if you were making a bad joke. You didn't realize, but now you get to know. So everyone thought it was fake. Everyone thought it was fake back then. In fact, when I got it, we didn't know what I had. And I had to go to the doctor and they didn't know what I had. There was no such thing as tests or anything like that. And it destroyed me. And you can see it destroyed me for almost, it was a little bit over two years. And you can see right here, see this? See how like I just basically didn't stream at all. And then I suddenly started streaming a lot again. You know what they found out right here? They found out, like I, I went to the doctor and I was like, hey, the COVID is like mostly gone. What's going on though? Because my mouth is burning all the time. And they're like, why is your mouth burning? That's weird. And they're like, we're going to give you this antifungal. And my lungs were destroyed at that point. Like, I couldn't breathe. I felt like shit all the time, right? It was bad. It was really bad. And um, they gave me this antifungal, and suddenly I could breathe again. And they were like, oh, you had fungus in your lungs. And I was like, what? <laughs> I, had, I had fungal lung. Like, I had, a, I had a fungal lung infection. Yeah, it was horrible. I had the lungus, dude. So... What had happened was I had COVID. It suppressed my immune system super, super hard. They put me on an, on an inhaler. And they didn't tell me that you're supposed to like wash your mouth out after you do use your inhaler. Because it can damage your teeth and it can give you a fungal infection. Didn't know that shit. So I got a fungal infection in my lungs. And then so it was COVID back to back with fungal lung infection. And then it just like destroyed me. And then the next year was me recovering from that. Learning how to like talk again. And then this last year, I started being able to stream again. And now you can see me streaming all the time. There I am. There, there it is. It's fantastic. We did it. We did it, chat. I can stream again. Yay. <laughs> How are you even alive? Barely. So, like, the worst that it got, and this is the scariest thing, I went into what's called happy hypoxia around, I think it was around here. I went into what's called happy hypoxia. I don't remember... 
most of 2020, 2021, and, and about half of 2022. I don't remember most of this. I don't remember most of this at all. Like, there's no memory there at all. Happy hypoxia, you feel great. You feel awesome. Like, you could do anything. But you're just going to take a couple of steps. And you know what? I'm just going to do I'm going to do everything in a minute. I'm just going to sit down for a minute. I feel wonderful. I feel... You, anyone else tired? I feel... I feel tired. And you go to bed and you die because you are running out of oxygen. That is what that is. You feel fantastic as it's happening too. Yeah. You my my lips were turning purple and and I was running out of oxygen. So it was because my lungs couldn't process it. I just I was dying, right? And I remember the first time that it happened too. I was standing in the shower and I was like, God, the shower is like it's not warm and I'm turning it up. And then I looked at the room, I kind of started paying attention because I was running out of oxygen and the room was full of steam and my skin was red. And I was like, I can't feel the heat. That's not good. <laughs> that was real scary because I lost the sense of hot and cold. Yeah. It was scary shit, dude. Like COVID was no joke. And from as funny as it is from 2020 to like 2022. <laughs> It's when that happened. Yeah, and it was really, really spooky. Look like a shrimp. Yeah, boiled Thor. Man about to die. But no, I, I survived. I think the funniest thing was, I think in the beginning of this, we had like 50 average viewers, yeah. So I had 50 average viewers back then, just about. And like five or six people, which was like 10% of the community of people who watched, left and told me that I was a, a liar and a troll and that I worked for the government and that the COVID wasn't real. It was like 10% of the community at the time. And that was like devastating. It was super shit. Yeah. Did COVID mess up your taste? It didn't. It didn't mess up my taste. I just lost all of that. Yeah, and it was real shit. It was honestly really shit. Because it was right in the beginning. No one knew it was real then. They all thought it was only in China. And they didn't realize it was a real thing. Yeah, but I did work for the government. That is true. I did work for the government before that. I'm glad I lived too. If I didn't live, I'd be dead now. And that would suck. So... Thankfully, I lived, right? You know? Yeah. I hear that when you die on the internet, you die in real life as well. And and vice versa. If I die in real life, I die on the internet too. And I, I'd like to be alive. So I am alive now, which is good. Replaced by the clone? Don't worry about it. Clone's probably fine. Yeah, dying is definitely suboptimal. I agree with that. So it did suck. Thor's a lich confirmed? Well, I am. I've admitted that many times. My phylactery is actually my game Heartbound, and 60,000 of you bought it, and untold thousands actually have it installed on their computer as a demo. So, to kill me, you have to delete every copy. It's too late. I've already won. It's too late. It's too late. By the way, if I die, one of your computers is going to turn into the new me, so get ready for that. Yeah, it's going to happen. <clears throat> I don't know which one either. It's totally at random. Not mine. I have Windows. <laughs> that just makes it worse. Conundrum 51 with $1.99 said my B-Day DLC was Crohn's disease. Oh. Sad face crying. That's some shit. That's some shit DLC. I'm sorry to hear that. You will survive it, though. You'll be okay. Awful condition to deal with. But, I guess the, the one thing that you have with this, right, is that you know it, you identified it, and that's the hard part, is finding out what you have. You can definitely die from it. You can you can die from a lot of things. But with this, at least they know what it is, and there are treatments for it. So, yeah. Don't let it stop you. Mr. Beast has it. Wait, does Mr. Beast really have Crohn's disease? Really? I didn't know that. Is it true? Mr. Beast. Wow. No shit. Hmm. Here's one that's really interesting. The average life expectancy for females 
with Crohn's disease is 78.4 and males is 75.5. However, other studies suggest that Crohn's life expectancy is the same for people with the disease and without it. Mainly accounts for lifestyle modification and dietary changes. You just lead a normal life. You just change your diet. Kind of annoying, but not oh, not a barrier to living. Yeah. Sounds statistics, man. It does feel statistics, man. But at the same time, like, outcomes on this are pretty positive now. It's, we know enough about the condition that outcomes are really positive. That's a good thing. That's a really good thing. One of my friends from high school is Crohn's. Yeah, that's rough. But like, you learn a lot of shit. Like, society moves forward because we find out how to beat these conditions. That's what we do. And that's a good thing. If you can afford healthcare, you'd be surprised how much you can afford healthcare in the U.S., I know this is sort of surprising. Let me show you something. Let's do healthcare. There we go. Please. I want to show you this. Because I think a lot of people get down on the healthcare system and they it's sort of just become a meme. But let me show you this. See this right here? This is my bill from getting a hiatal hernia fixed. Hiatal hernia is pretty rough. I was likely born with a problem there. And uh, there was also a valve at the top of my stomach that I had to get fixed. They did them both at the same time. They did laparoscopic surgery and then they put a big machine down my throat so they could build a new valve to the top of my stomach. Weird problems, right? See how this says $94,605? Yeah, the top of my stomach is actually my own. It's actually a valve made out of, made out of my stomach. It's kind of wild. $94,605. See that right there? See this $17,982? This is actually what the insurance paid. This is what the hospital billed. This is what the insurance paid. So there's $76,623 left on the table. Who paid that? Nobody. The hospital takes it as a mark off on their bill. They actually say, oh, this is a loss, and they don't pay taxes on that money. It's a tax write-off. I paid $130. I have really shit insurance. I have super shit insurance. Here in Washington State, if you make up to, I think, five times over the poverty level, they will pay, it's like 80% to 100% of your medical bill as well. Here in Washington. So, like, look at your local areas. Find out what is available to you. Like, you, you would be amazed at how much just gets handled for you, depending on your income. And if you don't have enough money for insurance, Obamacare is big shit. Obamacare kicks ass. Like, yeah, you need to do that. I find many of the times people who are like, oh, I can't afford insurance. They haven't looked into the systems that are there. We have a lot of social systems for health insurance. We have a shitload of health insurance systems. And Obamacare is a big one, dude. I have no insurance, just spy kids. <laughs> Not all of it's tax rate. Some of it's subsidized by the government. In this case, a lot of it was a tax write-off because this is my insurance paying for that. Yeah, Washington Apple Health is... Yeah, wa Apple Health in Washington is huge. I think Shay used Apple Health for a long time. Yeah, my sister is on Obamacare. Costs her zero dollars. Yeah, and if you're wondering, like, let's see... um, What is it? Poverty level... Poverty line USA. So the poverty line for individuals is $14,580. And when we talk about this for incomes, right... Times five, they'll pay up to eighty percent. It's seventy-two. If you make less than seventy-two thousand nine hundred dollars a year, look into these systems. Like, do that. Don't bemoan healthcare. Go look to see what social systems exist in your area. It's not going to be the same everywhere either. Here in Washington, we get a lot of good shit. Like, it's great here for this. So, like, go look, find out what you can do. Because I, I find more often people are just like, oh, all healthcare in the United States is dog shit, and then they don't look. Go look. I make less than $14,000. Go look at Obamacare. Like, do it. There's no reason not to. Like, do it. It's it's wild. It is wild. Yeah, $130 instead of hundred k is pretty good. Yeah. I make $0. I have health insurance. There you go. It's a broken system. It's not really a broken system. It just relies on you going and doing research. Legitimately. What was that $130 for? That was what I had to pay. Out of the $94,000 bill, I paid $130. That's it.
Those prices are inflated, so I didn't pay them. I don't have to care. Less than 14K? What do you do, Lamal? What do you mean less than 14 No, it's, you, if you're talking about somebody's income, everybody does different shit. Yeah. Everybody does your medical care? Yeah, you can look into social systems for your area. I, I find it... I find it always really interesting because the, the narrative of the healthcare is broken. Sure, it is. Whatever. There are system there are ways that you can adapt in these systems to take care of yourself and your family members. And you should look into them. No matter where you live, no matter what your income is, you should look into them because there are a shitload of options depending on where you live in the United States. A massive amount of options. And I looked at those, and that's why I paid $130 on a ninety-four thousand dollar bill. That's it. Yeah. Soon I'm going to be able to give health insurance to these nerds, the mods. Yeah. It's $130 more than I would have to pay. Sure. That makes sense. But if you have to pay it, would you rather pay $94,000 or one hundred and thirty? dollars Yeah, it, mods are getting benefits. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I don't need to look into options. Five-day hospital trip, zero pay. Yeah. In the United States, we have it different. It is much different here. You're awesome human for that? Anytime. Like, I, I always want you guys to go and do research. I always do. I want you to look into stuff. I want you to do research. I want you to find out what is available to you in your local area. Because everywhere is going to be different. Every town is going to be different. Every city is going to be different. Every local area is going to be your county. Like the, the different hospitals that are available to you all have different systems in place. Here we have Apple Health that helps out with a shitload of that stuff. Here we have a bunch of different um, individual hospital systems where you can talk to them about like writing off, to, you know, bills and stuff or any type of like payment plan stuff that they have. And to be real with you, I have taken a, a full advantage of every single one of those. And because of that, over the last... Four years through all of COVID and my hiatal hernia surgery and my surgery to put another valve at the top of my stomach so I don't get throat cancer when I'm older. All of that, I think, cost me $400. And the bills in total would have been over two hundred grand. So, like, go look at those systems in your area. Like, do it. Don't be a dumbass. Don't sit there and bemoan it. Go research. There is no reason not to. It's important. It's really important. Did you get another flesh valve? It's the top of my stomach. It's like up and then they pin it together and it's weird. Yeah, you have to go outside. You're a literal flesh tuber? How dare you? You ever feel it in your stomach when you're doing some movement or similar? Nope. How much do you pay for insurance? I used to pay like... It was something really cheap. It was less than my phone bill. I think it's still less than my phone bill. I got the cheapest ass insurance I could get. And I think it's less than my phone bill. My phone actually costs more than my physical health. Yeah. I got the cheapest, shittiest insurance that any human being could get. It was great. Welcome to Washington. Healthcare. $96,000 gallbladder surgery cost me 90 bucks. My man. How much is your phone bill? I think it's like $72. I hate my phone bill. I wish I didn't have a phone bill. You got a health insurance ad? Nice. Yeah, my phone bill is high. Waiting. Waiting on the ads. For UK healthcare crap, though. Yeah. 
I think it's kind of an interesting thing. How much is your internet bill? Sixty-five dollars for one gig up, one gig down. Asymmetric or uh, symmetric fiber. It's hilarious. Where? Ads are done. Any plans to play more Pacific Drive? Oh, dude, I love Pacific Drive. How much is an MRI in the US? I don't know. It depends on where you go. But yeah, to be real with you, I find more often than not, there's a lot of problems around education when it comes to what is available to you in your local area. And many people get trapped in these kind of mires where they're overpaying for services that otherwise would be free or dramatically reduced. No matter what, ask. Ask. Educate yourself on anything that you're going to do in your life. It will always make it easier for you. And that's the whole point with that. What is this crash override? 332? Is that is that some politics in my chat? Is that what that is? Is that you bemoaning the Republicans? Like there's some kind of here, I'm gonna I'm gonna click this ban button. Remember that you remember the rules that you accepted when you entered the chat? The no politics rules? I don't give a shit about your red versus blue. I don't care. No one cares. I don't care about Biden. I don't care about Trump. I don't give a shit. I don't even give a little bit of a shit. You're banned now. You get to write me a dissertation on why politics are stupid to get unbanned. That's going to be your unbanned request. No one gives a shit. No one gives a shit about red versus blue. Don't care. Don't even care a little bit. Soapbox removed. Okay, that's the only time. AI Trump versus AI Biden is probably the funniest thing in the goddamn planet. That's that's a hilarious channel on Twitch. It's very funny. Because they're just cursing at each other the whole time. <laughs> it's really funny. It's really, really funny. Speaking of democracy, how about some Helldivers 2? I don't know where Iron Mouse is, man. If I'm going to play, I'm waiting for Iron Mouse and Sea Dog and Cellbit and everybody. Pull it up. Where's the democracy chat? Democracy. Rubber Ross, dude. Oh, nobody's online. No. I know he's doing it. Connor's doing a Nuzlocke today. Um, he's streaming a Nuzlocke. Democracy. Democracy. Iron Mouse stopped streaming earlier. Hope she's okay. Iron Mouse loves streaming super long hours, just like I do. Yeah. This man needs his democracy. Okay, I'm going to be real with you. I may have played democracy a little bit before the stream, and I may have I may have gone from level 22 to level 30. It was a small amount of democracy. It was a tiny amount. It was just, it was just from level 22 to level 30, chat. It was, it was a little bit of rank 9 solos. I got a little bit better at the video game, and I could do them now. <laughs> I'm actually really good at the game, though. So I, I've changed up my build. My build is pretty hilarious now. So I, I am taking the shield, the energy shield. I am also using the arc gun. Do you know why I'm using the arc gun? Because if you shoot the arc gun at those big acid ticks, it kills them in two hits. It is ridiculously strong. It is disgusting. And it has infinite ammo and never recharges. My god, it's amazing. And then after this, I take the 500 kilogram bomb. Because who doesn't like a 500 kilogram bomb? Right? You know? Beautiful. Wonderful. Wonderful to use. And then after this, I take the uh, orbital railgun. The reason why I use the orbital railgun is because, you know the crusher bugs? It kills them in one hit. They die in a single use. You just go, ah, oh, it's a crusher bug. No, it ain't. And it's just gone. People are like, ah, oh, it's a crusher. And I'm like, Pfft. and just walk away and it dies. You abandon the mines. I, I am going to implore the developers of Helldivers 2 right now. Devs of Helldivers 2, if you're out there, 
give me a 500 kilogram mine. I just want a mine that's enormous. Just a big, big mine. Not a bunch of little mines, one big one. You know, I just wanted to and just stick in the ground. Just a big old chonker. You know, just as a as an experimental tech from Super Earth Command. All right. Just one big mine. All at once. And then when something steps on it, maybe just a big chunk gets taken out of the planet, right? Like just maybe it just finishes a whole mission. I don't know. Just a big just a big mine. A hell mine, if you will. Yes, a hell mine. Yeah. It's fantastic. Yeah, we could we could even name it the Connor Special. We could do that. The just the big five hundred kilogram mine, the Connor Special. I'll use it for him. It's true. You can do that. It's a big claymore, yeah. It's all of the claymores, frankly. Warhammer Universe would like your location. I'm going to be real with you. When I'm running around with the art gun and I have the shield back back on and I'm just zapping bugs, it feels very Warhammer 40k and I, I really enjoy it. And the way that I've been fighting things now is I just turn around and I go blap, 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 and then I run away and then I turn around and blap, blap, blap until I get all my energy back because you, re you repair stamina when you're uh, stopping and shooting with the, the art gun. I can get three. I uh, The rotation that I have now is to run away from the gigantic horrifying bile titan turn around and shoot it three times and then run away and then shoot it three times and then run away and shoot it three times. And I'm just fast enough to do that without dying, which is great. Also, I started using the medic outfit because you get six stim packs and the stim packs last for two seconds longer, which basically means you're immune to death for like six seconds, which is hilarious. It's amazing. You're like, oh, there's like 30 hunters on me. I don't give a shit. <laughs> run through them. You're like, and your guy's just screaming the whole time and everyone's, like, you're just bleeding everywhere and it doesn't matter. None of it matters. It's fine. Scout armor? Scout armor? No. No. Medic armor. You know what happens to scout armor? When you get caught, you die. You know what happens to medic armor? You don't die. You never die. You don't take damage while stimming. You regenerate constantly while stimming. Unless you die in one hit, you don't die. It's great. God, it's so good. Drone armor? No. Medic armor. It doesn't have plus plus speed, no. It's like normal medium armor. It's all like hundreds or whatever it is. The basics. Yeah, I use I use the medic armor though. Is there light medic armor? Does that exist? Hmm. I don't have the light medic armor. I would use that over anything. Mmm, I need that. Light medic armor, because then you'd be fast. I have so many super credits now. I've got like 550 super credits or some shit. What do you think of microtransactions? I think microtransactions are fine if they're cosmetic. I don't have to give a shit. And to be real with you, they give you so many, so many premium currency just for playing the game. Like... Everyone else is doing the objective, and I'm doing all the side objectives. I go commando and do all the side objectives now. Because, like, it takes three people to do the main objective and it takes one dude to do everything else, right? And I I end up finding all the things that give the team super credits. Like, I do those all the time. Do you know that armor in Helldivers is broken? In what way? Bugged, broken, that does not tell enough information. You go commando? Damn right. What are you going to do about it? Yeah, they're not predatory about it. Railgun takes out spitter bugs in one headshot. Yeah, but the railgun has ammunition and can also blow up in your hands, thus killing you. The arc gun doesn't. Also, when you shoot something with the arc gun, it travels through the enemy up to two other targets, and you kill three in one shot. So in two shots, I kill three ticks. In two shots from you, you kill two ticks. I win. I also don't spend ammo doing it. Arc gun wins. Arc gun always wins. Or one Connor and two ticks. That is also true. Timer resets, but not the level and percentage. Really? Let me go look. Mm hmm? It should be. That's a little bit weird. Let me look at this.
Why did that level reset? That's a little strange. Why did the timer reset there? We didn't go up a level. Oh. We did go up a level. I'm just dumb. There we go. There we go. Thanks, me. Alright, it's fixed. I decided to be a Dumbo, and now it's fixed. Wondrous. Next. Something the wise with 500 bits said, have you ever spent a lot of time working on your own 3D title independently, and what game engine did you use? Is the Monster Battle a game you're going to make 3D? No. I don't like making 3D games, to be honest with you. I like making 2D games. And I think the reason why is because I think that pixel art is timeless and wonderful. And I want to continue that into the next generation. It's something I really, really enjoy, and I think it's an art form that needs to persist. And it's always fantastic for young people. They think it's awesome as hell. And I have, I have no reason to stop doing that. Yeah. Pixel art encourages you to use your imagination. I agree with that. Yeah. I really enjoy it. Really enjoy it. You clip Thorgo's commando. That's fine. What about 3D pixel art like Teardown? That's called voxels. Voxels are fine as well. I think that's totally fine. I just don't want to make a game like that. I want to make 2D pixel art. I like 2D pixel art shit. Dave the Divers, your favorite game to play with the kids? Dave the Divers is hilarious, dude. It's an awesome game. Voxels are cool. You wish WoW was in pixel art? WoW is low poly. Low poly I really enjoy too. Low poly 3D is nice. 2.5D games like Octopath are fantastic. Do you like old school RuneScape's art style? That's really low poly. Mm. I don't like it as much, but I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Let's look at... Let's just go look at like, this... I'm going to show you something. Let me find the original. Because you're going to remember this in your brain differently. You're going to remember this totally differently in your brain. And when I show this to you, there's going to be a disconnect from your childhood to right now. That's Cloud from Final Fantasy VII. I guarantee that there's a grand majority of you that don't remember him looking like that. It's weird, right? It's exactly how I remember him. Nah, dude. Those models, those models were larger than life back then. Look at that weird arm. <laughs> Some weird shit. That's why I preferred Final Fantasy VIII. Damn, he's hot. Dude, I don't know. Look at those legs. Look at those arms. What is going on with that? Joke's on you. I beat Final Fantasy VII for the first time last year, so yes, I do remember it. That's funny. But I find I find a lot of times we get this like rose-tinted glasses over stuff. We really do. You know, like, we we look at things like that and we we kind of add to it. The character becomes larger than that. And I I think that's fantastic. And I like 2D pixel art specifically for that reason. Oh, no, it was amazing back then. It was. It was incredible. Backyard Goat, thank you. The rating party of 19. Hope you're having a good day. I usually keep away from nostalgia games from my past. I don't. Have you played the remake? I have not. I haven't had enough time. Ooh. Pacific Drive and Helldivers 2 are the two games that I've gotten into the most in the last, like, year, to be honest with you. And I want to play Last Epic as well. Last Epoch. Epoch. Speaking of which, where is Steets' video? 
He has not responded. Shit. Shit. We need that. I need that video. Boo. Right next. Yeah. I, I'd rather do 2D stuff. Hayes Karamouche with 500 bits said Yar Bongo's High Thor. I'm an aspiring oh. 3D environment artist. I always am oh. told that if I want to land a job, I have to stand out, but I never actually know what that means and I'm kind of lost. Would you have any advice? Peace. Thank you for all that you do and inspiring me to not give up on working towards this dream. Yeah, so number one, one page cover letter, one page resume. Super, super important. One and one. And the reason that you want to do this is because there are tens of thousands of people applying and no hiring manager wants to look through a very long resume and cover letter. Don't do this. You're cover letter really just needs to be a couple of paragraphs, like one paragraph, a couple of sentences. Hello, this is my name. I am interested in this job. As per my resume, I believe that I would be a good fit based on these skills. And then you say, from there, I look forward to hearing from you. And thank you for the opportunity, specifically. Thank you for the opportunity as a big one. Put that in there. If you do get an interview, at the end of the interview, ask them, if you were to hire me today, how would you best utilize my skills in the company right now? Because then they stop thinking about you as a potential hire and start thinking about how they would utilize you as an employee once you're hired. You win the game that way. Social engineer that shit. Also, warm regards. True. Okay. Butterfingers has to be applied to everything now. Actually, let's go pull this up. Items. Materials. Oh, this is going to be rough. This is going to be so many items. Oh, my God. Ah! Okay, so I have to change every chest in the video game. Sadness. Every chest in the video game has to be changed. Death. Infinite death for me. Okay, let's think about this. We need to go into corrupted armor. Please? There we go. And in corrupted armor, we have a modifier here called corrupted. And we need to go down here. I guess it's after the revision ID. And we will change this to butterfingers. And now we go forward and we change all of the items. Wondrous. We're doing it, chat. We're changing everything in the entire game. And then we're going to increase the revision IDs. And that'll be that. That'll be the whole day. Mm. Zombie leather. Mithril ingot. Why are you drinking like that? One of the ferrets is drinking upside down and being weird. You ever play Gex? Enter the Gecko? Dude, that is a that is a long time ago. Yes. That's actually fantastic. Yes. Gex, enter the gecko, dude. That's some old school shit. Why does it sound familiar? It should sound familiar. Oh my god. Okay, so these are not going to get butterfingers on them. Those will not. We're just going to take a look at all of these. We're going to be changing all the revision IDs on these. Ancient pottery. Coagulated mass. Every single one of these is going to be getting a butterfingers. 
And then we have to go and check to see if the item IDs are working. But I think this is going to be good for the game. I really do. Never played Ashran's Call? I actually never did. Yeah, that's one of those things that, like, people got super into those games, and that was not something I ever got into. Never played it. Was it Spyro Enter the Dragon? Or Enter the Dragonfly? I played Gex. I don't even know if it was Enter the Gecko. I played Gex. Let I me mean, look. Gex. Was it called Enter the Gecko? It was Gex Enter the Gecko. Yeah, that was a real game. I thought for a second there I was being rused. I know it's Gex. But Ge Enter the Gecko is definitely part of it. They were riffing off of that. They were making fun of it. It's hilarious. Troy Tech with 500 bits said Hell Divers reminds me of Section 8 Prejudice. The games I want to make are extremely open world. I've been hmm. looking into an engine for years now because I think Avalanche Studios Apex engine would work best. Do you know anything about it? I don't know no. whether or not I can use it or license it and other details. Basically but I either want to use it to make a ring world or an entire planet with no see-through terrain. Could you take a minute to tell me what you think of this engine? Goblin I out. Don't, I don't actually know anything about that engine, but to be real with you, that sounds kind of cool. Legitimately. It's it's always interesting to go and pick up specific engines like that and see what they can do if you are allowed to use it. You may want to find out if you can. That sounds like a legal thing at that point, where, like, I don't know. Like, I'm not really sure how that works. But I would check it out. I would check it out and see. Need the engine to be V8 with turbocharging? What does that even mean? <laughs> Why are you like this? Because, <laughs> like, to be real with you, it's... It's always really interesting to see how people use older tools like that. Like here, if we look at Helldivers 2, Helldivers 2 engine, they use an engine called BitSquid that like nobody uses. Yeah, they used, they used BitSquid. I've never even heard of that engine. Many people have never heard of that engine, but Helldivers 2 is freaking amazing. So, like, yeah, check out Weird Engines. There's no reason not to. Try stuff. And see if you're allowed to. That's the biggest thing. What is your stance in a Helldivers 2 anti-cheat software? Well, here's how I play Helldivers. Because I don't like kernel-level anti-cheat. I think it's dog shit. As a security professional with over 20 years of experience in the industry and having over 2 million bans under my time because I used to work at Blizzard Entertainment, I don't like kernel-level anti-cheat. And I think it sucks. So... I took Helldivers 2, and I put it on a secondary computer. Then, over LAN, I have it pipe the video game to my primary computer. Then, I stream out to you from that primary computer. And then, I duplicate all of my keyboard inputs and mouse inputs over to that computer. And since it's over LAN, it's in real time, and I don't have any latency. So this computer has the kernel-level anti-cheat, and this computer is the one I actually use. Fantastic. Oh man, I gotta update all the animals. Oh. This is gonna be so much work. Chat, it's gonna be so much work. Oh god, I'm dying, chat. Chat, I'm dying. De Nuvo's entered the chat. Yeah, I know. De Nuvo's even worse because it like impacts the performance of the video game pretty dramatically. I feel like I can just... I can just do that. Butter on that. Cookie dough. I feel like Curse of Butterfingers on the butter is like the funniest thing it could be. We have so much... So much to do. I have so much work. This patch is enormous. It's enormous, Chen. My god. Nutmeg. At least the music's jamming, you know? I forgot how many materials I put in the video game. It's a lot. But this is important. And I think it'll be good. It's for Harbin or Block M? Yeah, it's for Block M. Harbin I'm working on off-stream right now because there is a ton of spoilerific shit going on. And I really don't want you to know about it. 
It's the same thing that I was doing when I was working on the end of the tower. It takes a while for me to finish, and it is deeply spoilerific. Now here's the big one. Essences drop like this. Now that'll be fun. As a spoiler adverse person, thank you. Anytime. I just realized something. I have to put the enchants in all of these. And I forgot to. And now I have to go back and do it again. And there's a million of them. It'll be fun. My god, I have so many items. By the way, um, this is going to mean that PvPers really want to fight you in the dungeon because all the items that drop in the dungeons are mostly materials. And materials now drop off of your character when you die. And so does Corruptive Gear. This is going to be neat. I'm going to be excited about this. Going to be neat. No, we're not regexing this. If there's a, a regex section like this, you have to remember like there's a lot of spaces that would be pulled like this, and that's not really what we want to do. We also can't do multi-line regex inside of Notepad++ in the way that I want to. Changing the enchant over to unbreaking from unbreaking one would largely work, so I think that would be fine. But not all of these have unbreaking one, so we could do a direct replacement with that. Is PvP opt-in, opt-out, or forced? It's forced. It's a social sandbox MMO. Yeah, there's there's no escape from PvP. Think of it like this. In EVE Online, you undock, you've entered PvP. Don't want to PvP? Stay in your house. It's about strategy. Strategy and resource control. That's the game. Let's save this. I'm actually going to go in game and do am I reload all my browse. I need to look at all the materials now. You know, I kind of like that better. Let's go into here. Oh, hi Bezos. How's it going? We need to look at layouts. No, not layouts. We need to look at language. Lore formats. And... Material. Shit. Okay. And now on this one... Lore format for this. Please. Jesus. Where's our enchant section? There we go. He develops the thing he talks about earlier? Yes. 
In fact, they already implemented the, the portals for that. There. What does see back of sign? Chat smells too electric boogaloo! Yeah, see? Work on his portals now. Whoop. And if you use those, you go back to Midgard. Ta-da! Do you know what this ends up doing? You can build portals anywhere in Murkheim. And you appear back where you were when you entered the portal. So if we do this, you appear back where you were in Origin, right? Because you were there. It's like a town portal in Diablo. Works exactly the same way. So because of this, when you enter into Murkheim, you will enter back to where you were in Murkheim at the time that you do it. So if we leave from this portal, this one should put me at spawn. That's the only one that will put me at spawn. There we go. These ones and all the other portals that you make throughout Murkheim will make you appear back there again. So what you do is you build a portal in your house, you build a portal out here, and you can leave and rejoin anytime you want. It's a town portal. Your portals that you make, this is actually going to create a market for people using Obsidian too. And Obsidian is, is going to be a rare resource, something that you want to use to be able to do stuff. Yeah, town portals are a thing. Can you ever leave? How dare you? How dare you? Neko Janez with 10 euros said any advice for my friend who sees all his projects taken away from him because he spends too much time on it and management isn't looking at the workload correctly and gives all other projects away. Hmm. All his projects taken away from him because he spends too much time on it and management isn't looking at the workload correctly and gives all the projects away. Sounds like he needs to have a manager fight for him. And there's not a lot of them that are going to be doing that. That kind of sucks. Because it, it really just kind of comes down to that, man. Like, you need a manager to fight for you. And if a manager isn't fighting for you, well, then they're kind of sucking, right? Yeah. That's sort of what that is. And that kind of sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm trying to think of what could solve that, but it's really just down to management solution. Talking to your manager... And if they don't listen, then going somewhere else. Like, there's not a whole lot you can do. Like, I think I think one of the things people forget, and this is like a really powerful and important one, is when you work for somebody else, you are mowing their lawn. As much as you want the business to change, it's not your business. The best that you can do is talk to your manager, try to affect change, and if you're not empowered to affect change, then you can't. And that's it. You want it to be better. You care. But it doesn't mean you always can make it better. You should always try. But if it comes to a point where it's a choice between you having a good day and feeling good doing the things that you do or feeling like shit every day, it's time to find a new job. Like, that's it. Yeah. If management isn't going to stand up for you, it's time to find something else. I agree with that. I super agree with that. And it's, it's not easy. It's super hard. It's super awful. But... That's what it is. As a lawnmower, this is correct. That's, that's funny as so. hell. You're a lawnmower. Um, yeah, true. That looks wrong. Lore from it shouldn't look like that at all. Wait a minute. Damn it. I'm thinking about if I want it to say Curse of Butterfingers on it. 
Because Curse of Butterfingers is pretty funny looking, to be honest with you. But I don't know if this item looks, like, over, like, too much now. Because it could look like this, or it could look like that. Like this, or like that. It says drops on death in red. It looks a little bit crowded. It skews towards Goofy. It is pretty Goofy. Yeah, the tooltip's really wide. Hmm. Why not jinxed? Eh. I like the curse. We're all about curses here, you know? Why do you think Bedrock Minecraft is bad? Because it has duplication exploits that are right inside of, like, the game that I wouldn't be able to fix if I was running on Bedrock instead of on Java. I'm glad I'm running on Java. Like, Java Minecraft is superior. Also, everything that I see on Bedrock is they're trying to move towards microtransactions in the game, and I'm not a fan of that. Curse of Butterfingers. Yeah, tons of dupe exploits. It's really obnoxious, actually. Yeah, also Bedrock's redstone really sucks. I wish it was good. It's really bad. Why does my security team hate Java then? I don't know, because Java's shit. It's just better than Bedrock. Java the language being shit has nothing to do with Java Minecraft being better than Bedrock Minecraft, alright? Nothing to do with it. At all. Java is still shit. Ketooth with 500 bits said Yar Cheer 500 Heya Thor. I noticed I spent over 150 euros at the beginning of the month because of the stream and games I decided to buy. Jesus. This will maybe be my last question for this month, so I'm gonna make it count. What is the best way to get money to afford your demo? Our local bank don't want to give me a credit for it. The demo is free. God damn it. the worst you could be any other way you know that right you do know that right it doesn't have to be this way and save these Oh, that also has Curse of Butterfingers. I should probably add this. Christine Hyde. Leather Saddle. Let's make sure that everything has the Curse of Butterfingers. Butterfingers for everyone. Thankfully, most of these already had Unbreaking on them, so putting Curse of Butterfingers on them is just fine. It won't stop dancing. Curse of Butterfingers. Mm -hmm. We're doing it, chat. We're making the curse of Butterfingers. Putting that curse on everything, dude. I'm kind of excited for this, to be honest with you. This is going to be such an interesting direction for the game. In the words of Bart Simpson, hands up my butterfinger. I know, right? No, I'm actually pretty excited for this. I really am. Zero underscore wand underscore zero with 500 bits said with 500 bit with 500 bit with 500 bit greater than 3xd. <laughs> Who made you this way? Abraxas stoned with 500 bits said, hey Thor, I'm usually right. a big knob in chat, but I wanted to sincerely thank you. I changed jobs for money and now on top of some very fun legacy Java stuff, 
I have to debug 2K plus line long Perl scripts, with Notepad++ as my editor for that, which was bumming me out. After hmm. seeing your attitude on tools, and the whole everything thing, my job has been way more bearable, so thanks for the much needed motivation. Dude, I'm really glad. I'm like, really glad. That's awesome. Hell yeah. Like, definitely get out there and try stuff. I think too often people kind of sit down and they're like, oh no, I need to have the optimal situation before I try anything. And that's not really how things work. You should definitely try things. You should definitely just get out there and do stuff. And do it kind of shit. Just do it kind of shit. And you will find, very quickly, that you get better at doing things. And the more that you do things, even badly, the more that you will learn how to do things better. It makes it a lot of fun. Oh? <laughs> Selbit's upset. I said I hit level 30. And he said, WHAT? In all caps. And I just said I can do level 9s mostly solo now. <laughs> you see, none of them have ever seen me consume a game before. And I'm consuming Helldivers. When I like a game, I latch onto it and I eat it like a snake. It's happening. It's happening to Helldivers now. supplies. That's a big one. Oh wait, Warbanner Siege doesn't need this. That one doesn't make any sense. Warbanner Siege, Warbanner Surrender does not need a Curse of Butterfingers on it. Everything else does. Alrighty then. Reload all. I browse. Hey look, all of the items are dropping on death now. And they all have the Curse of Butterfingers on Curse of Butterfingers. Yeah, have you not seen the war banner? When you declare war on someone, it says, I fart in your general direction. And this one says, run away, just do it bravely. Because that's the surrender flag. You can get siege and surrender flags. What does the curse do? Makes you drop shit. It actually says drops on death. See that in red? Drops on death. Curse of Butterfingers. Okay, so we've got corrupted armor. Curse of Butterfingers drops on death. So that's fun. Uh, Mouse, Iron Mouse is actually saying that they just woke up and they're down to play a bit later if they're up for it. And I was like, yes, I am up for it. So. Been appearing on my YouTube shorts and I love you, dude. Thank you. That's very nice. I'm glad I'm glad I'm in all timelines. I have infested your timeline. It's too late now. Your YouTube timeline timeline is mine. Democracy. Do 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 do. One sec. Hmm. When is demo crazy? Goes live. I'm sick of the demo. What? Demo democracy? God damn it. When did you start the Ferret Software channel on the journey to rescue ferrets? We started the channel like a year ago. 
but we started rescuing ferrets like three years ago. So not, you know, maybe four years ago. I think it's four years ago at this point. But the channel pays for everything. It's wild. Democracy. That emote is so good. Did Rubber Ross accept the attribution? He didn't. I gotta yell at him. God damn it, Ross. I applied attribution to you. You will accept it. You made that emote. Don't trust Ross. He was an Australian child once. Terrifying. They're the most terrifying version of... Most terrifying version of children. It's true. Sometimes you sit so still I think you froze. When would I ever... Do that. Never happened. Never does. Alright, this is good. I need to go into all the weapons now. We have all these drops on death in here, but they don't... Oh, wait, wait. They do have some fingers up. Where do you have it? A genius. I'm a genius! All the items automatically updated. Yes! I thought I had a lot more work than I do. Alright, so... Now we just have to go update all of them in data. You go to items. Item version. And we have to go to augment. Wait, no, augments don't have this. We don't have to care about that. Augments are fine. We need to go to axes. Wait, no, axes only has Krognar's cleaver. We don't have to care about that. Battle totem. Yes. Battle totem. The random ones need to be updated. They're set to revision ID 101. Fantastic. All right. So, going to do a little bit of regexing. We're going to say revision ID dot star. And change that to revision ID. Is it revision underscore ID? Is that what it is? Shit. No, it's not. Okay, good. Now we're going to change that to 200. In selection. Replace all. Good. Five of them done. Save. Battle totems are done. Next. The bow. We're doing it, chat. We're updating the entirety of the video game. And soon I'm going to update you. That's right, chat. You're next. That's right. It's gonna happen, chat. Mm, let's see. Holiday armor implements. I think we need implements. Yeah, we need implements. Random implements. So many items to update. This is a major overhaul of the entirety of the video game, but I, I'm excited for it. I'm actually really excited for this, because I'm interested to see how this changes player behavior. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm making it so that all of the corrupted items in the game now drop off of your character. Oh, I have to update all of their durability to shit. Okay, there is a lot of there is a lot of work to do. There's a lot of work to do. Cause these all need durability now. Shit. What do I go coins and bars? Good idea, Kanashi. Good idea. Gold coins and bars should drop off the character when you die. I agree with that. 100 goddamn percent. That's going in. Smart. So, all materials, all corrupted gear, and coins and gold, and all coin denominations. That's a good idea. It's a really good idea. Plus, they look like butter anyway. Yep. 
Which means when somebody is out there in the wild exploring and getting lots and lots of shit and you kill them, they'll drop all the stuff that they got if they can't extract with it. Smart. Good. Good, good, good. Kanashi making an enemy of everyone here? Man's got good ideas. What do you want? That's a good idea. What about the backpack? Now, here's the part that's interesting. The backpack is protected from these drops. So if you dump all your most valuables into the backpack, you can extract with that. And if you die, you don't lose it. That part is interesting. Hmm. You're making Helldivers? I like Helldivers, but no, I'm making something else. I've never played Tarkov. As much as you guys talk about Tarkov all the time, I've never played the damn game. I don't know what to think about it. Um, quest. Quiver. Quiver. We don't have randomized quivers, do we? No, there's no random quivers. No random quiver. Recipe. Rune carving. Satchel. Shield. We need random shields. God, that's a good idea. That's one I would have overlooked as well. We have to give everything durability again, too. Oh, wait a minute. Well, isn't that interesting? Why do shields have durability still? That's a bit odd. Very strange. Okay, so... Material, armor... We don't need any of this in armor. We're good there. We've already updated all those for vision IDs. That's cool. Nito burrito. Thaumaturgy's done. That's done. I don't have to care there. Bow and mace. We need to get... Where's my sword? Sword. Sword, mace, and bow. That'll be the same. We're going to have to go through and add all of the durability to these, by the way. And it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a mess. Yeah, it's YAML. And we need spell crafting. See, here's where it starts to suck. Because... Spellcrafting has a lot of spells. It has a lot of spells. It's just a lot, a lot of spells. Just so goddamn many spells. And I sat down last time and I removed durability from all of them. Shit. There are 24 spells that I have to update. And now I have to do the same thing for Thaumaturgy. And Thaumaturgy is just as many goddamn spells. Ah! I know it's regex. We're doing regex on a area of the file. We're making sure to do regex within selection, you nerd. But we can't regex everything. We can regex most things. That's the problem. Okay, there we go. Boop. We can regex most stuff. Not all stuff. Just most stuff. Nice ammo you got there. Thanks, bud. It's pretty good. Okay, we got our spellcrafting done. We've got a thaumaturgy done. We've got our battle totem implement and shield. We're missing some. Quiver is not necessary because we don't have randomized quivers. Spell focus. That's the one. You. You. I remember you. In the mountains. There we go. All right, we've got it. The randomized stuff is all finished. We've done it. Yeah, in the mountains. Who remembers that? How many of you are old WoW nerds? What is an easy first-timer's engine to make a 2D game in? There isn't one. Go to develop.games, our website, and go down to Tools Engines. You will find that there is no best engine. Yeah. We say that almost every raid. I know, right? Did we were all... <laughs> with... 
We were stuck in that expansion forever. <laughs> Programming is hard. Everything is hard until you're familiar with it. Then the difficulty becomes novel and silly. Like, ah, oh, yes, I am a shit programmer. And everything exploded again. Wondrous, right? It's always like that. It's kind of how it is. And it's fine. Oh, yeah, I should probably update all of this. There we go. Replaced it all. There were 107 materials in here. Ugh. How do I design a world for my 3D game? What do you mean, how do you design a world for your 3D game? I would do it on paper. I do everything on paper first. Um... You'd be kind of amazed how much you can do on pen and paper. Like, everything that I do is built like D&D dungeons. Like, to be honest with you, everything's done on graph paper first. All of it. And it just makes life really easy. Like, really, really easy. Paper or blackboard? Yeah, same shit. The ice stone is melted. Oh god, not that again, dude. The freaking ice stone. What a mess. Okay, we've done all the revisions. Now, we need to add Vanishing Curse to everything, which they already have. Sword's already got this. What we need to do now is add durability to all of this. And that's going to be a mess. So, we need to go to each... Oh, wait, that's... Is the repair type still on all of these? Really? Well, all right then. That's going to make my life easy. The repair type, I guess, never left. Oh, by the way, um, for all of you guys out there that do professions, this is going to increase the amount of profession repair powder that you have to create pretty dramatically. Because there's now going to be everybody and their mom losing durability every time they use cursed gear. Hey. Also, when you die, it actually removes the durability off of your gear before it drops it on the ground. Nice. Enjoy, you're welcome. Oh. Interesting. This one is somehow missing it. I don't know how. Some of these just weren't missing this. There's like bad data in here. Even the dev bullying us? No. It means that the economy will heal. Hi Bezos. How's it going? We're gonna wait. Because you're here. But no, it means the it means you'll have more economic advantage for being a profession person. I'm gonna explain this a lot inside of the patch notes, because I'm sure that everyone and their mom is gonna be mad at me now. And that's fine. You can be mad. But remember, you are only mad because you are angry. And you're only angry because you are mad. But yeah, the idea is to make the game more compelling for all sides. To give you more of an advantage, more risk to your reward, more of a reason to play the game. So, we're gonna do it. It's gonna be fun. Okay. This is gonna be the one that's a little bit weird. I wonder if we can do extended on this. No, nah, we can't. Matt equals angry. It's true.
It's funny because we've already gotten people messaging us and saying that, uh... I'm ruining the video game and all kinds of stuff over that. But, like, to be real with you, there needs to always be counterplay. There needs to always be a reason for doing things in the video game. Beyond just sitting in a hole and increasing number go up. That's not fun or interesting or engaging. And if the peak version of gameplay is to sit in a hole where no one can touch you while gaining points and disrupting the in-game economy, I have failed. And I refuse to fail. It is fun. It doesn't matter. It's fun for a very small percentage of the population in a way that is damaging to other people's gameplay. And I don't want that. I'll never want that. I want you to play the game. Every MMORPG is an idle game, though? No, it ain't. You wish it was, but it ain't. There we go. Past me trying some cool shit. That cool shit did not turn out to be that cool. Is for Heartbound? No. Are ults allowed in block game? If you want to have ults, that's fine. I don't have any problems with that. That being said, there's no gold trading outside of items. And the reason we had to do that is because someone literally bought a second Minecraft account so they could trade all of their gold to that Minecraft account so that they could have an offshore bank with a secondary account in Minecraft. <sighs> so we got rid of gold trade. So now if you want to trade gold, you have to take a physical coin and move it. There have been so many goblins that have come before you, you have no idea. That's a little bit weird. We're going to fix those. Some of these have two sections of enchants. Like, look at this. That's a little bit strange. How many of these are like that? What the hell? Yeah, that's really weird, actually. I don't know why that's like that. I must have copy pasted something stupid at one point. So the lore format is double up too? Where? No? No, it's correct. There's no double lore format. Yeah, no. Collapsing Earth is the most underwhelming spell in block game. Change my mind. Um, it might be. It's the newest spell that I added to the game, and it probably doesn't have enough damage, to be honest with you. I kind of wanted something that was good. That wasn't completely overpowered. What I'll likely do with it, to be honest with you, is I might make it so that it pulls enemies to the center. So you crush and then it pulls everything inwards. Because we could do that. I think that might be a lot of fun to do. Where it's like a like a spell that, that is used for displacement. The problem that I was running into was this. It was giving mages too many displacement abilities. And when you have too many displacement abilities like that, you can run into like really weird problems where if you have two mages, they can basically kill anyone. Which is not like a smart thing to do. 
So I've intentionally not given them that, and instead I've given them nothing with that. They just, it just does damage. Now, the one cool thing, if you didn't notice about Collapsing Earth, is the particle effects on it are actually based on the block that you hit it with. And I'm pretty happy about doing that. I took a lot, there was a lot of code that went involved in that to detect what block was underneath it and then do specifically particles based on the spell, the block you cast it on. And you can't take that shit away from me. That shit was fun. Alright. It looks wonderful. Looks wonderful. How about a different effect? Slow, short stun? I don't like loss of control of your character. Let me give you an example. You ever gotten stunned in a video game? You ever taken your hands off the keyboard and just been like... Is that fun? Removing gameplay from another player. When it's removed from you, is it fun? No, it sucks. It sucks ass. It is awful. Loss of control of your character is shit. It is shit. I hate loss of control of your character. It is the worst. What about displacement resistance? We already have that. Knockback resistance already exists in the game. Knockback resistance is actually a PvP trait, too. So it's like something you can get, which is kind of fun. Ooh. Tier is that? Three? Whoop. Yeah, I don't like loss of control of your character. I just don't think it's a good mechanic. So I'm trying to limit that as much as possible. The mage wind ability, the knockback on that is very nice. That's a really good one. And I think it's it's very strong. Like very, very strong. Legitimately. Is he making a game? Yeah. That's why I'm in software and game development. What are you doing? Alright, let's see. We've got all of our durability shit set up. Let's go over here. Thaumaturgy. My word. We'll come back and we'll fix this later. I don't care about any of that. 800. Repair type. 1200. Man, my body is pissed. I ate three bowls of jambalaya. My body is really angry. It's not good. It's not good, Chad. I'm dying. What are you looking at? Log files. Hero well, smash files. TTB yeah, with 500 bits said, TTS Thor, when do you even sleep? I don't. You seem to have so much work and you stream at such ungodly hours of the morning. You want to know something funny? I'm going to start streaming an hour or more every day. Uh, I'm planning on changing the stream times to start one hour earlier. <laughs> so, you're going to get an extra hour. After. I'm going to start streaming it at midnight. Yeah. I'm going to start streaming at midnight. And that's that. Yeah. Oh, look, the hype train thing is working. Look at it go. It's working. It's it's working. Look at it. Are you not entertained? It is. It is better than Twitch's UI. Because it's based directly on the API. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained, chat? It is better. It is actually better. Look at it. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look, it updated instantly this time. It's perfect. You can't break it. You can't. It's beautiful. And it is directly in line. Look, it was faster... See that animation still going off? We already know it's level 2. We already know it's 5.61% because there's no animation on it. There's no animation on it. It's perfect. Runs right off the API. There's no delay. No delay at all. I'm getting ready. This is me getting ready for April 1st. That's what this is. Because April 1st is when we update this thing. When you guys try to break the record again. That's it. Now, why is this like this? The hell? Well, that's not great. How did that item even work? Jesus. Whoa, there's a bunch of these. I must have done something weird with these before, man. 
Yeah, this ain't good. On screen is behind the Twitch chat for me. What? What? Yeah, I'm waiting for house stuff to resolve. So, like, I, I'm in the middle of buying a house so that we can have a larger area for the ferret rescue. Um, we're hoping to go to 12, or sorry, to 100 ferrets by the end of the year. And because of that, since, since I'm in the process of buying the house, the, the house man was like, don't you do anything with any money in your account or you don't get the loan. And I was like, man, fine. So, like, I had to turn everything off. Everything is off right now. It's all just, I'm just germa debting. Basically, I'm germa maxing. If you want to know what's going on, I'm germa maxing right now where the debt just climbs into the sun and I get increasingly more nervous about it. <laughs> I think we owe like $7,800 to charity right now too on top of it. It's just, it's becoming a mess and it's horrifying to me. It's not good. I got to he keep hitting the queue or I'm going to lose my mind. Roof with 500 bits said I am a narrative designer new to the industry. Mm. With the recent layoffs, I am now going up against major players in video game storytelling for indie gigs. Yes. My portfolio and experience are nothing against theirs. I yes. have nothing against making my own team, but I have no capital to maintain it. I yes. don't want to exploit the creatives I work with for this, so I'm stuck. What is your advice for assembling a dev team? My advice for assembling a dev team is to go build a game jam game. You're not abusing anybody. Everybody learns something, and if you guys want to monetize it after the fact, then you can talk about that, right? If you don't want to monetize it after the fact, you guys get to learn something and do some cool kick-ass stuff. Understand that game development is incredibly high risk. Insanely so. Working in the gaming industry is one of the most high-risk jobs you can have. So, if you're trying to do this for a living, you're always going to run into trouble. It's always going to be difficult, especially for monetization of any kind. Even our studio wouldn't exist if I didn't start streaming. Even though our game has done very, very well. Even though we've kicked a lot of ass. Even though the game is like really, really, really like high rated. We wouldn't be here without the stream. The stream funded our studio during all of the development. And like, that's something to keep in mind, man. I think a lot of people don't realize how dangerous game dev really is in terms of risk. A lot of risk. Thank you very much for those five gifted subs, Swag Cannon. You're awesome as shit. Time didn't break. It didn't break. It survived. It's not broken. Look at it. It's wonderful. It's not broken. It's not broken. Ninja bears with laser paws? Nice. Look, you guys are already at 39%. Like, 0.17%. Look at that. We did it. The timer is working. It reset at new level. It was broken for level three. What do you mean it was broken for level what, what about it was... Use your words. What do you mean broken? What does that mean? First time hearing all the numbers scare me. If numbers scare you, how do you get through your daily life? Seven. Seven, Chet. Give him the number. Seven. Going from level 2 to level 3 didn't reset the timer. That's weird. That doesn't make any sense. I wonder why. Ollie Ish with 500 bits said good morning Thor, chat. I'm currently doing a research module and just found out the color perception experiment I fully planned and prepped to carry out tomorrow isn't viable because of recreational issues. Basically all components need to be replicable by anyone, so the gradient I made myself doesn't count even if I upload it and I can't find a stock image of a similar style to replace it. My hmm. backup is the Stroop test, but it's so boring and tedious in comparison. Hella lame. Kind of the color perception experiment I fully planned and prepped to carry out tomorrow isn't viable because of recreational issues. Because of recreational issues? Okay. I don't know what it is you're building. I actually have no idea what it is you're making. I have no clue. Also, I saw someone in chat say, 
I have dyslexia, please stop. Your dyslexia is not going to change the fact that people are posting sevens. That statement makes no sense at all, whatsoever. That's not how dys dyslexia works. I'm very confused by that. Yeah, people just posting a bunch of sevens in a row is not going to be impacted by dyslexia in any way. And I, I know that because we have to implement dyslexia stuff into our games all the time. Like Heartbone, I actually created a monospace block style font specifically for people with dyslexia. We even put in a system so that you can turn off screen shake and item shake and and text shake and wiggle and everything like that for people with dyslexia. So that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. It's very strange. I'm very well acquainted with that. Okay, this is now working. And now we have to go back up through and fix this. I don't know why this happened. This must have been something really weird. It must have been some regex shit that I did in the past and it's turned into a mess. As an actual dyslexic person, I love the number sevens because it's the one number it can't jumble if it's all the same. <laughs> That's quite funny. You're very accessibility forward, and I highly respect that as a dev. I'm trying to make sure that our websites are accessible. It's a pain. It is a pain. It's it's a pain. It's a pain at first. I think one of the things is as you learn more about accessibility options, this becomes easier and easier. Like one of the things that that we have that's quite funny is I've had people come after me and they're like, "Why don't you have accessibility options for people with color blindness in Heartbound? Why don't you have that?" And they're like pissed at me, and I go, "We do." And they're like, "They're not in the menu," and I'm like, "You're right. They're built directly into the video game." Let me show you this. See this? You know why we use gold and purple? Because regardless of what level of, of color blindness you have, they're always discernible between the two. Do you know why we chose those? Because Shea, our artist, is red-green colorblind. Color blindness options are built directly into the game. Every single one of the environments works for every kind of color blindness. All of them. We built it directly in. They're always on. You just don't know it. Hmm. They looked really dumb after that, by the way. It was quite funny. I love when people get mad about shit. That I've already thought of. Makes me laugh. But yeah, Shay's red, green, colorblind. And I didn't know that at first. It was kind of funny... Shay tried to hide that from me because he didn't want to not get the job. Like, somehow thought he wouldn't get the job if he, like, told me about it or whatever. And I found out when uh, we were making Animus and the trees were, like, bright red. <laughs> and I was like, what's wrong with all these trees? Because they're supposed to be orange. And he's like, what? They're, they're orange. And I was like, those are not orange. Like, and then I was like, are you, are you colorblind? And Shay was like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay, cool. Let's fix that. Let's fix all of the stuff in the game to make sure that that works now. Didn't get fired. <laughs> it's like one of the weirdest things is like afraid to tell me that you're colorblind. You think you're going to get fired. It's very funny. Yeah, I was like, why didn't you just tell me that? I didn't think you'd hire me. Okay. Yeah, it could have been poor prior experience. Could be. Yeah, no, Shay actually does a lot of colors by number. Um, grand majority of the, the art that he does, he'll actually do by, like, the RGB values directly on each of them to make sure that they are lining up with what normal color perception should actually see. So, like, if you've ever seen any of Shay's art, that's all color by number. All of it is. A lot of extra work. It is. It's a huge amount of extra work. Yep, super impressive. I think it's cool as shit. 
Can't go wrong with numbers. Numbers never lie. Except for when they do. Which is always. Yeah. Good power nap? Hell yeah, dude. Oh my god, I'm almost done with these. There's so many of them. I feel like I should have a system in place to do this. To fix this. But I don't. So that sucks. And now I'm just doing this manually. Which I guess is fine. It's just sort of boring. Numbers don't lie, humans interpreting them do. Yeah. 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 It's pretty easy to do in Vim. Yeah, but if I use Vim, then I become the primogen. At least I get a mustache out of it. What the blue hair? I can't do that. Speaking of primogen, I gotta put up our stuff for the uh the podcast sometime soon. I need to talk to our editors and find out which editor wants to be the podcast editor. I'll make them fight in an arena and be like, who wants the podcasting job? And they'll both be like, oh, stinky. And then I'll be like, shit, and I'll need to find another editor to do it. All right, we've done it. They're all done. Thank God. I don't have to do that anymore. Uh, okay, these are all the arcane ones. Bow. Uh, okay. We're good. Good? We're good. Vanishing Curse. Alright, Thaumaturgy. Battle Totem. Battle Totem. Wait, I just realized something stupid. I might be upset. Okay, now we're good. Yeah, Battle Totem. What are you doing? Sir. Sir, are you trying to flip your poop bin? You can't do that. It's locked to the wall. I know you're kind. Your small, ferrety kind cannot flip the poop bin this day. You are banned from it. They're always trying to flip the poop bin, man. They're always trying to do it. They can't do it. No poop flipping in this house. to turn the tables it's true but in the worst possible way the poopy way silas underscore man with 1000 bits said hello thor for hello. most of my life i have wanted to design a game and until recently did not have the funds or opportunities to do so okay i want to dabble in a bit of everything music art gameplay design story maybe even voice acting but have realized that the coding stuff causes my brain to turn to goop probably my autism going into overdrive my problem is I feel like I am being lazy if I don't code. Any tips no. or words of wisdom? Also, sorry for the essay less than three. You are not being lazy if you don't want to learn to code. Number one, you are not being lazy for that. Many people don't want to learn programming. For instance, I don't want to learn music. Why? Because I'm shit at it. I could spend a bunch of time getting good at it, but I found that I don't have a very good natural affinity for music. I have a very good natural affinity for art. A natural affinity for programming. It's kind of the way that I think. Even though music, largely, is numbers. Right? It is. It's a lot of math. I just don't find that I have a natural affinity for it. And because of that, I could spend a bunch of time doing that, or I could hire Stein, who's a wizard. They're a wizard. And they do it. It really is. It really is. It's a lot of math. I love music, but I hate math. You love music because you can listen to music 
which you're just listening to math. You love math. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. That's right. You're listening to math. So I delegate, right? Things I'm not good at, I just delegate. That's all. That's all that it is. And it's fine to delegate. In fact, it's optimal to delegate. If we find things that we're not good at or things that we just don't want to do and other people do want to do those things, we delegate, we build teams, we move forward. Right? That's the whole idea with it. So yeah, you are not lazy. Not at all. Not even a little bit. You can just code music. You can. Music is math. It's math, Chet. Even if you don't want it to be math, it's still math. That's right. There's no escape from it, Chet. Escape. Oh, wait. This should be arcane. Shit. Next. Kizzy King with $9.99 said, Hey, for I'm 19 turning 20 in two months and have no clue about what I want to do with my life. Mm. Hoping you could offer some advice. P.S. I love your shorts, heart hands. I'm going to be real with you. Nobody knows what they want to do with their lives. I still don't know what I want to do with my life. I just do stuff. I do stuff that I think is cool at the time. I adapt to things that don't work. I try to find more interesting things to go forward. You will find throughout your life that life is long and weird and full of strange, strange adventures. Your ideas about what is acceptable and what you want to do are going to change on a whim throughout based on the experiences that you have. And that's okay. It's okay to not know. It's all right to not know. In fact, to be real with you, I've never known. I went to college to be an entomologist, an insect scientist. I dropped out of college. I became QA at Blizzard Entertainment. I was also a freelancer learning programming. I became the lead of application security for Blizzard. Then I was a senior red team specialist. Then I was an automation engineer working in Python. Then I hacked power plants for the federal government. Now I own a game studio. And if the game studio failed, I was going to open a bakery. Life is weird, dude. It's weird. Don't worry about it. Just do the things that you think are the coolest at the time. And maybe, maybe, your idea of what is cool will change. That's fine. Yeah, it was going to be a bakery. Yeah. Why do you think I went on Onigiri stream, dude? I never get to teach people my baking stuff. In fact, I want to go to Onigiri stream again soon. We had plans to do something. I just got to contact them because it was like, I'm moving and all this shit's happening. There's so much shit going on. Thunderbread. Thunderbread? That's kind of cool. Thunderbread. You said I had two repair types in the one above? No, I don't. Repair type. Repair type. Repair type. Repair type. Don't you lie to me. Don't you lie to me. Tier 3. Where's the second repair type, dude? Now it's tier 2? Okay, that one you're actually right about. There you go. Good job. Thunderbread, the blessed bread of the wind seeker? No, we're not doing that. No. Factually, and with 500 bits, said I just spend eight hours in Unity after years on not making anything. This is after taking your advice on playing the beginner's guide. What is Hell some yeah. advice on creating for the sake of creation? Ah, uh, don't worry about how how other people perceive your shit. Just have fun with it. There's nothing wrong with it at all. I find a lot of the times people get really hung up on that stuff, and that kind of sucks, to be real. I don't want these to have Curse of Butterfingers. Let's go fix that. Yeah, people get hung up on that. They're like, I need to make something that's perfect, and I need it to be perfect, so, because when other people get it, they're going to judge me. Who gives a shit? 
Like, legitimately, who gives a shit what other people think about you? Doesn't matter. Legit doesn't matter. Yeah, you'll never reach perfection, and other people's idea of what perfection is is going to be dramatically different than yours, even so far as them saying, oh, this is perfect and yours is shit, even though they can never attain the thing that they're saying that they can attain. It don't matter. None of this matters. What other people think about you is their problem alone? To an extent, yes. If you're doing objective harm to somebody else, then yeah, their opinion kind of matters, right? <laughs> But if they're just like, I don't like your shit, I'd be like, okay, well, don't look at my shit. Ooh, you know? Oh, that looks really weird. Okay, change notepad plus plus text earlier green. Go up here, go to settings, go to style configurator, change everything to whatever you want. It is an awesome thing. There's a typo in all of these. It's worse than it is bite. You ever just, you ever just do this? All right, fixed. Fixed? What? That's odd. Control F, why do it each time? Because if you notice, one of them was completely different. Do you know why we do manual review? Because it was in QA for five years. Do you know why I do manual review? Because I just caught another bug that was in there, because one of them was incorrect beyond what would be able to be search replaced. Always review your shit. You'll miss bugs. Don't assume, always check. Okay, corrupted is good. Okay. I think we're good to go. We're almost ready to open the server back up. Everything else can be, like, handled later, I think. Oh. I think we're good. How does Pirate Software feel about Copilot or other AI review programs? To be honest with you, Copilot is fine as a tool to help yourself learn a new concept. It is not fine as a tool to go and replace yourself as a programmer or just fully program something using only it because all you're going to do is create a bunch of code that you don't know how to debug. Then you have to go and reverse engineer to even find out if it works and likely won't even be efficient. The, the biggest fear that I have with Copilot is this. Copilot is creating code. Some people are going to take that code and immediately re-upload it onto Git and other locations. Copilot pulls from those locations in order to create new code. What happens when you take a source that is supposed to be learned from and then you make kind of shit code out of it and then you put it back into the source? 
Yeah, you get inbred AI is what you get. You, you, you get inbred code. That's what, you, that's what happens. And your code degenerates into shit. Recursive degenerate AI code. This is only going to get worse. Like, that's not good. That's not good. It's inbred AI. It is. It is 100% that. And I can't wait to watch this process happen. Because it's going to. We're going to see just the the dissonance of this. In, basically, the entropy is going to go up. You have a closed system of it feeding itself its own shit. And then it's just going to fall apart. So, I'm waiting to see how they handle that problem. I'm waiting to see how they handle that problem. Because it's just going to write shit code. And then they're going to upload it back up again. And when it does its next snapshot, it's going to be snapshotting a bunch of its own shit code. Yeah, I'm kind of waiting for that. I'm waiting to see what happens there. Because they have to solve that. They have to find a way to do it. It's happened with art to some degree. I'm not surprised. Echo chamber of shit code. It is. It is. AI centipede. <laughs> it's AI programmer centipede, dude. Oh, God, no. And it's garbage in, garbage out. True. So I'm kind of interested in this. I'm I'm really interested in this. And that's sort of how I feel that's going to go. Is it's just going to be a, a really shitty, really shitty entr entropy system, frankly. This is imagery I wasn't ready for. Look, AI Centipede is becoming real. The Ouroboros of dog shit programming is going to happen. The next generation of AI is going to have to find a way to solve this. And I don't know how they're going to solve it. So I'm going to sit back as a programmer and cackle to myself while they try to tackle this. Maybe they will. But currently, I don't know how they're going to. It's going to be kind of fun. Also, I know how to debug my shit. And it's really hard to debug the AI's shit. So, if you want to spend one hour developing and one hour debugging, go learn to program. If you want to spend ten seconds developing and five years debugging, then use AI. Enjoy d learning reverse engineering. And then also having to learn programming just so you can get it to do what you want it to do in the first place. A hey. What about in 10 years? Don't know. Do you want to know how I feel about this overall? Let me give you an example. Who here is from the 70s and 80s? Who here is old enough to remember the 70s and 80s? Because I have a very simple solution for this. What about in 10 years? What about in 10 years? How many of you remember that we were all going to have flying cars and no one would work? And we'd have cities in the clouds? Waste not one on every. No one would want it for anything. Cold fusion would be a thing. The world would never have any energy crises anymore. Yeah, you remember that? Well, retro futurism exists now, and what it was was people from the seventies and eighties and what they thought the future was going to look like. That future never came. So the way that I feel about AI and many other things is, it doesn't matter if AI might do it in the future. Ten years from now is irrelevant to me. Do it now anyway. We went through the entire 70s and 80s believing the future would be flying cars and nobody would need to work. Retrofuturism exists when that for sure future does not. Invest in yourself, adapt to what actually happens, not what we think might. There are too many people right now that are telling others to not learn programming. They're telling them not to invest in themselves. The CEO of NVIDIA is one of them. Dumb as hell, frankly. I think that's an idiotic take from him. Absurd frankly. You should always invest in yourself. There's no guarantee that the ideas of AI are going to come to fruition. But you know what there is a guarantee of? If you invest in yourself, you're always going to know logical process. You're always going to be able to adapt. You're always going to be able to learn new things. And if you don't invest in yourself and you sit on the couch and do nothing, guess what? You're always going to be sitting on the couch doing nothing. So invest in yourself. Who gives a shit what AI does 10 years from now? It's not doing it yet, and it doesn't matter, frankly.
Plus, I'm going to be real with you. If you're a programmer, you get to write the greatest shit posts of all time. Just, just saying. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> the NVIDIA CEO makes the difference. The NVIDIA CEO is a dumbass. I'm going to say this unequivocally right now. That man's take is trash. And you want to know why it's trash? Let me show you something. You ready for this? Pull this up. I think I think it was Primogen who sent me this. Let me go pull this up from Prime. Oh, Primogen, you've sent me something. You know the next day after he made that statement, you know what they released? This. NVIDIA CEO tells all of you not to become programmers. Immediately releases a product to do coding with AI. You think there might be a conflict of interest there, Chet? Cool. Enjoy that. Just a, li just a little bit of a conflict. No, don't go program yourself. Use my tool to program for you. Ooh, that's not what he said. We looked at his exact statement. We talked about it for like four hours. There's a whole video about it, dude. Yes, it is what he said. That is not overthinking. Yeah. He said that there would be no reason for people to learn programming in the future. I have the exact quote up here. It's super obnoxious. We didn't take it from some third party. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program and that the programming language is human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. This is the miracle of AI. He is telling you not to program. That there's no reason to. Because in the future, everyone will be able to program because of AI. No. Dog shit statement. Garbage. Complete garbage. That's an exact quote from the NVIDIA CEO. And it's horrific, frankly. You should always invest in yourself. Always. No matter what. And anyone trying to tell you that life isn't work and that you can bypass it using a tool is selling you something. Snake oil, my dude. I hate that shit. I I absolutely hate anybody that tries to tell anyone else that they should not follow anything to make themselves learn. It is one of my largest lines in the sand. If you're trying to tell other people that they don't need to learn, that they can bypass all of that work, they're trying to do that, all they have to do is buy your product. You are less than worthless to me. 100%. And the reason why is because you are damaging the entire potential future of that human being. 100%. And you're doing it for profit. In just a shit way. I hate that so much. What is up? How's it going? Thank you for the rating party of 179, dude. It's a lot of people. How you doing today? It's worse than a scam. It is. It is worse than a scam. Don't teach children how to write or count. AI will do it for you. Bingo. I, I think it's shit. Always invest in yourself. Always learn things. There's no reason not to. Like, you live in a time where you have access to all of human knowledge. And we have... We have these industry titans telling you not to use it. Why? You have access to all of human knowledge. Use it. Get on YouTube. Learn to cook for yourself. Go to the internet. Read. Learn shit. You have so much knowledge at your fingertips you can do anything you just have to do it so don't listen to these people that say don't invest in yourself don't listen to the ones that say don't learn something go do it invest in you you're the only you you have that shit's important man it really is because you're important don't forget that Skylar Jordan with $5 said Morning Thor, was wondering if I could use your Heartbound OST as background music for some art sketch videos I'm planning on making. Yes, absolutely. Go ahead and do it. There's, um, on the actual OST, it says specifically that you can use it in the background of your streams or videos, whether they're monetized or not. So yeah, do it up. And if you want to put a credit in there in the, in the description, you can do that too. You don't have to, but you can. And that's totally fine. Marax 0 l with 500 bits said hi Thor. Love the streams. I have just started my journey on making games and I have a question that I have been wondering about for a while. 
Okay. And that question is, what are the things an indie or AAA studio have to think about when they're setting a price on their games? The biggest thing you have to think about when you're setting a price on a video game is this. It's, you need to determine what the expendable income is of your target audience. The expendable in income is stuff that they use for entertainment. And every region is going to be very different for this. For instance, Heartbound is about, I think it's 60% off in Brazil. Brazilians, rise up. You guys are amazing. Heartbound is 20 BRL. This is like, I think like four bucks, five bucks, somewhere there. It's really cheap in Brazil. The reason I made it so cheap in Brazil is because so many people in Brazil played the demo and they sent me thousands of pieces of fan art. Brazil is awesome. Yeah, expendable, disposable income, either way. Yeah. It's, it's your entertainment fund, right? So a lot of people in Brazil don't have a huge amount of purchasing power. So we made the game really cheap for Brazil. And guess what? 25% of our overall income from sales of the game is from Brazil, even though it's 60% off. If you make the game affordable and you make it available, people will buy it. If you don't, they will pirate it. The rate of piracy in Brazil is very high, but it's not because they're jerks. It's because it's too expensive there. So if you make it affordable for people, they won't pirate. They'll just buy it. Because it's easier. Yeah. Brazil rocks, dude. Love Brazil. Do you know how the streamers... You know the streamers Doug and Swift? Yeah, they're good buddies of mine. Doug and Swift are awesome, dude. They kick ass. They're actually in our stream team. Rad human beings. How do you know piracy rates? Uh, we actually see piracy rates pretty easily because they put this thing in the game where when you pirate it, it makes a little dude that's a pirate and he dances and it says this yar should not appear please tweet at pirate software to fix this bug and it plays it plays this music and it just never stops playing this music forever and he goes yar har har every time he talks and then they send me a message and they're like why do i have this and i go where'd you get the game and they're like oh i got it from this piracy website and they go okay well you pirated the game and they go oh shit and then i go but that's okay sit down with me we're gonna go and run a spot check on your computer we're gonna look for malware because you likely have some if you're downloading my game you're probably downloading other people's and they these third parties package malware with it i help them get the malware off their computer if we can do it and it, if we can't i let them know what's going on and if we can we walked i walked through the whole thing about security talked to them about security for downloading the shit because like i'm gonna be real with you dude when i was a kid i was a dumbass with limeware too and some of you were as well. Every kid goes through the period where they're pirating shit because they don't know any better and they think they're 100% immune. We're all idiots. I was an idiot. You were an idiot. You know it. You know it. You know it. So I sit down and I tell them about it before they break Papa's computer. I show them how to fix the problem and then I give them a copy of the game. Every time. If they're a dick about it, I don't. <laughs> That's the only that's the only caveat there. If you're a dick about it, if you're like, I didn't I didn't pirate the game. My favorite was some dude, he tripled down. So he contacts me with the pirated version. And I was like, hey, you're running a pirated version. He goes, No, I'm not. I got it from Steam. And I'm like, then why are you running it out of a folder that you're showing in your screenshot on your desktop that's only available from the pirated version of the game? So dude got caught the first time by contacting me, caught the second time lying about it being on Steam. And then he goes, Oh. Thank you. I thought I got the legit version. And then closed contact with me. That was a weird one. He tripled down. I've never seen a human being triple down in my life. That's the first time that's ever happened to me. It's great. Then I told that story and he blocked me, which is even funnier. I don't know. Stupid prizes, man. Clown tune is the best. Yeah, it's the pirate tune. It's my favorite. What? So I went through I went through all the requests and I just added everyone to my friends list out of out of all the requests. 
And this dude just sent me a picture of the Pope with like a giant knife. I'm going to unfriend this one. <laughs> He's not even on our Discord. I don't even know who you are. I'm just going to remove that one. It's weird. Imagine that's your opener. You're like, Pope with a knife. Like, why? Why did you send me this? You're not even on my Discord. We have no mutual servers. You just sent me Pope with a knife. Weird, dude. Gross my Sir Popo. Thank you for the rating party of two. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Knife Pope is terrifying, actually. Knife to meet you. I removed him. He added me. I accepted. He sent me Knife Pope. And then I removed him. And that was our total engagement there. It's all of it. Alright, so. We have a little bit of a problem now. I have to fix one last thing. And it's gonna suck. I think everything else is fixed. I think everything else is fixed. But this is not fixed. Okay, let's see what happens when I do this. What is this, B? What button is that? I have some button that I bound this to to like stop accidentally throwing items in the ground. Uh? Well that kind of worked. They didn't really update, did they? Maybe we'll update now. Man. Man. Does using antivirus protect against malware of pirated games? Not always. Here's the problem. When I'm throwing it on the ground, I am force refreshing. And it's not updating properly. So... I need to go look at the thing. Hmm. Swickety Swick with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, you've done it, you convinced Hi. me to make a game. I downloaded Godot, I watched some tutorials, and I am gonna make a game. Question is this when you get stuck, what do you do to get unstuck? The game is gonna be a goal tracking game where you make an IRL goal and if you achieve that goal you get points and then you can spend points on in-game power-ups and whatnot for the play part of the game. Okay. What are you stuck on? Because at that point it, it sounds it sounds like you're not stuck. Do you mean stuck with creating things do you mean stuck because you you don't feel good enough to make the thing do you feel stuck because you don't you have a knowledge gap on something you're trying to make there's so many different things you can get stuck on there so if you're stuck because you you don't feel passionate about making stuff i'd go play the video game beginner's guide beginner's guide is phenomenal it's wonderful for that it's great at it if you're stuck because you don't have knowledge then i would sit down and go and look at documentation if you look at documentation, it doesn't help. Then you need to go and look at a tutorial. And only use a tutorial to get unstuck. Stop doing it the moment that you're done. Stop doing it the moment that you're unstuck, frankly. Don't even don't even keep doing it, right? It's okay if someone pirates a game and then buys it when they have the money for it. My job as a game developer is to make sure that you never have to do that. I always want the game to be affordable and available to you. And if it is not affordable and available to the grand majority of people inside of your region of the world, I have screwed up pricing. So I'm constantly trying to update that, constantly trying to keep on top of that to make sure that the game is always affordable. And that's it. Yeah. Because here's the thing. There are two ways that goes. You pirate it because you can't afford it, and then you never buy the game. Or, I make the game cheap enough that it, you can afford it, and you buy the game. In one way... You might get malware, you have a, d a reduced positive experience of the game, and I make no money. And in the other one, you don't get malware, and I make money. It It's a no-brainer to make, like, to localize your prices. It is 100% a no-brainer. Localize your prices and localize your games. If you do this, you will make more money. That's it.
Helldivers 2 is spreading democracy. Could fit for your game jam. That's true, actually. Democracy. Your demo is expensive. It's free, you goblin. It's free. And does it apply to microtransactions? No. Microtransactions is a totally separate thing. You make that whatever the hell you want. I don't like microtransactions, generally. If they're cosmetic, I give it a pass. I don't care. How do you localize your prices? You change your price per region. Do you localize for all the countries? All the ones that we target for um, translations, yes. <laughs> Everything else is automatically done by Steam. Can you localize it for Argentina? It already is. It's already done. Dark Raga Fire with 500 bits said Yarchir 500 I was one out of 178 to die for democracy. I did my part. <laughs> Aside from that, I'm glad you've been enjoying the flavor Bible. I've been making it's an effort awesome. to cook more at home. I'll be trying your cheese bread soon. And I agree that it's just so amazing for ideas. You like pickles. Here's all the things that go well with pickles. I love pickles. I love pickles. Oh. So the Flavor Bible is a really interesting book, and I'm really glad that you got me into it. Basically, it's a cookbook, but it doesn't teach you recipes. It teaches you flavors and how they work together. So you can choose a, an ingredient like pickles, and it'll be like, here's everything that works well with pickles. Here's everything that works well with spicy pickles. Here's everything that works well with sour pickles. Here's everything that works well with sweet pickles. And it like tells you all the ways to combine stuff to make a delicious meal. So instead of following a tutorial, you build your own recipe. It's called the Flavor Bible. Also, don't get the paperback. The hardback is cheap, and the paperback is like hundreds of dollars because it's out of print, and it's on Amazon. So let me go find it real fast. I'll give it to you guys. Give you a link real fast. Plan on doing Czech localiza localization? Not currently. We don't have a lot of people from Czech that are into, into it. Let me see. Flavor Bible. Uh, there we go. It's like 22 bucks. This thing rocks, dude. I will give you a small link. Look, it's an Amazon short link. I don't even know if that does anything for me. It might. I think it actually does. I think you get a percentage of that if you buy it through that. I don't know how this shit works. Let me look. Amazon. Uh... Oh, it does. Kind of. It is made, out of all the time I've been linking these, I have made 71 cents off of it. I can retire, chat. <laughs> <laughs> I've been linking those links for years. I never looked at that account. That's hilarious. <sighs> Amazing. Amazing. 71 cents. I love the internet. Everything is monetized, but nothing is monetized. Also, if you're just adding me to friends list on Discord because you want to ask me a question, there are hundreds of you. Please don't. Just ask me questions on stream. Otherwise, I have no time to do anything else. I feel compelled to answer you, and I, I don't have all the time in the world, and you're just going to get upset. You're just going to get upset. What are you going to do on Wednesday? I don't know. Play video games? Is Wednesday, Wednesday is games day? Oh, that's why, isn't it? That's the reason. I know why now. I was sitting there trying to figure out what the hell was going on here, but I know what it is now.
regular expression. Replace all in selection. Done. Save. Do it again. Replace. Save. In the bow. We just have to sit here and change every one of these out. Replace all. Save. Thank you for answering questions in chat, by the way. I see you doing that. Good job, chat. I'm from Czech Republic, so if there's a possibility to help with the translation, I would lovely, definitely love to do it. Yeah, when we add a new translation to a certain area, it's an immense amount of work, and I pay per word. So the international standard is about 10 cents per word, and that likely has changed recently, so we're probably going to have to revisit the cost of translation, because I pay 50% over the international standard. Always. You keeping these files in Git or just yellowing it? I keep them in Git, my dude. In this house, we YOLO, and then we save. So I think this is going to be fine. I do German for one cent per word? No. There is a standard rate that we pay, and it's 15 cents a word. I don't think you understand. I don't go for the lowest bidder. I pay people appropriately. There's a couple of reasons for that. One, love yourself. Get paid properly. Two, it stops bullshit and drama from happening later. There's nothing more negative than, that guy ought to pay the shit out of me and I have the receipts. Okay, but you wanted me to. Doesn't matter. No. I just pay you. You do the job. Easy. I do it for 10% less? No, you won't. You'll do it for the same pay that everybody else makes. If I hire you to do the thing. I'll do 15 cents. Cool. Well, I'm not hiring right now, so F. <laughs> uh... Yeah, the uh, the next phase of, of business stuff for me, um, the big one for me, is I am almost done forming the corporation. It's a lot of work for that. I am going to be hiring on moderators. I'm going to do three in the first wave. And when those three are ready, they're the guinea pigs <laughs> for me doing all of this correctly. And we'll see if it works. And that's kind of the whole thing, man. Did this work? Bitch. Why isn't this working? I'm going to relog. How do we apply? That's the neat part. You don't. Is this broken because I'm in that? Is this just not update? Ah. Well, this is going to be a rough day, I think. You ever just, you just not, you just not have items work. It's not even about restarting the server or not, man. Rocky Essence. Well, okay. Shit. So here's the real the real problem, right? So if I throw this on the floor, and I get those essences, these new essences now have enchant curse of Butterfinger. So it applied the enchant. But you know what it didn't apply? The thing that says it drops on death. Because it looks like modifiers aren't applying appropriately. So my big concern is this. Will you take the item, sir? Okay, no one takes it. We're fine. Everything's fine. Doesn't matter. We'll just have legacy shit. It doesn't matter. None of this matters.
I was super concerned. Because these ones say drop on death. And the ones in my inventory don't. You just have legacy shit. Don't worry about it. Legacy shit is fine. Animated bone. Curse of Butterfingers. Fantastic. Alright, now here's the real question. You ready? You ready, chat? Let's see if all my shit falls on the floor. It did! Let's go take a look. Nice. Did it duplicate? It did not. Sick. This means that every time somebody starves to death in town, all their stuff that is corrupted will drop on the ground. Which I find to be really funny. Noise. Now here's the real question. Does this have durability that's just hidden? Does this not update with the durability? That's a problem. It's definitely got durability. It's just not showing it. That's a big issue, actually. That's kind of annoying. Ugh. Op. Let's see. Do you have durability, sir? Hmm. Okay, revision ID is 300. That's correct. That's fine. No, it's not working. That's a little bit weird. I need to look at some other items that are like this. Um, damn it. Damn it. Good morning. How's it going? I am testing something that's brokerinoed. I don't think I have any other. I don't think I have any other cursed items. This is gonna be a lot, dude. There's gonna be a lot of shit that's like broken when we do this. The amount of legacy shit that's gonna be in the game is gonna be enormous. But I think those items are still taking damage. I'm pretty sure they are. Like, I'm pretty sure these items are still taking durability damage. They're just not displaying it. Hmm. What are you fixing, actually? I want to make sure that these items do still take durability damage, and I can't see if they do or not. Which is a problem. It's a big problem, actually. Is that a Gurn in my chat? How's it going, Gurn? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Gurn is my Cherry buddy who Blossom knows a lot about Malware. Cherry Blossom with 200 rupees said, Hi, Thor. Hi. I have old social accounts, Twitter, Insta, etc. I have never posted on. Should I use those accounts? Or should I make new ones, different name, for the algorithm? What? Are you... You should always have a name that you use across all social media if you're trying to do social media stuff 
for algorithm reasons for people to find your stuff. If you're trying to build a brand, then have the same name across all these platforms. There's a reason I use pirate software is because you can find me on any platform with that name. Except for Instagram, because it's pirate underscore software there and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah. No, it's not about control shift H. We use a custom durability system, my dude. It's not the same at all. Hmm. Let's try this. We'll take that and we'll put it in my inventory. It is now a legacy item. I'm going to disconnect. I'm going to reconnect. Disconnect. I'm gonna reconnect. Oh, it's mad now. It's mad now. Authentication servers are down my entire ass. Restarting. My upset is large. S. V. A. Ensign with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, Mighty Goblin Lord. Hello. I posted the other day about excessive profanity's spanking request but forgot to include the link. Keep being awesome, incoming hyperlink. HTTPS colon slash slash clips dot twitch dot TV slash smoky oh, unusual. Wait, button. Evangeline Shit. with five dollars said friend of mine made a dwarf heavy armor wizard that eats rocks. Sick. He uses runesmithing instead of scrolls as well as mind bending running 3.5 it's funny. That's awesome. I'm going to watch this clip. this this is 100 percent true this is actually 100 i was actually pretty upset he's right can you please tell us something about the judging experience from the pirate game software uh, i got in trouble <laughs> he did because i said that because i left i left a bad review and thor scolded me he said he wasn't happy. And then I apologized and he ignored me. It's true. I didn't ignore him, I just didn't. I feel like I was a very naughty around. boy. And, um. Honestly, I was just hoping he would, um. Spank me afterwards. So my <laughs> little fantasy could be played out completely. Unfortunately, no spanking occurred. Unfortunate for him. It's true. There was no spanking. That is true. Yeah. Yeah, it didn't exist. It didn't happen. Unfortunate, I know. He could have had everything. Oh, god damn it. Why isn't this working? Is this just not a thing? Does this just not work? Here you can disable individual events for when your items should update. The higher revision ID is found. Craft. True. Click. False. Pick up. False. Why is this... Why is this... Why? Wait. Should that be false, then? 
Because it's disable on. I don't understand. Why would you make a variable that is the opposite of the... It's a double negative. Why is it a double negative? Oh, so now you update. You have to throw it on the ground. Why people don't use grid map on Godot? I don't know. Maybe they don't like it. I have no idea. This is weird, man. You can disable individual events for when items should update when a higher revision ID is found. <sighs> Item revision. Item revision system is so buggy. It's so buggy. It's so, so buggy. It's so buggy. How am I doing? I'm trying to get bugs. <laughs> hmm. If you delete the program, you delete the bugs. You know? That's a fair point. You know, if I delete all of the players, then we don't have any bug reports. If we don't have any bug reports, I don't have anything to do. And I can play more Helldivers too. You're starting to make sense, chat. You're starting to make sense. Easy path to democracy. Hmm. Hmm. No, I'm not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by that. Dude, I'm going to be real with you. If I were sponsored by them, I'd take it. I'd take the sponsorship. 10,000%. You have no idea. Because I'm already going to play it. To be real with you, they're not going to sponsor me. Do you know why? Because I'm already going to play the game for hundreds of hours. Like, there's no reason for them to pay me. They'd be like, why would we pay that guy? That idiot's already doing it for free. What the hell are we going to pay him for? Like, no. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. The game is too good. Did you see they're bringing mechs to the game? Did you see that? Did you see the mechs? Who here didn't see the mechs for Helldivers 2? Mm, they've already started putting them in the game. Yeah. Hold up. I have something cool to show you. We've been talking about it. I'm excited about it. Um, Rubber Ross is actually the one who showed me this first. So, they are doing this. This is the most interesting way I've ever seen a content drop in my life. I actually think this is cool as shit. Check this out. Look at this. God, that's loud. Jesus Christ. Look at this. So the way that they're doing it is you drop into a mission and randomly it'll be like, like Global Command is putting out some like experimental technology on your mission. So you like show up and you just have mechs. I know you can't hear. I've, I've got it. I've got it muted now because it's loud and people screaming, right? So it's just freaking rad. Like it's an awesome way for them to test new stuff in the game. It's really, really good, actually. So, I think this is brilliant. I think... Oh my... Oh god. I cannot wait to do that. Oh god, I hate Bile Titans so much. Look at him. Look, just look at him die. Jesus Christ, look at it die. Oh god, just look at it. I can't wait. You know what this means though, right, chat? This means that when we get these... The bugs are going to have to evolve something bigger. You know that, right? You do know... This is escalation is what this is. That's escalation. It's really cool escalation, though. Uh, that's actually not the only thing either. It's not just those. Uh, there's also armored personnel carriers that they're putting in the game. Yeah. Yeah. So people have actually been jumping on missions and finding these, too. 
which are drivable APCs with turrets on them. Yep. This is going to be cool as shit. This is going to be cool as shit, dude. I am uh, really excited for this. Yeah. Also, people have been saying that there's going to be higher difficulties than Helldive, so I'm waiting for that, too. This means you will become a Helldivers, too. I am I am already a Helldivers, too. I've been playing a lot. Look at our new emote. It's your democracy, dude. Yeah. I've been playing it with uh, Rubber Ross and Iron Mouse and Sea Dog and Selbit. I've been having a blast on it. It's been fun. You gonna Helldive with Limes? I don't know, maybe. I want to Helldive with Baru, too. Baru wants to. I'm level 30. Win 500 kilogram mine? We need a 500 kilogram mine. I know. He was really sad I was sick. I wanted to play with him, but dude, like, you know what I did instead? I went to bed. And you know how long I sleep normally. It's like five hours. I slept for 12 hours. And I woke up covered in sweat. I was greasy and sweaty. It was disgusting. And I rolled out of bed, and it was, like, sticky. And then I went into the shower, and I laid down in the shower and turned it on. It wasn't even a bath. I just laid down in the shower with the shower on. I turned into a glizzy. That's true. That's actually 100% accurate. I was a human glizzy. It was disgusting. Don't say Thor smell yar bongos. God. It's got, like, gamer girl bathwater energy. What's wrong with you? Ugh. Ugh. Need a shower after reading chat. Jesus. We shouldn't be keeping any of this data. We've already told it to stop keeping the data. But for some reason, lore is not updated, and I don't know why. Well, anyway, my stats are wrong, but I guess that's fine. Does this one still work? Let me look. No, that's definitely still like that. Those 100% did not re-roll. Shit. Well, that's a problem. Let's try this again. Corrupted Regeneration for the Pies. So let's go into here. We're going to go into Thaumaturgy. Regeneration. Not matching case. Corrupted Regeneration 4. 1. Save. Do it. Reload. Throw it on the floor. Ow. Man, I really wish I wasn't dying. There we go. No, don't say sell your bath water. What's the matter with you? Chet? It's getting weird. We're weird now. Moonboy2508 with $5 said, Do you guys have a ferret YouTube page? If not, no. can we get one? Yes. I'm just going to put it on the main channel. I'm just gonna do everything in the main channel. Everything from fire, like pirate software, is all gonna go to the same place. And everybody always wants like their own separate channels for no reason, but like I don't have a reason for it. Well, this one actually kind of worked. 
It's working now. It got drops on death. Okay. Hold up. All right. I have an idea. Save all of those. I think it's working now. I think we can make this work. My god, it's working, Chet. That one didn't work. Why didn't that one work? Everyone worked except for that one. This one not update on a regex. What the living shit? Saved. That's weird as hell. All right, durability is going up. Everything's working. All right. So for whatever reason, and I don't know the reason, turning these to false stats will be handled by RNG will be rerolled. So I guess it needs to handle those stats that way. It just keeps the gems. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not worried about this. Why is their communication haunted by you? Why is TTS not consistent? Because I just don't hit the buttons as often. That's the reason. I need to hit it more. Needles25 with $5 said what's the difference between CNC programming and game programming from a CNC machinist? I have no idea. I don't do anything CNC related. It's funny because I'm not the only one who's been like, that's not the only time this has been at. Hey, look, look, it works. It doesn't look like shit anymore. It works. It works, chat. We fixed it. We fixed it. Hi, Bezos. I know you're excited. I'm excited too. It works. Yeah, it's... I don't know anything about CNC. I know nothing about CNC. Learn CNC? The only thing I know about CNC is Command and Conquer. That's it. That's the extent of my knowledge in that area. Which means I know nothing. It's true, and you know it. Command and Conquer is fantastic, by the way. That's the only CNC you need to know? True. I can't wait for space capitalism, dude. I'm ready. Okay, this is fine. None of this matters. Uh, these are probably all fine. Command and Conquer is awesome. But yeah, I know nothing about it, unfortunately. I wish I could answer you, I just don't know. Troy Tech with 500 bits said, Watching you run in Hell Divers, I can't help but yell, Run, Forest, run. Definitely I looking forward to seeing you do a pizza Hellers. baking stream. That, why do you look so sad, when Shay wanted pizza was hilarious. I love Little Caesars Pizza because they keep pizza accessible for everyone and it's not bad to boot. There is this channel called Natural Habitat Shorts that I love to watch. They take random animal facts and make shorts that are humorous. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash shorts slash HQ6 VQ3 cook. Making pizza at home is cheaper. You are being ripped off. Even by Little Caesars. Even by Domino's. You are getting a worse quality product for more money. <laughs> There's no big pizza keeping you from making a pizza at home. It's not a thing. You're not... It's not giving power to the people to give them access to pizza. 
They're giving you shitty pizza for more money. You're not big pizza, Wolf. You may eat a big pizza, but you are not big pizza. No, no. Every time you order pizza from anywhere, they're giving you generally worse quality pizza than you can make at home for more money. Otherwise, they wouldn't be in business. They have to mark up the materials in order to stay in business, in order to pay their employees. That's how that works. Not everyone has an oven. You don't need an oven. Have you ever seen you ever seen a lot of people in Japan? They don't have like big kitchens. So they have these little burners that they put on the counter that are crazy cheap. Insanely cheap. Stupid cheap. They cost about the same amount as a pizza. They're great. Use one with the pizza on it. Cook it. Cook it on that. Can I air fry pizza? Yeah, but it's weird. Just cook it on that. Just cook it on that. The best investment you can ever have in your life is to invest in your own ability to cook. You will save so much goddamn money. You will save so much money. It is ridiculous. Absurd how much money you'll save. And to be real with you, if you can't, if you don't want to set up one of those burners sitting on your on your counter, get a toaster oven. A toaster oven is like a baby oven. It's very small. And it works just like a regular oven. And you know what? I cook pizza in mine all the time. All the time. Toaster ovens are awesome. And they're not crazy expensive. Totally doable. You don't have to get a fancy pizza oven. You don't need a pizza stone. You need a, a thing to put it on. You need to put it inside of a toaster oven. It's easy. Can I cut a hundred epic meals with a panini grill? God damn it. Don't say panini grill. What's the matter with you? Ugh. I hate mono tools. I hate them. I hate mono tools. Like, you ever see one of those? You ever see one of those? Like, it cooks a single egg. Yeah. So does a pot filled with water. Like, what? Why do we have these things? Like, I hate. I hate mono tools. I hate the shit out of mono. They're just money sinks. That's what they are. Like, buy this thing for fifteen dollars and you'll always cook a perfect egg. Yeah. Just put water in a pan. You're done. Cool. It's the whole thing. Mono tools suck. Yeah, unitaskers, dude. I hate that shit. I hate that shit. American products. A grater's a monotool? No, it's not. A grater is not a monotool. What's the matter with you? You can grate all kinds of shit. Graters are great. That's It's in the name. That's the whole point with it. Rice cooker? Don't get a rice cooker. Get an instant pot. Does the same shit, but with more stuff. I don't like using rice cookers. Just get a pressure cooker. Done. Fantastic. You can use a grater on cheese. You can use it on carrots. You can use it on zucchini. Zucchini is delicious in that, by the way. You can use it to peel potatoes. It's a potato peeler, too. You know what? I don't like potato peelers. You know that? I don't like potato peelers. I hate potato peelers. I've always hated potato peelers. I like the skin of my potatoes, to be honest with you. That's right. I don't like single-use tools. I don't like mono tools. Potato peeler only is there to peel, peel potatoes. Maybe sometimes carrots, for whatever reason. I don't like that shit. I don't like that shit at all. Rice cooker isn't single-use. It's called a rice cooker. It's there to cook rice. Peel apples? Who's, who shaves the skin off of an apple? What? The apple skin is edible. Who decrusts their apple? For my kids? Why do your kids not like the skin of an apple? I'm so confused by this. I only eat my apple without the crust. Like, I'm super confused. For pies? No, put that shit in the pie. Put it in the pie. Apple pie with the skin. You kidding me? Put that in the pie. No, 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 no. Put it in the pie. Put it in the pie. Put it in the pie. What's the matter with you? Apple pie without the skin. Jesus.
What do you mean allergies? What do you mean allergies? Allergic to the skin of the apple, but not the rest of the apple? Don't eat apples. If you're allergic to apple skin, don't eat apples. I'm allergic to almonds, so I only eat the inside of the almond. No, no, no. If you're allergic to apple skin, don't eat the apple. What's the matter with you? He's playing with fire at that point. Doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. <sighs> what do you mean hamburgers? What about hamburgers? Ever peel a carrot? No. No. Why do you why are you peeling all these things? What is the point of this? Why would you peel all of this stuff? Just wash it. All you have to do is wash it, Jet. Pesticides. Wash the apple with hot water. Wash it. Wash the and is this a foreign concept? That's not enough. So you want to slice all the skin off of the apple, thus exposing the interior flesh to the skin covered in pesticides that don't don't come off when you wash it. I want you to think about what you just told me. I want you to think about it. Really think about it. Think about it. All you're doing when you cut that open is you're taking that skin and you're smearing it all over the inside of the flesh that you eat and thinking that somehow it's not there. It's the same kind of behavior, the same line of thinking when you drop something on the floor and you're like, oh, five second rule. No. It's already touched the floor, Chet. It's already touched the floor. You've taken fruit, and you've turned it into sad sugar and water. Eat the skin. Skin is delicious. <laughs> what is this? Who are you agreeing with, Wolf? Wash, peel, wash like, like a raccoon. No, you don't wash it and then peel it and then wash it again. I am deeply afraid of all of you. There was a time where I was like, oh, it must be ironic. They're clearly just trolling. But now I don't know. I'm worried now. I'm worried for you. Do you peel your watermelon too? Do you peel your tomatoes? Do you peel your grapes? Deep fear. Deep fear. I'll spill my humans. Nice. Do your mangoes? I don't... Is mango skin even edible? I thought it was edible after you pickled it. Is it edible normally? I don't eat mangoes. Shay loves mangoes. It's edible? Alright, I didn't know. Yeah, I had no idea. But no, seriously, you don't need to peel all this stuff. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> it's concerning me, because you're missing out on so many flavors and interesting things there. In the, in the effort to get away from pesticides. All of your food has pesticides on it. Did you know that your organic food also has pesticides on it? They just use organic pesticides. Which is, a lot of pesticides are already that way. Did you know that? Did you know that? They just use naturally derived pesticides. We use them all the time. It's not that hard. Organic is largely marketing. It is. But naturally derived pesticides is 
most pesticides. Ask any farmer. You just kept saying, in my garden? That's a good way to do it. That is a good way to do it. Do you know what I do? Do you want to know how I do mine? I don't have any pesticides on mine at all. Do you know why? Because I choose other insect populations that wipe out the pests that would go on my plants. And I introduce those into the general environment if they're local varieties and not, in, not invasive. I use bugs to fight bugs. Yep. It's great. You garden? Hell yeah, I garden. You kidding me? Absolutely. Why do you think you can go to the store? You ever thought, like, why if I go to the, like, I don't know, the garden store, they have a big bag of ladybugs? You ever think about that? Why they have that there? It's so you can buy them and put them on your plants so they eat all the aphids. That's why they have that. That's the whole point. Ladybugs eat eat aphids they're carnivorous little bastards yeah you don't have to buy a shitload of pesticides you just have to understand the enemies of the things that are eating your stuff it's great yeah hell driver drop, drops with friendly bugs you're in, you're five aphids that's right you heard me do ladybugs peel the plant no they don't peel the plant what's the matter with you how many, how many of you guys didn't know that ladybugs eat aphids? It's literally a product in the store. You can go to any garden store and they have a bag of ladybugs, like a hundred ladybugs in a bag. And you're like, wow, I, I should just release those in my garden. Ladybugs are lovely. You just never thought about it? You just never thought about it. You just looked at the bag of, of ladybugs and you're like, well, that's neat. Never have to think about that again. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> Mubok underscore with 500 bits said does Thor have a fursona, serious or even as a joke? A fursona? I have a persona. Actually, I have a character, but it's not a fursona. Let's see if we can find this. I linked it in chat a long time ago. I have an object head character. I like object heads. I like robots. There he is. He's actually the main character of Kill the Moon. And he has been a long time. He's also my character from Second Life, so I could change the channel on the TV and uh, change it to a bunch of stuff, so when people would click on my face a bunch of times, it crashes, and then like the whole character turns black and white, which is fun. Yeah. I've always had a TV head. Long time. Like, 22 years? Yeah. I've had an, like a TV head for like 22 years. I used to be a cactus for a long time, too. I had a cactus head. Yeah. Yeah. Fully Cooly is great, dude. I love I love the shit out of object heads. I just like them. I think they're fun. Do you know why TV heads are fun? Because you can show emotion through imagery. And that makes them fun. Because you can change the channel anytime you want to show a facial expression. And that is fun for me. I enjoy that shit. I like that. Also, he would drip TV ooze out of his face. You draw that or Shay? Shay drew this. I made the character in the game, though. Let's even find it. Ugh. Do I even have this anymore? Where is this shit? Oh, there we go. Boop. There he is. He's got a crab hand in this one. And he has a bat. And he's got a smaller version of himself on his head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's all glowy. Oh god, his hand went in his head. It's fun. The hand's freaking me out. It's pretty good. It was made by Rachel Breaker. It's a cool hand. I don't know if Breaker makes shit anymore. Hand movement it just as this. It's like all animated. What's that from? Me. I made that. It's all my shit. Was that a game? It was from Second Life. That was my character in Second Life for years. Hand looks like it's telling us there's danger around. I know, right? <laughs> there's danger. Look, chat. Here, look. It's not rocket surgery. Alright? Don't worry about it. 
Anyway, next. Cell HP with 500 bits said, Hey Jason, I was yeah. wondering where we could vote for you in the streamer awards. You know you could be any other way, right? Like, you don't have to be like this. You just... <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna close this Java. Because it's slowly doing psychic damage to me. And... Oh, I need to update something, actually. Boop. Butterfingers. Update. Do it. Boop. Curse of Butterfingers. We need to go buff the murder runes now. Murder runes need a good old buff. And I need to pull up these items to determine how good the bufferino is. Let's see. Block game. Level scaling. Gear stats. You. Nope. Wrong gear stats. Um. Block game stats. Yay. Gear. PvP. Reduction PvP goes up to 5%. Runes. Reduction PvP goes up to 1.66667. So let's find out why. 1.66667. And we can do times 18. Equals 30% possible off of runes. So that actually seems correct. 30% is pretty goddamn huge. Five. Yeah, no, that's correct. That's totally correct. So, I think what I might do is I might actually increase this a lot, actually. So here's the problem, right? If we go into stats, actually, we go to profile. You've got PvP damage reduction at forty percent baseline. I don't think I want to do this this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to reduce the overall PvP damage reduction baseline from 40% to 20%. Then I'm going to increase the amount gained from gear to match that. So the gear itself, basically specking into PvP gear is going to be dramatically better. And if you are not wearing PvP gear of any kind, you'll be at more of a detriment than you were before. This means that people who are specking into PvP gear are going to get much more of an advantage. Much more of an advantage, which I think is important. The other thing that I'm worried about is PvP damage. Damage PvE is high. Let's see. Damage PvE and damage PvP are exactly the same. I need to go take a look at this. Because I think something might be wrong there. Let's go look at items and then... Um, you going to do it? Come on. We're going to look at gemstone. No, that's not it. We need to look at... What is that in there? Magic utility, rune carving. Rune carving is the one. So rune carving PvP, as we can see here, is actually going to open up rune carving PvP damage, all these types of things. And I think these are all under modifiers. So we're going to go to modifiers. We're going to say rank 5 modifiers, just like this. And we need to look at murder. No. Where's my PvP shit? Random battle totem. Random helmets. Random legs. Random boots. Where is my runes? Tools. Professional armor. Spell crafting. Blah, 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 blah. I know this is in here and I just don't know where it is. Rune carving offense. Okay, so magic damage is 6.944. That's very high. Why is that so high? We buffed this. We buffed this a while ago, didn't we? That's exactly what it is. The rune modifier got updated to 6.944. The damage PV and damage PVP ones didn't get updated. I 
Okay, so what I need to do is I need to introduce weapon damage variants onto murder runes. That's what we need to do. So we have PvP, PvE, and weapon damage variants on there. That's what we need. Yep. Got a murder rune buff. Wait until war supplies are fixed. What's wrong with war supplies? Sell HP. The issue is not with war supplies. I bet it's bet anything it's an issue with towns. All of that is getting done today. So no, I'm doing it all. Introducing a whole new system? No, we're not introducing a new system. We're adding on to an existing system. There's no, there's no, you know, new system shit. Would old murder runes be updated? Ideally, yes. Actuality, don't know. I can just have people turn them in and we can fix them. Yeah, Jake, I, I'm not doing the server resource pack just yet. I have some shit I want to do first. Because I need to host it somewhere and like do the whole thing. Shit. Let me make sure of something. I think I know what went wrong. If I'm wrong about this, if I'm right about this, I'm going to be upset. If I'm wrong about this, then I'm not going to be as upset. I think I know what went wrong. Maybe. We'll find out in a second. Nope. Nope, we're good. Wait, no. Shit. Shit. See this right here? So this is set to 1.66. It's actually supposed to be set to 2.77. Just like that. Right there. It's not set to it correctly. And that's not good. The rune modifiers are supposed to go all the way up to tier 5. And it looks like we updated the projectile magic and everything damage for baseline. But we didn't update the PvE and PvP damage. So, calc 2.77778 times 18 should equate to 50% damage reduction. That's the issue. I never updated it. I don't know why I didn't update it. But even more odd, I updated the wrong ones. Because if we go to item and we look at rune carving... You can see that PvP is actually going up by one level per, right? And that's fine. These only get to tier 5. In this case, if we go into the sheet, you can see that tier 5 is supposed to be at 6.94 and 2.7777. So somewhere along the way, I managed to screw this up. And I don't know when I managed to screw this up. Two, yeah, PV reduction is not supposed to be this. PVP reduction, rather. Yeah, rune carving is supposed to be that. So I need to go and look at... Shit. No wonder this is broken. 
Yeah, see, look at this. PvP damage, PvP reduction. This is completely incorrect. No wonder there's an imbalance. Okay. We're going to fix this. I have to go and open up. Rune carving is set up correctly. Yeah, I forgot to change some numbers. Like, that's really what this is. And this is a really bad one because it means that the entire PvP community was under utilized basically or under underbalanced the issue that we were seeing is like kanashi is incredibly powerful he's really really strong as a player and the problem was that full kitted pvp players couldn't compete well the reason why is because they were basically hamstrung by my shitty code and that sucks so now we basically need to find pvp reduction here and Sirius says pvp reduction we're at 0 0.333 that's actually supposed to be 0 0.55555. They're like missing out on a massive amount of percentage. Like an enormous amount. Yeah, they're missing out on a huge, huge amount of percent. Like that's a that's a big deal. So yeah, we're gonna fix this. Shit. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I might be wrong. That's damage reduction. That's damage reduction. I'm going to check something else. PvP damage. Wait. No, it's fine. It's just not good enough. Okay, there's a better way to solve this. The stats are correct. I was dumb. I was double dumb. See this right here, where it's rune carving, PvP damage, PvP reduction, max health, knockback resist, fall reduction? I'm going to add all of the damage types to this. We're going to take everything from our offensive runes. We're going to put all of our offensive rune magics on there. So it can be PvP plus magic, projectile, weapon, thaumaturgy. And we can put that on there as well. And I think that makes the most sense. And maybe cooldown? I think all the DPS ones make the most sense. Yeah, we're going to put all the DPS ones on there. I'm going to re probably remove cooldown, maybe? I don't know yet. So basically they're getting PvP, PvP reduction, max health, knockback resistance, fall reduction, magic damage... They always get PvP damage and PvP reduction as well. So adding those extra ones on there are kind of a big deal. Yeah, we're doing this. Hi, Bezos. We're doing it, dude. Nina Knox with 2000 bits said Yar Cheer 2000 tip for those who need it. You know that annoying thing that happens when you accidentally close a browser tab, or a browser window that had an ungodly amount of tabs in it that you worked so hard to put together. Use Control shift t to reopen the last closed tab. Repeat as necessary, mm -hmm. you're welcome less than three. Yep. Control shift t will open up the last tab that you closed. Uh, it's really useful for that, I use it all the time. Any browser does it. So if we have this, where it's like, oh no, I closed it, right? And you go to your browser, and then you click on any other tab in your browser, and you're like, oh, I was looking at this thing, and you control shift T, and it just pops back up. Ta da It's pretty useful.
<sighs> My brother would use that to catch me playing flash games when I wasn't supposed to. True. Control W for fast closing. Also true. Chrome mozzarella. Why are you like this? Newspawn with 500 bits said any good tools to learn how to build a decent gaming PC. Mm. Uh, PC part picker is probably the best one. Yeah, PC part picker is pretty legit. I really like it a lot. Um, I've never really had a problem with it. I think it's fantastic to be real. I wouldn't be able to make like machines in the way that I do without it. I've always thought it was like the best goddamn tool that exists and it's free, which is nuts. Are you a coffee drinker? No, I don't have caffeine of any kind. I do need water though, because I haven't had any today. I had a bunch of strange TV static liquid, so I'm going to need to do that in a minute here. I have not hydrated yet. I have not hydrated. The horror. You're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Drink water. Shut up. <laughs> uh... Okay, let's go try to see what this looks like. We need to we need to pull one more thing. So items, we're going to do... Uh, item tiers, maybe? Where's our capacity? There we go. Because these in rune carving are going to start at... It's legendary, exotic, epic, rare uncommon so is that is that just a special thing rune carve uncommon so we could go down here to rune carve rune carve uncommon has two base capacity three base capacity four five and six okay that's good easy peasy what are the odds of legendaries from dungeons uh one in two hundred yeah, it's a 1 in 200 drop. <sighs> the big yawn, dude. Hmm. I think we need to fix this, actually. 1, 2 to 3, 3 to 5, 7 to 10, 15 to 20, 64. 3 to 5. Is it 7 to 10? Seven to ten. We're changing it up so that rune carving actually turns into corrupted essence because it wasn't before, which is stupid. Yeah, two to three, three to five, seven to ten, fifteen to twenty, sixty-four. One. No oh, wait. This should be two to three. Gotta remember that statistical probability doesn't owe you anything. No, it doesn't. No one ever said it did. Alright, let's take a look at this. Murder ruins. Oh, they're super weird now. Let's think about balance for a minute.
I don't think this is the right way to do this. The reason why I don't think this is the right way to do this is because it will make it so that murder runes are the best runes in the game. Instantly. I think that's the biggest problem. I think the issue is that it will make them the best runes in the game because you'll have both PvE stat damage and PvP stat damage, and there's no reason to not use those ones over using a PvE-based rune. So, I think I'm just going to increase the statistics. Let's do that. Good idea. Didn't work. We made things that were too powerful. Because it takes it away from the PvE players. And we want PvE players to be able to make the other runes. It should be a choice, not make it mandatory. Okay, now we can save this. Let's think about this. Um... Into here. Alright. What is our target going to be? populating this. I actually have no idea what's populating this at all. Something. I think it's based on the target. Gear calc, rune calc. I forget how to use my own sheet. I haven't used this in ages. Target max. 100. 100. What is this? Okay, we have to change the gear modifier now. So gear calculation is going to be doubled. We're going to get more DPS out of this. One point... Actually, wait. Yeah, okay. We're going to grab that. And we're going to paste it in here. We do the exact same thing here. And we have to do the same thing with the rune disparity. Rune modifier is actually going to be much higher now. Okay, so basically what's going on here is we're modifying the shit out of the runes. And by modifying the shit out of the runes, runes should auto-update, although they may not. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, there we go. Copy pasta this over to runes. Wait. I think it's working. By God, he's doing it. Let's go look at Master. All right. This will be fine then. Ruins. No. I have to take this new value, which is this one right here. We got to take the rune modifier and put it all the way over here. I should probably automate more of this system. These are going to be the new statistics for damage PV and damage PVP. On those stats. Which I think damage PV being higher likely isn't a good idea. I think damage PVE being where it was was correct.
damage PvP needs to be the higher one. And reduction PvP needs to be the higher one. Anixia is serious business? Probably true. What do you mean circular references? What? The hell are you talking about? Oh, God damn it! Paste the value, you goblin. Good old circular reference, my dude. Copy that. Put it in the gear calc. Gear modifier. Paste. All right. So, this should be fine. This should be fine. We're good. And we need to look at damage reduction PvP. So damage reduction PvP right now, our target calculation is 70. Which is not correct. We need this to go down to base stat of 20. And then we need this to be a target calculation of 80. I want 80% damage reduction there. And for PvE damage reduction, I think 30% makes the most sense. I think that's fine. You'd shave off 30% off of the DR. Actually, we'd probably bring this up to 50. To be real with you. 50% damage reduction is probably better. So we're going to take this. I'm just going to take these two. Copy those. That's the gear calculation. We're going to be updating gear with this gear modifier. I can't wait for the community to somehow, like, demand that this is a nerf or some shit. I'm excited for it, dude. Even though we've doubled the amount. community is going to be like, it's a nerf. Why? The numbers changed. It's going to happen, dude. It's going to happen. You know it's going to happen, too. They're always like that. Community is goblins. Avoider underscore net with 500 bits said, ya bongos, ya bongos, ya bongos, ya bongos, ya bongos. Who made you this way? You're your bongos. Did you know that? Shouldn't you have been your bongos this entire time, dude? It's true. It's true. All right, there we go. Those are going to change. Um, PvP weapon damage? No. Master PvP damage. Gear modifier. Poppy pasta. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, first off, we gotta go to core. I think it's under attributes. Maybe it's not under attributes. Maybe it's under stats. Huh? PvP damage reduction. There we go. Base 20. Okay, so... Baseline PvP damage reduction. 40 to 20. We can change it from 40% to 20%. There we go. So now what we're doing is we're nerfing the shit out of innate PvP resistance. Then we're increasing the amount of PvP resistance from runes. Yes.
All right. So now we're going to take this, put it over in the other monitor, and I'm going to jam out some numbers. Two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. And we cut this to there. Point three, three, three. Two point zero, zero, zero. Two point six, six, seven. Actually, six, six, six is what that should be. And then to no 3.333 3. all right easy easy peasy you grab this 0 0.166 This is a pretty massive increase, by the way. This is, like, enormous. It's honestly huge. Kind of exciting for that. Yeah, no, it's huge. It's enormous. The change is big. We've doubled it. We, we doubled it completely. Nerf me more, please. I'm not nerfing you. You're, you're being buffed. Being buffed, chat. The buff is happening. These are buffs. That's being buffed. Okay. He's nerfing all of us? No. You're not being nerfed. You're not being nerfed. You're being buffed. You're all being buffed. I know this may seem strange, but I'm buffing you. PvP damage is a nerf against me? Well, then get PvP damage reduction, nerd. You heard me. To be fair, to buff one aspect, you have to nerf another aspect? No. Number only go up. Number only go up, Chet. Don't believe their lies. Tonakis underscore Maximus with 500 bits said thank Don't you, Wizard Master lies. Thor, for inspiring me to be creative and start messing around with game creation. Hell yeah. You deserve the award. You're awesome. I love you and please clear my permanent record. I'm not clearing your... What, what does that even mean? No. Swear to God. Uh... Okay, so our target in this case... PvP, PvE damage stay the same. PvE reduction went from 0 0.3... Let's think about this. Alright. PvE damage reduction. 0 0.166 and there we go so the ner the buff is not the same. It's not a nerf. <laughs> Shit. It's... The buff is not the same between the two. It's not the same. It's a buff. It's not a buff. It's an ultra buff. It's larger. Alright? It's larger. It's not a nerf, though. 
It's a mega buff. Like a mega pint. Right? Yeah, see? It's not a nerf. I was thinking about nerfing you. And I decided to be nice to you instead. Okay, so the next one is the gear side of this has to be updated. Gear side is broke. So we'll need to do all of these. <sighs> Classic dev always buffing mages. I'm not buffing mages. <sighs> I'm making it so that somebody who is super into doing PvP is very adept at PvP. That's what I'm doing. What does the point hole do? Put points in a hole. That's what it does. Seven shadows with one. 500 bits said, oh, forgot to say happy evening from Japan. Happy yar evening, bongos, dude. Yar bongos, yar bongos, yar bongos. You're bongos, dude. I hope, I hope it's going well in Japan. What about people not into PvP? They don't get PvP bonuses. Amazingly, if you're not into PvP, you won't get PvP bonuses. I know this may be surprising, but PvPers get to have bonuses in PvP. And the people who don't do PvP don't get bonuses in PvP. I don't I don't understand the direction that a lot of games are going where like you have to isolate the non-PvPers and cover them in bubble wrap and hand them everything they'd ever want without having to try. Like no. There's a whole there's a whole video game here. And the more of it that you play, the more rewarded that you are. There's no microtransactions. There's no monetization at all. I thought you only stream on YouTube. I've been streaming on Twitch for seven years. What? No. No. You get upgrades for PvP if you do PvP stuff. You get upgrades for PvE if you do PvE stuff. You get upgrades for professions if you do profession stuff. That's how that works. Yeah, all the all the YouTube shorts that you see are based on the Twitch, my dude. Yeah, I always find that surprising, though. I always do. Is that there's like a large and angry part of the user base that wants like everything without having to PvP, and like that's not the case. And, and for everybody that's like, oh, no, you have to do that because because the PvEers need to be able to get everything that PvPers get without PvPing because PvP is stressful. No. You will not get the PvP items. That is for people that engage in PvP. If you want them, you will go in PvP. And if you find that too stressful, then you will not get the items. That's it. And if you don't enjoy PvP, that's fine. But I'm not giving you the rewards for the people that actually do the PvP. It's not how that's going to happen. Like, you get rewards based on the things that you do, not the things that you want. Otherwise, there's no point in doing things. Since Tier 5 isn't possible right now? Yes, it is. It absolutely is. This is for runes. Runes are exactly the same. You can already get Tier 5 runes. People already do. Are there PvE-only items? Yes. The rest of the entire video game is PvE-only items. Talking about P Tier 5 PvP gear, there is no Tier 5 PvP gear. It doesn't exist. There is only Tier 5 PvP runes. There is no PvP gear in the game. That doesn't exist. Tier 5 Mage Set is not PvP gear. What? It's just a mage set. For all mages. <clears throat> this is all sounding astoundingly reasonable? Yes. Because I, that's how that works. They, there was always like this weird thing inside of World of Warcraft. Where people were like, I want to get all the PvP gear, but I don't want to PvP. Blizzard's a bad company. Like, no, dude. If you want the PvP gear, go fight in PvP. And if it's too stressful for you, guess what? You don't get the item. That's not that hard of a take. Like, that's not a scary thing. If you can't do the PvP, if you don't want to do PvP, you don't get the items then. That's fine.
Who gives a shit? The, the point of this, the entire point of having challenges is for you to meet or exceed the challenge. And if you do that, you get the reward for it. Handing out rewards for doing nothing means there's no reason for you to do the challenge in the first place. You have no attachment to your accomplishments within the game, and then you leave. If you hand a player all of the awards, all the rewards they could possibly have, the rewards are meaningless, and then they leave. There's no point to that. It's, it's dumb. It's a dumb move. Let players have accomplishments, whether it's in PvP or PvE or in professions or in whatever. Whatever it's going to be. Farm that guild rub. Exactly. Whatever it is, give them things to accomplish that they can feel proud of. And don't take that away from them just because some of the user base wants it more. And if they wanted it more, they'd do it. Just like all the other players. Easy. I don't like participation awards. I don't. I've never liked that. I, I don't like participation awards. I think they suck. I really think they suck. Is one of the reasons Old School RuneScape ex succeeds? Exactly. When you see a person with a cape in Old School RuneScape, you know that that dude has worked very hard for it. And you're like, wow, that cape is cool. I wish I could have that cape, but I can't have it because I haven't worked hard enough. I'm going to go work hard enough. Like, that's, that's all that it is. Yeah, gating rewards behind content. Truly revolutionary. You'd be amazed at how, like, toxic that take is right now. There are so many people that are so mad about that all of the time, and it makes no sense to me. It's, it's fine to have accomplishments. That's fine. And I, I won't dilute that in any way. I want you to try things and do stuff and get bragging rights. Exactly. Bragging rights should be there for accomplishments. You should be able to brag about your accomplishments. If I want to give you a gigantic ham hat of invisibility because you kicked a lot of ass in PvP, then I'm going to do it. Then you get to wear your ham hat, and that's how that should work. Right? There's, And no one else gets a ham hat unless they do the same thing. And that's it. Yeah, you can have, you can have a ham hat. A giant ham hat of invisibility. Where's my ham hat? It's invisible, so it's hard to find. That's the challenge. Good luck. Don't make a hat on me. Too late. You're a little ham, not a not a giant ham. It's different. Hummus hat? Oh, I love hummus. I love hummus. Okay, let's go fix this. Uh, the next one. What is the next one going to be? I think PvP damage went up. Yeah. Bet you love spicy hummus? I do love spicy hummus. I want a pirate software made of hummus. I want that too. Let's make that happen, Chet. I love hummus. Appreciate you Simon cussing, so I'd like to watch your VODs while I'm at work. It also helps me. The bots on YouTube. Because I use YouTube Premium to have my phone screen turned off. So I can just have my phone in my pocket and listen to your pod like a podcast. That's awesome. Hell yeah, dude. 
Yeah, you're rad as shit. Thank you. This is going to be a huge increase, by the way. There we go. There we go. And there's going to pay for YouTube Premium. Nice. The Thorvods at work actually go crazy. Me typing while I'm at work. That's funny. Will you ever add a command so we know the name of the current song being played? I might. Send me some changelog stuff in DMs. Let me go look. Oh, is that actually in the rune carving thing? That's good. Oh, there was another one too. Um, what was the other bug that we fixed? All dungeon clocks are managed by clock in. Dungeon clocks will no longer freeze. It's a big one. Um, I rate these a little bit differently. Oh, oh, you fixed that exploit where people could stand in origin and, and get XP. That was in this patch, too. Because I don't think we put that in patch notes yet. Yeah. There we go. Party split EXP no longer functions in PvP disabled zones. And party split EXP no longer functions in Midgard. Because players found out that even though we made it so that Midgard doesn't give you XP, they found out that they could stand in Midgard while in a party and their friends are over in Murkheim, and they could farm in Murkheim, and then players in Midgard would level. You bastards. You actual goblins. You think we didn't notice? Oh, we noticed. We noticed and we fixed it. No level for you. No level for you. Nothing for you. You know what's even better, too? If you try to do it now, it just black holes the XP. It just takes that cut that would go to that other pl like player, and it throws it away. You don't even get the full amount. You're actually diminishing your XP by doing it. And they don't even know. Some of them don't even know. You're right. Yeah, no seagulls for you. The point hole hungers. Alright. Let's think about the next bit. Uh, we gotta go update all this shit, don't we? Yeah, we do. Shit. Oh god, there's so many stats. It's a lot of point hole. I see that. It's bad I kind of want to make a dev studio called Get Wrecked. No, you can make that. You should make a dev studio called Get Wrecked and just make games about blowing stuff up. That's like the whole game. Just like games like Teardown. It's a billion of them. It's all you could you could be like blow up this building simulator or or break this car simulator. You remember that like remember like in fighting games like in Street Fighter where you had to beat up the car? Remember the beat up the car level in Street Fighter? I just want games like that. I just want a game where you just beat up a car with your bare hands. Give me that game. Give it to me in VR. I'll vomit the whole time because I'm I'm like allergic to VR, but I'll play that game. I would hundred percent punch a car to death in VR. I want that. Give me that. Only bonus stage? That's fine. E-Honda versus A-Honda? Shut up. 
Need <laughs> uh, driving before VR? It doesn't work. Yeah, punch puke. Punch puke. I'd do it. I want to get fit punching a car in VR, dude. You know what? Maybe you should bring this to Code Miko. Be like, hey, Code Miko. I really want to punch a car in, in Mikoverse. That's what I want to do. I just want to punch cars in Mikoverse. That's the game, dude. Brand new sentence? That's fine. I want to punch a car in VR. For fitness. For fitness. What are you doing? I'm getting buff. How you doing that? Punching cars in VR, dude. I'm in. Let's get a car mod in Minecraft on it. Cypher FTW with 500 bits said in 25. My initial discovery cost for finding my cat Maverick's autoimmune disease was 1200 with more predicted to find out the exact cause. The estimated continual care for him was more than 20k over his lifetime. It was yep. surrender him or put him to sleep. I don't think I hate myself more for anything, ever. Surrendering him was like stabbing myself in the chest. But at least now he has a chance I pray you give that lil ferret his best chance. Less than three you Thor. That is exactly the reason we do what we do. Because it is really hard. It is really, really hard. And the difficulty that you felt there is the difficulty that I get to see like on a weekly basis with other people. And the thing that I have to explain to them, like, because they're always like, well, can't you just pay for the bill? And we don't just pay for the bill because it is incredibly expensive to take care of an exotic animal that has heavy medical issues. So if they need help right now, they're going to need help again. And they, the animal has better outcomes when they're with us because they have round-the-clock care. So we have them surrender the animal to us, and then we do everything we can to save them. Everything. And it doesn't mean we always succeed. We do fail. We failed once before, and I'm hoping we don't fail now. Can they visit? Absolutely. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And this family actually gave us um, Henry is his name and his sister. And if we can't save Henry, we're going to talk to them like, hey, do you want his sister back? Because I don't feel right keeping her if we couldn't save him. That's weird. You know, because that's they were doing everything they could. They just couldn't they couldn't pay for this situation is so weird. He's a two-year-old ferret suffering from intense neurological issues. And they couldn't afford to pay for the entire system that we're going through right now, which costs about so far about $4,000. It is not a cheap thing to do, right? You didn't fail? Yeah, we did. We did. I know we did it. You have to think about it this way, right? It's one of the quotes that it's my favorite. It is possible to do everything right and still lose. We did everything right. We still lost. It happens. And I'm okay with that. It still sucks. It still sucks really bad. But that is what it is. We still lost. We still failed. We did it all right, but we still failed. And that's life, man. That's life. Yeah. Yeah. It does hit. It's a shitty one. It's a rough one. I love Star Trek. Love the shit out of Star Trek. For reasons like that. Not a failure. Still a fail. Still is. There are things that I feel like I could have done better. We could have been more aggressive about it with the owners. You know? I could have called animal control the first time we had an interaction with those people. I could do things better. And in the future, I will. I'll be more aggressive about it. Because that's just how that has to be. And like, would it have fixed this? I don't think so. Would it have had a chance to? Maybe. So it's one of those. Where you're like, I don't know. We'll see. What happened? Um, we had a person give us their ferret. They surrendered a ferret to us a while back. That was Ghost. Ghost has been clearly heavily abused. She's terrified of other animals. Ferrets are largely fearless creatures. They are not afraid of anything.
They fear nothing. They're related to badgers. They're musclids, right? They don't care. She can't see another animal without shaking and then biting and then peeing and pooping herself instantly. And she's been this way for almost a year. So it's like, they did something to her that is bad. And I don't know what it is. So I didn't call Anima Control then because we didn't have good evidence of what the hell was going on. Fast forward six months later. Family has a new ferret. New ferret has swallowed an object. We go through like an 11-day process to get this animal from them. Ferrets generally die within 12 to 24 hours when they swallow something that stops them from digesting. Six months later, they have this other problem. They refuse to give us the animal. I'm not that aggressive about it. Eventually, they finally agree to give us the animal. And we take her to the vet, and she had swallowed this object. It's still sitting on my desk to remind me about this. It's a tiny little piece of rubber. That's all this is. A little spiky bit of rubber. And because she didn't eat for 11 days, she went into what's called hepatic acidosis. And hepatic acidosis means that the body is no longer using the liver appropriately, and she died. And there wasn't a damn thing we could do about it. And that was the same people. So I called animal control the second time. Because we had a, a history of abuse of an animal. Twice. And the state is going after them now. As it should be. But the reason it pisses me off is because I knew we wouldn't be able to form a case for the state to do anything about it after the first round of animal abuse. We had to go to the second round of animal abuse to prove a pattern. God, it pisses me off. Where do you get your information about ferrets? Veterinarians and research documentation. That's it. It just sucks, man. It sucks. It's like a really... It's a really shit thing. It's sad to hear I have ligma. That's true. Yeah, you are dying of ligma. Sorry for you. But yeah. You need two dead ferrets to prevent a third. Exactly. And that's just shit. What I would do, honestly, is like... If I could change the laws... If you want to have an animal... You should have a license. Legitimately. Like... You should have to get a license and you should have to have a basic level of training to understand how to take care of that animal. And that sucks ass. There's too many people that don't understand how to take care of these creatures. And to be real with you, running a rescue, I get to clean up the mess. And those animals suffer for the rest of their lives. And my God, does that shit suck. It sucks bad. Makes me madder than you could believe, man. Makes you makes me angrier than you can believe. Yeah. People should have a license to breathe. I don't know about that one. All animals are just exotic ones. I think all animals, to be real with you. And that license, dude, can just be basic training. Do you know how many pets die because people the owner just doesn't know some basic fact? Do you know how many like think about it this way? There are people out there that think that you can have a vegan cat. Cats are obligate carnivores. You can't have a vegan cat. You're killing it. This is basic shit. Basic shit. And that's not a joke. That's a thing. That's real. And it's horrific. It's the same thing with ferrets. If you A ferret is an obligate carnivore. It eats meat, bone, and, and egg. That's it. That's all they can have. And it's, it's not okay. My cat is an omnivore? No, it's not. You're just allowing it to eat shit that's not good for it. Cats are obligate carnivores. Jesus. Just because, Think about it this way. Just because the animal wants to eat it doesn't mean it should. Just because you want to eat it doesn't mean you should. Tide Pods. Looks delicious. Kills you. You have to have a little bit of constraint. To stop yourself from eating the Tide Pod. Looks delicious. You die when you eat it, right? The animal doesn't know how to... Doesn't know how to speak. Doesn't know how to talk to you. That's how that shit works. It'll eat the Tide Pod and you'll be like, Oh, look at him. He's eating a Tide Pod. Isn't that cute? No. No. It's the same when you're like, Oh, look. My cat is eating all of the... All of the lettuce. <laughs> this is not good for them, dude. It's an obligate carnivore. The only time cats even eat grass is so they can make themselves settle their stomach or throw up. That's what they do that for. 
Yeah, fiberglass looks like cotton candy. Bingo. And like a basic level of understanding, a basic level of education for animals stops these kinds of weird behaviors in pet owners that lead to mortality issues in pets. And it's with, to be real with you, with an hour of understanding and training, a lot of this shit could be avoided. One hour for the life of an animal. One. I'm not like PETA. I want you to have pets. I just want you to not be a shitty owner. That's all I want. And there's too many damn shitty owners. And I get to see all of them. Every day. And it's rough. Don't be a shitty owner. Do research on the animal before you get one. Every time. Coding. You're coding. I would take four and go above and beyond. Yeah, just it's just an hour, dude. It's easy stuff. Iron Mouse is alive. Ooh. That means there might be democracy soon. Potentially. We'll see. I don't know what Mouse is doing. Yeah. But no, I'm real I'm real mad about that shit, because it's grim, but I get to see this every day. And to be real with you, not every owner is a bad owner. Some of them actually do the research. And you know what sets it apart? A bad owner from a good owner? is literally just their willingness to do research. That's it. It's that little bit of effort, yeah. That's all it is. Man, does it suck. Ooh. All right, I gotta finish the block game stuff. Um. Let's see. What is it called? Let's see. Oh, hi. You're immensely sick? That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. When did the train start? I have no idea. It's level two. It's doing it. It's the percentage is working. <sighs> you noticing me made me feel a lot better. Thanks. Anytime, dude. I actually see most of your guys' chat. I just can't respond to absolutely everything. I see most things when people are talking in chat. Most. Not all. Most. Your end is not working is working, not Twitch end. I know, that's why we did this. I I literally built this today, right before the stream. And did all the UI and everything for it, so you guys could have a hype train that actually aligned with the actual API data and not aligns with whatever's going on in chat at the top. Because the one at the, in the top of chat is slow and like breaks and shit, and this one won't. It's exactly the it's exactly from the API. It was great. Can we see the UI? It's in the middle of the stream at the top. That's the UI.
Thor got bullied for this the start of the stream. It was completely broken at the beginning of the stream. Just delayed by five seconds. No, it's not delayed by five seconds. It's exactly the same. It's delayed by whatever your local delay is. And by the way, when the hype train goes wild, when people get above 40, that thing's like five minutes behind. It's completely broken. <laughs> Don't you dollar symbol math me. You silence. How dare you. I gotta fix all this stuff so I can go democracy with Baru. Oh, shit. Where's my PvP? PvP. Damage reduction. PvP. PvP reduction. Boop, boop, boop. PvP. Five, five, five. Where's the next one? PvP. T1 rune carving PvP reduction. Okay. PvP damage. Needs to be 1.111. One, 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 one. Alright. Save. Thank you very much. 25 gifted subs, dude. What a beast. Holy shit. Look, he got to level 8. That thing doesn't even know what it's doing. Look at it. It's level 8. But that thing says level 4. It doesn't even know what to do. And now it says level 8. Finally. API is better. API is better. Winner. Winner. Winner is me, chat. We build solutions out of Twitch to solve the problems with Twitch. This is good. This is good. Uh, where's our PV? Oh, no, that's PVE damage. It's supposed to be this one. 1.111. 1 1.333. 1 1 1 1 Reduction. Let's do PvP damage as the first one here. No, it's not what I wanted. This. Okay, rune carving PvP damage. PvP damage. Tier 2. 1.333. 1 1.111. 1 it should now be 2.222. 2. 2. Wait a minute. PvP reduction. PvP damage. One point three three three. PvP reduction. One point one one one. One point one one one. Okay, good. Save. Next. And this one needs to be. I need a new desk chair. Do you have a recommendation? Not really. I use a uh, secret labs because it's got the lumbar bar in it, and that's the only thing. What's your IQ, bro? I don't know. Probably above one, I would think. I feel like it's at least positive. You know what I mean? Yeah. PvP reduction. Let's see. We need this to 2.0. PvE reduction. 1.666. Next, PvP damage. 3.333. PvP reduction, tier 4. 2.666. 2.666. PvE reduction, 2.222. 2.222. And now PvP damage is 4.444. Save. And tier 5 modifiers. Boop. 
We're getting there. 3.333 and 2.777. There we go. Next. And our damage is now completed. All right. Runes are now like this and are a bit busted. So we have to go through and we have to fix this for armor now. Yeah. We're almost done. We are almost there. Thank you very much for the five gifted subs. That's super nice of you. Hi Bezos, how's it going? Easy peasy. Big patch notes day. Big patch notes day. You ready? You ready for big patch notes day? We're almost there. It's close. Reduction PvE, reduction PvP. Damage PvP. Let's go make sure of this actually. We'll go to master real fast. I believe this used to be 30. And this used to be 30. So these are the old values here. are the 0.833s. That's the PvP old value. So let's do 100. Go to gear. Thank you for the $50 to the moderators. Holy shit, dude. You're awesome as hell. That makes more sense. chat. Look at all those buffs. Look at the numbers going up. From the number on the left to the number on the right. Look at them all. 
we doubled the PvP damage output. Ooh, it's beautiful. Ooh, it's beautiful, chat. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, chat. So nervous? I'm not nerfing you. I'm buffing the shit out of you. Chad, I'm buffing you. I'm buffing you so much, it's ridiculous, frankly. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense because you can have five pieces of gear. Four, five, six. Oh, you'd have six. You'd have six pieces. So, yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay. Sinner's like, why does this math not make sense? And math does make sense. Yeah, it does. Uh, actually, what was it before? Let me go look at this. Yeah. That was really weak before. PvP got buffed into the sun, my dude. PvP got buffed into the sun. Into the sun. Reduction PvP, reduction PvE. This should be 50 now. So let me go look at this real fast. Ah, wait a minute. Something is wrong here. I'm deleting these. Something is wrong. We're gonna take this. Move this over here. We went from... 30 on this, and 30 on this. And we took these two values from gear, and we put these two values from gear over here. And we get all of these values. We're gonna put these over here. Second one is reduction PvP. Then we're going back over to this, we're sending this one to 50, and this one to 80. We take all of this, we go back over here, and we dump it into here. Now we take this, up it like this. And that's the value from to the value to. Holy shit, PvP damage reduction is so much better in gear now. Ridiculous. What is this? If the process contains Excel, the process is broken. No, the way in which I was using the tool was incorrect. Yeah, no. These don't matter. Those hrefs, those refs don't matter. I'm not worried about that. That's intentionally like that. I'm not. A, it's not a big deal. Uh, now we need to go up to PvP damage. Why is that one like that? What the hell? Stop that. So this one has to go from fifty point eight three 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 to one hundred point one six six seven. Okay. Now this makes sense. Now it makes sense. Yeah, this got buffed a lot. Like a huge amount. Let's go to runes real fast. And we're going to make sure of this. So this was 30. And this was... I think 30. Yeah, that was 30 before. No, it was 50. 50 was the most. Yeah. Yeah. 
They were exactly the same. That was the difference. Okay. So I was confused. I was like, wait a minute. I don't think it was this week. I thought it was better. Right? And yeah, that's exactly what it was. Now we've got it fixed. I was sitting there, I was like, what the hell did I do with this to make this so broken? It's fixed now. We're good. And that means that this needs to be 0.333 PvP damage reduction. 0.333 to 0.666. We basically doubled it. Okay. Because this went from PvP damage reduction. 50. Maybe that was the bug. Let's find out. No, no one wants to make an icon set. Go away, Excel. Yeah, 333-666-999. One three three, one six five. Okay, that is correct. Both of those are right. And now they're set at master fifty and eighty. Put this back over here. Paste those there. PV is correct. PVP is correct. All right, we style it. This is fine. What are we fixing? Balance. We're doing balance shit. No, 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 no. All the music you hear on this channel is from our game Heartbound. Yep. Russell All right, balance shit is working. 500 bits said testing in prod. Hype Train 2 is working as designed. My the mobile is device working. is synced with the Hype Train UI. Excellent work. Mostly good. Nard Burger. You're Nard Burger. So this one is going to be gear. And it's PvP... I think it's PvE damage reduction. Yeah. So, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Just like this. We do it like that. Gear. PvE damage reduction. So we do the exact same thing all the way along this. There we go. Actually, I think I probably just get rid of that because you guys can't even get those. Probably just put it tier six. There we go. Because there's only six tiers in the game right now. This is PvE. This one's PvE stuff. Damage reduction is good. Do not be upset, chat. You will be fine. We're doing buffs. It's a buffs day. Be happy about the buffs, chat. Be happy about them. Just realized this is PvP damage. There we go. Yeah, good. Okay, so the next one needs to be PvE damage reduction. No, PvP damage reduction for that. Uh, that'll be this one down here. And then this one here is going to be PvE damage reduction there. And we're going to set this to gear and gear. And I think we are good to go. Two, three, four. So this is five. And then tier six. We can delete all of that. Go down. Two, three, four, five, six. And then delete all of this. Take this here and do that we can take this and go boop 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 and take all of these look at that buff number go up all right number go up say tier one 
Yeah, I think this is going to be a pretty significant change to the game, and I think it's a good thing. We want kind of wildly different stats for people getting random rolls and stuff, and it's not really fun the way that it was. So, fixing this is huge. It's not power creep. It's rebalancing of statistics. The problem is, is that the player had not enough options, and the statistics were not impactful enough for them to matter. So, with that in mind, changing them like this is super important to make sure that the player has valid choices. Because right now they weren't really a choice. They were like, oh, okay, well that's on the gear, I guess. That's not really useful. That's not really interesting, right? You want to have the choice make sense and matter. You want it to do something. And the player had a scenario where it didn't matter if they wore it, and if they geared into it, it was worthless, which is shit. PvE have up to tier 6. PvP gear doesn't exist. They work completely off of runes. Currently, anyway. That'll change. We will be putting out PvP gear. Eventually. There's no nerf day. It's not nerf day. Funnily enough, PvP gear is not going to have... Um, it's not going to have rune sockets in it. <laughs> Which is kind of hilarious. Because it can't. Because then it'd be overpowered. <laughs> Bring back wheat maxing? No. I'm not bringing back wheat maxing, you freaking goblin. What's the matter with you? PvP damage reduction. God, what is it called? Let's just look for the words PvP. Okay. So... So we can't do multi-line searches, which is unfortunate and lame. <laughs> Boo! 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 So we need to change this manually. Boo! Just use Envim? You're an Envim, dude. I'm gonna do this manually just so chat seethes. Enjoy. Epic Rick 96 with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, I hope you're doing well. Love the content and what you're currently working towards between the Ferret family and game developing gold PLZ. My question for the TTS is, What do you think of Final Fantasy IX? Have you played it? If so, what was your favorite part out of the four and your favorite character? Please, gold PLZ, gold PLZ, gold PLZ, gold PLZ. Gold PLZ. Asking a person what their favorite PV like Final Fantasy is, is honestly just asking for a fight. You know that. I know that. Because everyone has a different one, and it's always the one that they first played. I like Final Fantasy 3. <laughs> you know it's true. This is like bringing up politics at Thanksgiving. This, you just don't do it. Look at this, US 3 or actual 3? What if you don't like Final Fantasy? Dude, I'm just mad that it's not the Final Fantasy. It's false advertising, alright? I, I find it to be ridiculous. 12, you like licenses? What's the matter with you? Licenses to wear a hat? This dude wants big government. Ridiculous. The license system was shit in 12, and you know it. It was so not fun. The license system was so stupid. I have this cool hat. I can't wear it until I have a license to wear the hat. God damn it. I hated that. I'm just gonna be completely real with you. I hated the shit out of it.
Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. After I get this tier 1 finished, I'm going to play Helldivers with Admiral Barrow. Block game is going to remain down until afterwards. The reason why is because there's still more stuff I have to do after this, and I promised him I would play Helldivers with him. I don't want to be a dick. So the game will be down until I get that finished. I don't want to release this half-baked. I don't want to rush it. We've got a lot of things that I know. We have a lot of stuff that has to be updated. Because I've got... I've got like three hours of updates ahead of me. So, it's democracy time. Democracy! It's time. It's time. I need to let... I am ready. I'm letting the group know. I have to use the bathroom one sec. I have returned. Are you guys saying free hat? Okay, here. Here's what I'm going to do. When we get back into block game, I'm going to make a ham hat. And I'm going to give everyone a ham hat. You'll get a ham hat for free. That's right. What is this, Wolf? What the hell are you sending me? What is Helldivers.io? Woo! Woo! Oh, that's sick. Hell yeah. We can see in real time where we are needed. Hell yeah. We've got our major order done. The major order was like in here. And we finished that. I've been working on Meridia all day. How did we lose 10... When I signed off, we were at 90%. And we're at 80% now. Shit. We're losing 5% per hour, and we're gaining at a rate of 3.58% per hour. We got to push. Oh, that's not good, man. We're losing ground here. See, I'm really concerned because one of these planets is Heath, and Heath is right there, and Errata Prime just hit 0%. So if they push from Errata Prime up into Heath, we could lose our major order. That's not good. This is the Helldivers 2 map. Forces relocated to Turing. That's not good. How does this work? Are you fighting the planets versus human players? No. We're fighting against Joel, the Game Master. Link? Yeah. Here. Uh, Wolf linked it a whole bunch. Wolf, can you do it again? It's Helldivers.io. We don't need Helldivers on Automaton. We need to do the major order. Follow the orders of Super Earth. Or you're a traitor. Yeah. Yeah, Fenrir had 100%. It hit 100%. It's been dropped. Does Joel have team? Joel is the video game's DM, dude. We have to destroy the Tyranids. It's true. All right. One sec. Hold up. And I got to change all my stuff over. It's time for democracy, chat. I, have, I am not addicted, just to let you know. I'm not addicted. I can stop at any time. This is not an addiction. I am in full control. 
over the amount of democracy that I am consuming. Do not worry for me. In fact, go on without me. Leave me here on my bug planet. I love bugs. They're my, they're my favorite. I love to shoot them with lightning guns. It's not weird. It's not weird. I, I need to make a button for this. Hold up. I'm going to... I play this game enough that I'm going to be putting a button. I'm putting a button on my stream deck so I can swap into this easily. What icon should I put with this? Do we have a bug icon? I want a bug icon. I need a hell dive. Oh, there's a bug icon. Sick. Why can't they click this? Okay, so the bug icon is bug. Very cool. Alright, I've got a bug icon now. We're good. And this one's going to be named Helldivers. And I'm going to change this to Helldivers 2. Why are there so many Helldivers 2s? That's weird. And we're going to say Democracy. And with at Admiral Baru. And then everything else that happens after this. We're not doing sponsored, no. It's not a sponsored stream. Oh god. Oh god, there's too much text. Oh god, chat. I'm I'm being destroyed by my own text. What a way to go. Alright, let's see if this works. Did that work? Did that work? Dude, it totally worked. Button. I love buttons. Buttons are the best. I love buttons. All right, now I can take that and I can copy pasta that all the way over to here. Boop. And I can save it. Let me get rid of this. I wish there was a button like that for YouTube, but YouTube doesn't have an API endpoint for that. And it makes me upset in my bones. Democracy. Actually, it's got to be like democracy and hell divers. There we go on YouTube. There we go. Hell divers. See darkness in Thor? I know you will see darkness in Thor. I need to run all my VM shit. It's not even a VM. I have to run my other machine. It's it's not even it's not a virtual machine. It's a physical I have to run my physical machine shit. One moment. Physical machine shit time. Uh, where are you? Okay, it's mostly working. Eh? Eh? I saw you run some weird end protect shit. I saw that. Is it working? Glad that shit's not on my main computer. Boop. Oh, why are there so many weird lines? All right. Video game. The sound is up. Super Earth. Our home. Prosperity. Liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy. Our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom doesn't come free. No! Sweet liberty! No! Invasion. <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all... Sweet liberty. Bar, are you there? I can't hear you. Oh, I can hear you now. Let's see if Discord can come through. Chat, can you hear Baru now? Well, it'd be really good if you said something after I said that, Baru. You're being trolled, Chet. Uh, there we go. Wait, are you talking? Yes. Yes, I, I am. I can't hear you. I oh, see he can't you lighting hear me. up, but I can't hear you. <laughs> this is probably on my end. It usually is. One moment. <laughs> oh, it's even better. Great. Are you there? 
Bottom. Okay, let's, let's try now. Uh, can you hear me now? Yeah, there we go. You you missed the most glorious unintentional troll that you've ever performed. You'll have nice. to watch. You'll have to watch the vod. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, I don't know what I did, but hell I, yeah. I I told you I was like, hey, can you say something so I can make sure that the chat can hear you? And then you just were silent because you couldn't hear me. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh. Uh, it's a true troll. So I'm level 30 uh, now, and I, I am not addicted. You're level, you're level 30? I'm, I'm not addicted mine. at all. I'm, I just hit 15 yesterday. I need to add you to my friends on here. Where oh, is that we? how this works in here? Yeah, we need to be friends. We got to be friends. Okay, you have to friend understandable. Me. I'm going to generate oh. a friend code for you. There it is. Look at it. Quick, do it before all of the internet does. Oh, wait, we have to be friends on Steam. No, we got to be like friends in game. Game do we? Because I see my I see my actual friends list oh. on Steam. Yeah, I see my I see my Steam friends. Do I have you on Steam? Oh, we don't. We are not Steam friends. Make oh god, there's 170 requests. Please quickly. Oh, uh, add me quick. Quick before it, it. before the number increases. Oh, all right. I gotta sign in. Oh god. Then this is of the oh. I... oh Bezos I... is here. He's excited. It's fine. Okay, that's my friend code. <laughs> on Steam. Okay. Unless you have yours for me. I'm trying to figure out how I do a friend code. Add friend. I have entered your friend code. Nice. Do you have anyone else to join? I failed to send invitation. Please retry. Oh. Um. Here's here's my friend code. I can add your friend code. I see it. Does it work? You're an eyeball, right? I am an eyeball. That is true. Nice. All right, okay. I've added the I've added the floating eyeball. Okay, I am I am clicking on your name and confirming. I think it worked. I think it did too. So now I need to find you and my friends. We're good at yeah. the internet, right? Yeah. By the way, do you do we do you have two more slots cuz I might have two more people who might want to join in. We should. I don't know if anybody's immediately joined my game or not. Okay. Uh, invite to game. Bahru. Wait, did you invite me? I did. Allied destroyer See it. has joined squadron. I'm playing game. I'm receiving your data. My data. Uruku, tease us. Has joined squadron. Can you bail so that Baru can bring friends? Welcome aboard, Helldiver. Allied destroyer has left squadron. So, Uruku and Tizas, we will definitely hell dive later on maximum difficulty. Maximum difficulty. I don't know if Baru can survive that. He's level 15. As long as I have a rail, as long as I can scum a rail gun off somebody, I can handle it. Rail guns? I was doing it. Yeah. Ugh. There what's you go. wrong with What's wrong with a rail gun? It has to reload. Allied yeah. What do you use? Arc gun. Arc gun? Yeah. What's that? A big old lightning bolt. Anyway, invite your buddies. I will let them know right now. If not, then. Also, I use a lot of mines. You use that's a mostly, mines? That's mostly for you, not for them. Oh. oh. I don't use landmines most of the time. I use the mines when uh, Sea Dog's in the game because that's funny. He gets very oh, upset. Okay. 
Well, I don't know what they're doing, and I definitely would like to. Maybe we should bring them back in because I don't know what's happening. <laughs> you get me. So I kicked them out. Now you want them back in? You know, bring just them come back, back in. in. Aruku, Aruku and Tizos, come back in. Come back in. So now I'm a jackass. Now I'm a jackass. Aruku, are you there? Allied destroyer has joined squadron. A wolf joined. That's fine. Wolf's one of my moderators. Nice. Failed to join sad. Wait, what do you mean failed to join sad? I'm inviting you. One moment. I'm inviting you. Ah, invite to game. There you go. Took too long. Yeah, I'm here now. Nice. Have you done a uh, Helldiver mission on Helldiver no. difficulty? No, I have not done a Helldive. Would you like your entire ass removed by a large bug? Yes. Okay. That sounds like fun. Is it not working? Is it failed to join? Lame. I can wolf moderate if they're if they're playing. They can't, but there's other mods, so it's fun. Zem underscore official with 1,400 bits said finally have time. some spare funds to support True. less than three if you need a spare. Quite. Diver to spread the good old democracy filled freedom. You let me know, comrade. Much love. Democracy. I'm a little disappointed. Why? Well, I did progress on the creek. You know, I was doing some creek runs and then we lost control of it when I woke up. Ah, geological surveys suck. We're gonna do retrieve valuable data first, because this mission sucks. I like doing the sucky missions first, so the last ones are good. Nice. What's your favorite mission type? Um, the little defensive one. Nice. Okay, so we're going to start up here. And the reason why is because we need to get the encrypted hard drive over to the activated, reactivated power generator. I think yeah. we have to take it there, don't we? Yeah, we have to take it to there, and then we have to go here to upload. Yeah, we have to take we have to take both of these things to this, so we have to touch yeah. these two first. Over here. Why can't they do this? Get in the machine. All right, so we're going to take a 500 kilogram bomb. We're going to take an orbital rail cannon. A shield generator and an arc thrower. Then I'm gonna put stamina enhancement on you. Hey, nice. Aruku got in. Sick. <clears throat> stamina enhancement makes you good. What's a kilogram? Don't worry about it. All right, I got I got 500 of them, and you don't get to know. Yeah, I might bring the auto cannon. That way, I don't have to scum a real gun. Scum a good old auto. Dude, I'm gonna give you all kinds of weapons. Here's your job. Your job is to run. Because on Helldiver mode, we run a lot. I hope you can you run. Can... Yeah. You can like have a lot running. of feats. Also, I have been told to invite you into the hollowed halls of Democracy Room. What's that? I'm inviting you now. Thanks. It's the room where I hang out with all the other nerds that play this. You've been invited. Oh, oh. Democracy. Yeah. Thanks. It's filled with Iron Mouse and Selbit. Thanks. And Rubber Ross, and we play Democracy together. That way you Hell can always yeah. have groups with other large nerds. Sounds awesome. 500 grandmas being unalive. I mean, that is what a kilogram is, right? I don't know. Dude, I don't understand. As soon as you throw in KG, I don't understand. I just like the, I just look for the biggest number, and that just happens to be 500. You know. Get your kit. By the way, have you replaced your buttons with arrow keys yet? Oh yeah, I did that on the first day. Good, proud of you. I I tried using shoe. it for a little bit, and there, there no. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So where are we heading? We're going to that little boy over there, and hopefully we don't die. We will. Nah, but there I won't will be, be that bad. There will be more beyond us. All right, let's see. It's already see, like 
Not if you see like the large line. dick rock, let me know. Because it has the super... Nice. Super samples at the bottom. Oh yeah, this is the lightning gun. Nice. It also has unlimited ammunition and kills tick bugs in two hits. Nice! And never reloads. And never reloads, huh? Yep. Oh, that's pretty good. I like that. Alright. You should start running, by the way. I'm already running. I'm already making it to the objective. Good job. Well, just throw that over there. I'm just throwing a bunch of bombs on the objective. Fair. That seems about right. See, you'll do fine. Yeah. We got mortars coming in. Oh, Are they have mortars on this? Yeah, the tick bugs shoot mortars. Yeah. Nice. Ugh. It's gross. Whoop. I shot myself. That was me. I, I killed myself with that auto cannon. No one makes you bleed your own blood. No one but you. Dude, there's just bug guts everywhere. Yeah, there's going to be a lot more of them. They kind of don't stop, really. I don't like it. Watch this. See that? Yeah. It's gone now. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty good. Space cannon. Good shit. An on-demand railgun. We do love it. Here, let's get this away from us, because it's bad. Go over there. It does a thing called exploding. Oh. Uh. I did the thing again where I shot the autocannon at point-blank range. That's a good idea. I gotta stop doing that. Nah. What was that thing doing over there? Is it dead? I don't really know what's happening with physics right now. Is it alive? It is alive. Well, it's yeah, dead it's, now. It's... Shot him, Morgan. It's all good now. Oh, we have the thing. I got the thing. You got Ladies it. and gentlemen, I have the thing. Okay, what do we do with this thing? Uh, transport it. Okay. I think someone else might want to carry the thing because I have a gun that takes two hands. But that's fine. I have a shitty offhand gun. So I guess that's fine. You really don't want me doing this, though. There. Someone else take the thing. I need to blow up all these holes. Bug outpost spotted. Prepare to exterminate. Wait, do we have to take it all the way to the... Yes. You're kidding. No. Sir? How about a nice cup of liver tea? In we go. Wonderful. Nice. I have a large bomb. Requesting air support. I'm putting it there. In an eagle. We should really take this out. I got a lot of kills. Eagle one, returning to for resupply. Oh shit. Got a lot of samples. I got a lot of bugs. Alright, I'm heading over. I need, I need help, I think. You need help? There's a lot of bugs. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be alright. You gonna be okay? I think so. It's just these little crawly boys, you know? There's a lot of them. Oh, there's a Bile Titan. Ah, he's pretty tall. Damn it. I don't know if that blew it up. It did. Nice. We need grenades in the rest of those holes, and uh, we don't really have any more grenades, so I'm going to do a supply drop. I got it. Nice. Good job. Now abandon that large bug. We don't need to fight those. But anymore. I like them. 
He's my friend. Yeah, but he's not really your friend, you know? Could be, though. I'm trying to shoot all of his bits off, and he's running at me, and he's got big legs. Not a fan. Oh. Well, I'm gonna get out of here. Is that thing still alive? Die. Got him. Got him. We got nice. stalkers. We really need to find this nest now. This will this will wipe us. This is actually dangerous. Is it dangerous? Okay, they're coming from this direction. Go this way. Shit. I got ammo. I put a laser on the big guy. I don't have any. I don't have any grenades. I found it. We need grenades here immediately. All right, I'm coming over. Do I have anything I can do in this? Wait. Eat it. Nice. You got that soccer. It's gonna blow up. I got the last big. I got the big boy. He's gone. I'm getting all these samples. Yeehaw. What's up? I'm headed over to the objective. That's probably a good idea. There might be other stalkers in here, so... I'm just gonna keep looking around. I'm gonna go That's up to good. the north if you wanna... Oh, hey, 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 hey. I found the thing. Found the, the thing? Super samples. Found, something. found the dick rock. I'm absorbing them. The dick rock, dude. Nice. Alright, I got six super samples. We're good. Nice. We gotta go north. Uh, if you wanna come with me to do that while they do the main objective, we don't really wanna have everybody in one location because then the bugs become horrifying on Helldiver. Okay. I'll come with you. I'm heading towards you. Sounds good. Ooh, supplies. Got a sample. What do we got? Requisition chips. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever seen those before. I don't know what that is. That's just credits. Is it? Yeah, it's just mm. credits. Yeah, you find boxes. What flavored chips? Bug. Oh, we got more. We got more up here. Um, I'm gonna do a resupply because I'm out of grenades, man. Come on. Seven seconds. Ugh. You're gonna get yeah. so many levels running with us, dude. Nice. Yeah, it's gonna be sick. You get 250% bonus XP for being in a, a Helldiver mission. Yeah, I was told that you get a lot. Not that oh. one. Damn. You good with grenades. I'm not using a grenade. What were you using? Grenade launcher? Uh, auto cannon. Oh, the auto cannon blows us up? I didn't even know that. Yeah. That is disgustingly awesome. Holy shit. It's much... Had, it, as long as... like it, it sucks to reload the thing, but... But still, I had no idea. You can basically just snipe bug tunnels from a mile away. That's freaking amazing. You know you can shoot the mushrooms from any distance? I don't know what they look like, but yes. Did you just terminate the illegal broadcast by blowing that? Okay. Yeah. You know, I should start running with an auto cannon. That seems yeah, auto ridiculous. Auto cannon's great. It, you just you cut out the middleman for your problems. You know. That's true. You create new problems. Your new problem is simply just reloading. Are they having trouble running that mission over there? Maybe. Are it's they? Probably. It's probably not good. Let's see if there's any supplies in here. If I knew what the bug tunnel looked like, I could or the spore looked like, I could probably shoot it. I don't know what they look like. Let's go straight into the middle and see if we can't find anything out there. Oh, wait. I mean, I see some beams. That looks like extract. Or that looks like the next piece, so we're not going to go there. Uh, I see... I see some little light beams. Or... I see that, too. What I'm worried oh. about is another stalker nest. But it looks like we're good. 
Did that die? Well, if you're gonna have to reinforce him so you guys can stay on that side of the map. We can't reinforce, because we do, then it'll lose it. So we got anything interesting over here. Nice. Sample. Sample's good. Oh, wait, we got a box. Salute! Metals. Hell yeah, metals. Just Free straight up bundle. metals. Yep. You guys doing okay on that side of the map? I'm hoping so. Mm, I'm not seeing anything it, else out here. It's an auto cannon, not an auto cannot. You know, you're tr you're right about that. You're not even wrong. I see some dust over there in the distance. Parking location, southwest. Package acquired. This looks like fog, not like spores, so it's probably not a mushroom. Alright, we can head to the main objective. Hey, you guys have a satellite just below you, just south? Activate that. It'll unlock every one of the nodes on the map. Wait, 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 we got a, we got a base. We got a base. Got a base? Yep. Southwest. Come to you. Oh, wow, that was a big one. Oh, I guess I'll just start plugging the holes. Cool thing about the lightning arc, it hits three enemies every time. The bad thing about the lightning arc is it hits three enemies every time. Including you. In including your friends. We got a lot of We might want to run. I would recommend that. I got a lot of hunters on me. I'm on my way to you. Run my direction. Right, reloading the big gun. I'm gonna drop a big bomb. They deserve it. They've worked so hard. Say hello to democracy. It's good. Nice radar station. All right, let's see what we got. We got a turret up north of us. We should go take that. Abandon this for right now. Oh, I can finish this off real quick. Unless you can finish it, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this one over here. Don't worry about it. I'll do this one on the right. Got, got one more. There we go. How about nice. It? Let's go north. North, heading there. Yeah, we're gonna take that artillery. Oh, that way we can call in the USAF or whatever it is. Yeah. On it. Let's I had go, that go, thing go. have uh, mini nukes first time I used it. Mini nukes are so good. Yeah, I don't remember what it was called. I said USAF, but I think it's US Air Force. I think it's something else. SEAF, is that what it is? There is another stalker. Super Earth Air Force, is that what it is? That's funny. Wait. Dropping package. Getting samples. Package acquired. We got a lot of samples. Rare sample acquired. This is great. Oh, I see mini nukes. Start up the uh, the thing, and I'll start getting these in place. Okay. There's two to the west. There's two mini nukes on the west. In the west. All right. On my way to them. They're both mini nukes. Wait, that's smoke. Is that smoke? Those are smokes. And a static Ew. field. Gross. Oh man, we got three garbage ones. Whatever, we get XP for it. Dropping package. This one's a napalm. Put it in. Close. Put it in. Package acquired. 
Oh, you got it. There's two. We only need one more. Dropping a pin. North. Yes. Uh, activate it. Activate it. We gotta get. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. Okay. Incoming. It's uploading. Requesting orbital strike. Killing the crusher. It's down. It's time to go. All right. Did you guys not collect that encrypted hard drive? All right, we're going to the the hard drive location. God damn it, game. Rude. All of you be gone. Oh, Chuck I got a lot whisper. of stuff on me. It's not looking good. I'm just going to start. Distance. I'm starting to run, you know. Got to get that cardio going, I think. Oh, um, I may have shot you with lightning. I'm on my you way did. back. I need those samples. Here, I'm going to do... Oh, wait. Somebody reinforced oh, you? Got... Guys, yeah. only reinforce your own team. I need him. This is a problem now. Why would you do this? Well, I'm over this... here now. Well, this is bad. gonna drop that bomb. Where did you die? Uh, good question. Moreover, where did I kill you? There. Uh, let's see. Ping I it for can... me if you would. It'll look like a there little vial on the map. Yeah, I got you. I, I pinged it. Thank you. You have a very large enemy here. Yeah, there was a lot chasing me. I was gonna go was like this. I was like tasting freedom and then I was struck down. Ooh, landed it right on him. It's okay, I'm already picking up new rare samples. Getting back to where I was. Okay, did you mark it with green? I think you did. I did. I am green. Aw oh, shit. Did you get it? No. Son of a bitch. Hey, this is bad. I'm coming to you. I, need, I, I really need help. I really, really, really need help. There's a lot of hunters on me, and I'm going to die, I think. I'm coming to you. The hunters are the worst thing in the entire game. Yeah. That's, we why really I need never these take, that's why I never want to take the breaker shotgun off. It's just too good. Okay. I'm on my way back to your dead body. Because I think I've killed most of this. Calling in orbital strike. Wait. Is that is that it? I think I found your corpse. Nice. Just in time for me to create a new corpse. All right, good. This is fine. You know what? Oh. What? So, how's that going? Where's the bile spewer? What? How did he one-shot me with a full shield? Anyway, go pick up my corpse, please. Or summon me you. or something. Heavy, yeah, summon. I... Is that Onigiri? Onigiri, thank you for the writing party of 4,633. Holy shit. Thank you. There's a bile titan. I did not see the bile titan. I've been raided by Onigiri. Nice. My chat is full of Onimart. Nice. Uh, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you for the red. I'm dead. I am so dead. 
Reinforce me before you die. Uh. All right. Where are we? Is my is my corpse nearby? Is that my corpse? No. Oh, we finished the main mission. Wow, this does not kill those. Mm, a good gun. Alright, I'm on my way to my dead body. Nice. I mean, I the some other guy's dead body. It's inside the Bile Titan? Good. Ow. Oh, god damn it. Alright, I have good news. I, found I got your, it. I found your supplies. I have good news. I found everything. Nice. Oh god, there's a shotgun blast to my right. Please don't shoot me. I have your arc thrower now. Please give me my arc throw. Please. My shield. Actually, wait. Idea. Requesting tag pack. Apparently you have a bread recipe oh, that I need to weapon. know about. I do. Um, I taught Onigiri how to make my bread. Nice. I mean, it's I delicious. love bread. It's cheese bread, and I love cheese bread. That sounds, that sounds awesome. It's insane. It's my favorite bread. Wait a minute, is this... Are there mushrooms nearby? Alright, we should probably go to extraction now, because I have a lot of samples. Yeah, we have... We have a lot of samples. We have a lot of samples. We have, and we have all the super samples. I'm getting rid of Bezos. He's been defeated, Chet. I know. By the way, thank you very much, all of you. You're amazing, and thank you for that raid. You are fantastic. You're a fantastic human being. And your community is amazing. Oh, God! Um, so I've got this thing that won't kill it, but will make it really mad. I'm gonna throw that. I also have something that'll make it mad. Well, it's pissed. There. Oh, that's a pretty good one. I like that one, too. I've got another one? Uh, run. Run very far oh, away. Dead. It's a large bomb. Requesting air support. It's not dead. I think it was dead. This is the second one. I don't know anymore. I'm just gonna throw more bombs at it. That works. What are we doing over here? What is this? Oh, we gotta keep well, going is... south. It's extraction time, gentlemen. Ooh, another sample. Rare sample acquired. Ooh, rare one. I've got a lot of samples. So do I. I have all your samples that you were collecting. Very nice. I think I have your samples that you were collecting. Nice. Okay, we're gonna save that artillery, I think. Uh, don't hit that patrol. Let's just run past them. We'll let them be. But, but bugs. Yeah, but the bugs don't give any points. I'm not getting paid to shoot those bugs. Is that for Bile Titans? Yeah, we're on Helldiver mode, which is the highest level difficulty. We're getting paid to escape right now. Whatever all that is, we call that not my problem. Primary objective, secondary objectives, leave. We've done them all. Helldive mode is, mode is fun in Chaos. Dude, it's, I, it's the only way I play the game. Yeah, honestly, this isn't really that bad. It's not bad because we're coordinated. That's the thing. If you if you're uncoordinated in any way on this, you just die. Also, yeah. you haven't gotten to extraction yet. Sometimes it's a four minute extraction. Four minute extraction. Enjoy. That sounds like fun. <laughs> it's something. I, I want to see what like a, a hell dive looks like with the robots. Supposedly, they're going to be adding more difficulty as well. Mord? So there's gonna be a something yeah. above hell dive. Ooh, another sample. Another, yeah. Something above hell dive. I hope that they just call it bullshit. Heavy 
Alright, so let's a humble two minutes. Let's get a bunch of stuff just out. I'm just gonna it's gonna put that over there. Yeah, turrets and whatever. Right? Yeah. Just start just start zapping, you know? Big bow, boy. Ah. Jesus. Mario, you have to stay alive. You have all the samples. Will do. I'm throwing it. Get away from that. Oh. I think it's smoke, though. It's static. Is it static? Not the worst. You know? Oh, Ruku. Get out of there. A yeah, big old static field. Nice. Hey, another sample. So, I don't want to alarm you, but there's even more stuff on top of extraction. Yes, I see. I'm gonna kill that, don't worry about it. It's dead. Nice. There's a few bugs. Shovel's aborting, we gotta get back in there. Alright, it didn't abort. Run to extraction, run to extraction, run to extraction. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, that's too much shit. Drop me. Drop me in. Drop me in. Quick. I believe. Summon me, lads. Calling you summon, in. Summon me. Just trying to get to that extraction safely. Get, get into extraction, quick. I got all the samples. Oh, shit. Get in, get in, get in. Don't wait, don't wait, don't wait. Yeah. There we go. Oh, I was going to get the other two samples, but then there was a large leg in the way. Another victory, but a oh, God. We survived. We survived. By the will of democracy. Bad. That wasn't that bad. Thank you for the raiding party of 23, Mariana. Or Marina, rather. Not Mariana, lol. Oh, wow, that's a lot of objectives. Just wait for it. You're not even I'm ready, ready to see this XP drop. You're not ready for what about is is about to happen. We got two failed to extract. How? They got in, didn't they? Oh, we now missed it. We missed, missed two, missing. two hives. I don't know how they didn't show up on the map. Wait for it. Wait for it. I'm waiting. Wait for. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, dude. <laughs> oh, it's so disgusting. Sixteen hundred XP. That's still, dude, that's a level up every mission for me. Yeah, it is. It's a level up for me right there. Did I'm, you almost got almost, two levels? I almost got two level ups off that. Dude, I'll be 20 in no time. Wait, you can die inside the shuttle? Is that why they died? I think you can die inside the shuttle. Is that new? I don't know. Is that intended? I don't feel like that's intended. Is that intended? Maybe they died as they were getting into the shuttle. I got the most How'd kills and the highest accuracy. Mmm. Good shot. Mmm. Oh, I didn't even check the stats. Those are my favorite. You had the most samples extracted and the most stims used. I am usually the number one drug user. I am just stimming like crazy. You know, you can't feel the pain if you use a stim, so that's fine. All right, I need to upgrade. What am I getting? A jump pack? Eggs. Okay, that's kind of amazing. Eggs are pretty good. We're doing eggs last. Eggs is easy. You can snipe them from miles away, even with a shotgun. 
I know, but eggs. Then you don't make an omelet. I don't like eggs. I don't know about you, but I just do not like eggs. You don't like eggs? No. Not even like chicken eggs? Not even like... They're my people. Like alien? Your people are eggs? Yes. I eat your people for breakfast. I just thought you should know. I understand. Your people are delicious. Hold I don't hold it against you. Also, I unlocked the arc thrower. The arc thrower is amazing. I think you were doing really well with the auto cannon, though. You're winning me over with it. All right, we need to go destroy Rogue Research Station first. Is what I'm thinking. And then we have to sweep straight down. I'll stick with. I'll stick with you. Yeah, I think it's research station first. I like, this, I like this teams of two thing. Teams of two is a really great way to do it, to be honest with you. It's like a really, really good way to handle the maps. Oh wait, that's not what I wanted. Get some stamina, nerds. Your people are delicious with a little salt and pepper. True. And also a little bit of ketchup. I like ketchup on my eggs. Delicious. Did I come around on Helldivers? I did. Because when I first played this, I actually didn't enjoy it. Really? Yeah. I immediately enjoyed it, but also, I hated the anti-chain, so I am running it on a secondary computer and piping it to my main one, so that that computer has to have the kernel level anti-chain. Oh, nice. Oh, Boom. I think I crushed something. Now I definitely crushed something. I found a lot of angry bugs. I'm rail striking that. Just consider it dead. Do you know you have a melee in this game? Yeah. Not very good, but it's there. Oh, it definitely kills things. The little baby bugs. On a big old laser. Got my tack back. Getting my lightning in a moment. Come on. Yes. Zap it. All right. Uh, we got our artillery here. Let's get it. Right, where are you at? I'm heading over Art to you. Artillerizing. Got explosives. What? Oh. We're going. Oh, wait. I have napalm now. I'll get the control. Alright. I'll get the bombs. The yellow ones can be nukes. They can also be smoke. Which is useless. Oh. Well, that's bad. I don't feel like that's a good thing to have, you know. Hold on, I got this. I got him. I'm gonna probably throw a bomb on this. Actually, do you have that dude? Is he dead? Hey, run. Everyone run away. That's probably right. Ah, uh, he's still alive. He's still alive, man. Yeah, he's still they don't build gigantic 500 kilogram bombs like they used to. There's actually two of them now. Oh, so it cost him to replicate. That's always good. Yeah. We've got a lot okay, of bugs. Now he's dead. We're having a bug problem. Hmm. He'll never be the head of a major corporation. no way to get ahead in life. Package. Package. 
All right. Oh. We got another one. I don't really like him. I'm gonna try and shoot his armor off of his side. Nice. There we go, he's blacked. That's why I like the lightning. We should probably get going. There we go. Just keep deflecting off this guy. That's why I like the railgun. Shoot right through that. Oh, there was a mini nuke. We missed the mini. Nah. I got killed. We got bug, bug breach. It's okay. Just you call me in. I don't need my auto cannon right now. All right. Oh, I got called in. I don't know where I called you in. You appeared somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. We gotta do two person door. Two person door. Join me. Ah! Go away. No. Oh, God, there was a second one. It killed the other one. Shit. Shit. Please kill that. Ow. I killed myself. It's okay. You call me in, I'll be next I'm, to you. I'm, I'm full of pain. Pain is everywhere. The pain is enormous. Alright. I'm heading towards you. I think. I see this two-person door. Alright, I think we're good. Yeah, touch All the right. thing. I'm gonna touch I'm the coming. other thing. Please hurry. Please hurry. Please hurry. We're pursuing hurry. the other one. You can, you can let go of it now. The moment it turns green, you're good. Get the stuff. Oh, there's a sniper in there. Nice. I like sniper. Sniper's fun. Ooh, grenades. Say hello to democracy. Sending in an eagle. Heavy north on my position. Um. Yes. Did you die? Yeah, you got me with that one. Calling in reinforcements. There. I'm marking him. Heavy. Land. I'm gonna have most deaths. I'm gonna tell you that now. That's fine. At least you're number one in something. Damn. See? It's all about perspective. I don't know what that is, but it's glowing. And I don't like it. There's some kind of large Jesus. bullshit up ahead. Oh, it's full of shit. It's not good. There's a large man on his way. He wants to uh, 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 eat me. I don't want to get eaten. No, I don't want to salute. God damn it. <laughs> I'm like trying to give myself salute. a statement. I'm saluting. Oh, why is it after me? Anyway, so. This is an interesting shit show. There's a lot of bugs. There's a lot of bugs. I'm out of gun bullets. Oh, hey. What are we doing over here? I don't know, but there's a nest, and we should blow it up. Bug out post spotted. That's super credit. Nice. Oh my freaking god. I'd really like to not die. I hate hunters. I hate oh, hunters. I'm dying hunters. for you. I hate hunters. I hate hunters. It's a stalker, that's why. Oh, god damn it. My life for Super Earth. It's a stalker. We got a stalker nest nearby. I don't know where. Now, one of those down. Heavy bug nest eradicated. We got stalkers somewhere nearby, and I don't know where. 
I see one over here. Shit. Oh, we got it. Stalker layer. Nice. Very nice. I see the actual stalker, though. I'd love to, but there's a, a big bitch in my way. It's dead now. Ow! My organs are falling out of my body. Please help me. He's large. Reloading. Oh my god, he just won't stop. Oh my god, there's two of them. And there's two bug boys. I'm zapping him. Oh, bio bugs. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Okay, hold up. Where are we at? We're going the wrong way. We need to go down there. I'm following you. All right, I think we've stabilized. We gotta start moving. We got 30 minutes. There's a lot of democracy going on, though, as you can see. Yeah, it's quite a bit. It's a pretty good time. Looks like Aruku's over there taking the tower thing. I'm gonna get this auto cannon. Aruku's doing a solo mission. Uh, likely we've pulled all of the bugs in the map near us. There. Look at that. There was a nest here. Good. I think we should loop around and go and look at whatever that is. Oh, we got the super samples at some point. Someone's got them. Definitely isn't me. I hope it's not Wolf. This wolf is covered in things. Oh, we need to head south. I want to help Wolf out. So I'm going to do this. That seems like it'll help. Nice. I don't think that killed anything. But I like to imagine it did. Alright, there's some kind of a mini base here. that they run at you with no head. Alright, I want to see what's in this little mini base over here. I've never seen this, like, building, or this structure kind before. Nice. I'm doing the probe over here. Oh, it's a pod. Someone already got the pod. Great. Wonderful. I'm gonna take out this nest. Or is that a nest? No, those are just above ground. Above ground rifts. Not great. Ugh. Hate him. Oh, hey, there's a pot over here. Do you have anything cool, Pod? Nope. Rude. Really? He didn't die after all that. Shotgun to the face, doesn't die. Ridiculous. We got a nest over here. Parking location, south. Bug out post spotted. Requesting orbital strike. Rare sample acquired. Requesting advanced weaponry. That should kill it. Wait. Sending in an eagle. Sending in an eagle. Ah, B three. I need help up here. Be there in a second. Nice. Helping Wolf with this Titan. Alright, it's dead. Coming over to you. Oh, shit. Why is it always going to be hunters, man? Because they love you. I hate them. Last reload. 
but they love you. I need stims. Accept their love. I'm out of stims. I'm out of stims. Jesus, actual Christ. Oh, God. Please help me. Mother, mother, I'm running I'm to you. Oh, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. I'm, I'm in a lot of pain. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so dead. Where am I? Oh, God. You're not dead. Oh, God. Oh, I'm so dead. Stim me. Stim me, please. Just press E on my horrible corpse. Yes. Oh, God. You're beautiful. I'm being dragged. I'm being the physics. The physics, Maru. I somehow lived. <laughs> Holy actual shit. Uh, so anyway, I started running. There's another big one. Do we have any, like, railgun cannon stuff? Anything? Space bullshit? Uh, I got this. Whatever it is, I'm sure it'll work. Going down a support weapon. Big laser. Why are there so many hunters? I don't know. I'm running out of ammo. I need a resupply. I'm running out of targets. Boop. You just almost blat me. Ow. That's fine. I didn't need that blood. The blood was holding me back. Ooh. He dead? dead? No. I can't. I can't hit him. There we go. Because it'll hit you. There he's dead. There we go. God, that thing is awful. Oh god. I think, I think we're winning. Are we? Oh, we got a radar. I'm, gonna... I'm calling a resupply. I need ammo. Please. I was out of ammo like 50 years ago, so. Ow. God damn it. No. Oh my god, a resupply. I'm dying again. Ah! Oh god. Oh god. Well, at least oh. I have ammo now. Oh Jesus Christ. It's a bile. I'm out of everything. I'm out of all of it. I'm so dead. <laughs> oh, it's everything I wanted and more. Hi. I'm a totally new Helldiver now. In a moment, anyway. Did you get me up? Yeah. Ooh. Calling in reinforcements. Land on him. Uh, mark him, mark him, mark him with the Q. Heavy, reinforcements on the way. What's up? Ooh. Nice. Democracy has landed. Hey man, democracy's landed? I thought you should know. Thank you. Oh. I need to get my Someone. stuff. Oh. Someone has a railgun here. I'm gonna acquire it. My my stuff is under this bug. Oh, that that's probably good physics. Well, that's part of my stuff. I think the other part of my stuff is all the way over here. Not in the samples. Hard thrower. Is this your shield generator? Probably, but I have one now, so 
It's yours now. Nice. We should probably go up here and help Aruku. Yeah, we should. Let's go. I think we've gotten all of the side of objective objectives on this map. Pretty sure. We had to have at this point. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, the map looks pretty clean. It looked pretty gray. We're doing it. It's gonna shoot lightning into the middle distance. Nice. I feel much more confident with this this rail gun. Hold on, let me set oh, that need, to unsafe mode. I need to fix something real fast. So that Bezos doesn't try to invade my home. There we go. Bezos ad man is gone now, Chad. You're safe. Thank you for the sub, by the way. It's very nice of you. Ooh. All right, so there's a lot of bugs. And I have unlimited ammunition. But I hate hunters. Oh, my God. Trying to break his armor off. He's gro oh wait, did that just zap into you? Yes, but it's okay, I had a shield. That's fine. He's so far away. I just want to shoot him. Well, that's working. Definitely don't shoot the lightning in the direction of Baru. You're going to kill him. Actually, I have an idea. He's very weak. Don't He's about to die. Don't don't even look at him. It's it's disgusting, really. Yeah, oh. there we go. Oh. I'm throwing a resupply. I'm throwing a very large bomb. It bounced. Run away. I don't know where that landed. Well, it killed a lot of stuff, so good bounce. Totally intended. Where are we even going? Oh, this is the location we're supposed to be in. Ah, shit. You ever just forget to reload your shotgun? No. Oh. Okay, yeah, me neither. I suffer from reloaditis. I reload every two seconds and run out of ammo. That's not good. I know, it's terrible. Reloading. That's really not good. Reloaditis leads to death. You know that, right? It leads to a lack of ammo, which then leads to death. True. Okay, so extraction is available, and I feel like we should do that. Southeast. Yeah, we should. It's a lot oh of my bugs god, look there. at how many bugs there are. I think I pushed him off. I'm right there with you. There's a big bug behind us. Like how big? Oh, like that big. Like the biggest, okay. you know? Let's get out of here. Oh, I didn't need those bones. They were holding me back. I can't feel them anymore anyway, it's fun. Heavy northwest, 50 meters. There we go. Zap those two. Don't like you, don't like you, don't like any of you. I hate hunters. Alright, so I'm gonna keep running. Ow. This is this is fine. All of this is fine. I don't even know if I have samples. I just know I want to live. Throwing grenade. Eat a grenade. There we go. I'll never get ahead in life. Whoa. Hey, there's a... Uh, there's spots to destroy over here. And I have two grenades. Unfortunately. 
Before we end, we should probably do this. You might want to help kill these. Because it's worth a lot of points. Ah, uh, Bile Titan just showed up. God damn it. There's two Bile Titans on this thing that you want to destroy. Thought I'd let you know. Uh, you know. I have no grenades, unfortunately. Where's my secondary weapon? You know what? I don't like you. Oh god, that's a Bile Titan. Okay. Eat it. Eat a laser from space. Oh god. Did that work? Is it dead? Requesting air support. Requesting air support. Eagle One leaving combat zone to resupply. Heavy, wet. Throwing supply beacon. Requesting orbital. I'm heading towards extraction. I'm heading towards this. This is a bad idea. I feel like I need more bombs. I don't even know how I'm surviving right now. I don't know either. You got a lot going on by you right now. There's a lot of bullshit happening. Did you guys use a walking artillery? Like, what was that? Someone did, yeah. It was a walking one. Can, uh... Can you guys bring some grenades? Bring nades. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. I'm bringing a grenade right now. I just want to kill this nest, because the nest is worth a lot of points. Yep. And I like points. I love points, too. There's one. Okay, got it. You got it? Yep. Yeah, points. Get out of here. Let's get the hell out of here. I agree. I'm going to die to your gun, I think. Run. Well, this is bad. Jesus. That's fine. That's fine. We didn't... We didn't need... We didn't need any of that. Any, oh, God. Wolf came back in with six super samples and just died? We need those. Yeah, we need those. That's I'm really... Going before. Really bad. Oh dear. Calling in reinforcements. Heavy northwest. Close. Jesus Christ, dude. How many of these bastards are there? They're so Alive. small. It's just the white ones. The little hunters. They're the worst. There's so many of them. Oh, did you guys pick them up? Looks like you got them. Did we get him? Yeah, Aruku got him. Nice. So I think it's time to leave. Uh, He's probably done. I kind of agree. I think so. We got all the points. All the dudes are dead. We've been invited over for bugs dinner. Faster than we can kill them. Eh, we don't need to kill them. You just need to run faster. What is this? Oh, it's one of these. Where is he? Rare sample acquired. I'm out. Got him. Yes, yeah, punch him. Let's punch him to death. sample right here. That's good. Oh, my bones. It's fine. I got new bones. 
Um, that's, he's bringing it with us. I don't know what it is. I'm running away from it. It's large and red. I don't know what that just was. Uh, you got things behind you. Uh, I got things in front of me, too. Look out, Boro. Oh, him? Oh, God. Give him a hug. We have a problem. We have a few problems. Yeah, those problems have a lot of legs. You know, no matter how bad the situation feels, this music can always happy. get worse. Oh God, he's big. Hey, right, twenty seconds. Oh, I almost died. Wolf, run. We have to defend the extraction zone. I tried to kite it away. This is it. Run back in. It's coming. I'm coming. Don't get crushed. Don't get crushed. And they can crush the bile thing. Aruku is the uh, VIP. Aruku, go, go, go. Get in, 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 in. Hey, we made it all. I think we survived. I think we survived. And we got all the samples. I think we did it. I think we did it. Apparently, bile titans are only medium-sized bugs compared to the home planet. Oh. They you know, get I, bigger. Be I bet they want to they give us those gigantic robots. We'll probably fight whatever's bigger than a bile titan, because they just can't keep it as a bile titan at that point, right? Yeah. Like, once it's it's just escalation, you know? Oh, we're going to see a, the max XP drop here? No. Oh, we missed a few. We missed a few. Yeah. There's a couple of those, man. Still, that's a lot of that's a lot of bonus. This is gonna be huge. It's, it's, it's still gonna be good. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's still another seventeen hundred XP, but it could have been eighteen hundred. Soon we'll be fighting the concept of space itself. If the concept of space doesn't have democracy, we have to protect our way of life. All right. Another level. Just three more levels, and I can call in. Just true. Three more levels, and I can call in my own railgun. I can feel safe. In my so home. your voice is amazing. Well, thank you. You're amazing, Danger Noodle. Also, I saw that uh, Champions of Breakfast for Dame. I'll do that after the stream. We're fighting space. Can we also fight time too? Yes. What we got Wolf with all the damage. Damn. That's a lot of damage. Look at that. Shots Wolf fired. Out there killing. He's doing it. He's doing it. He's dude. fragging out. It's killing. I was using I... lightning guns, so the lightning gun kills babies. <sighs> Baby dudes. You and me are tied for most drugs used. I do run a medic, so it's worth. What is this one? It's a scout. It's a very fast scout. Whoa. 550 speed? Hmm... Is a faster scout. It's a 10% bonus instead of a 5% bonus scout. Mm. At page 7. Hmm. I might use that. I don't know. Oh. Champion of the people. The superstore has like a fi uh, 544 speed. Seems pretty good. Now I'm even faster. It's not a medic, though. You will get shot at. Oh. I want to be fast. I want to be fast and heal myself a bunch. Um, I'm running out of stuff to get with credits, man. I have three things left, and then I'm done. What do I do after that? Do I just pile them up and lay on them like a dragon? Yes, you hoard them. I like hoarding. Hoarding is good. 
I need to get this, but I can't get this. I need 80 green. They cap at 50k? Boo. Yeah, they don't want you to be able to just unlock everything as soon as they drop a new patch, you know? Are you ready for eggs? Eggs. Ugh. Eggs. I hate eggs. Yeah, well, you get to blow them up. Engaging orbital thrusters. It'll be totally fine. I... Still not a big fan of them, though. We gotta go to the upload escape pod first, for sure. Eggs. Hmm. I love the stamina boost. Stamina boost is so huge, dude. I run it every mission now for the team. I got In sci-fi, nothing bad has ever you. come from eggs. Chat thinks that eggs are a good thing. You think we should take all of the enemy eggs and bring them into our camp and then sleep for the night? Is that a good idea? Yes. Okay. Good. Good. All right. I'm going to try out this, this arc thrower. All right. All right. Remember that when you are using it, it will shoot through up to three targets and kill your friends even from 10 miles away. So just don't shoot in the direction of your friends, even if they're on the other side of a bug or mini bugs. Sounds but like traitor talk. Get that man. What if there is a bug? Like, let's say there's a bug in front of me. Yes. And then behind you is a bug. I could chain it through your body to kill another bug. That sounds like efficient democracy. I approve it. Did you hear there's a conspiracy theory among the community? What's that? The conspiracy is that High Command is actually sending these bugs to worlds so that those bugs destroy that world. And then we sweep in and kill the bugs so that High Command can have all the resources. Dropping a pin. East. I think that's dissident talk myself. Just saying. So wait, this thing just has infinite ammo? Yeah, it has infinite ammo. Oh, but it also shoots people like Wolf. Didn't happen. Didn't happen. It wasn't me. Hey, look, we got we got Ness, and I think we got mushrooms on this planet. We've definitely got shrooms here. Yeah, I can't see more than two feet in front of me. There's definitely going to be a shroom. That's fine. I can kill the mushroom. I just got to get up high somewhere. Is that it? I think that might be the mushroom. Is that the mushroom? No, it's not a mushroom. Is it? Nope. Just a rock. Where is the mushroom? Oh, I found the eggs. We got eggs. Sending in an eagle. Yeah, this thing's not too bad. It's freaking awesome. Whole, in whole infinite ammo thing is a nice touch. It also rips apart armor. And the chaining really, really works against certain enemy types like the buggos. Man, this is really annoying, though. I don't like hunters ever. I just misunderstood. No, I understand them pretty well. I just hate them. Dead. Something feels so good about the breaker. Just... Just annihilating. I have a bug nest over here, but I'm out of grenades. It feels bad. Huh. Well, this is not good. Do you have any grenades on you? No. But I do have a laser going down on that thing. He's dead now. I have three grenades, actually. Do you need them? Yes. There's a lot of dudes. Oh my god. Stop. 
Stop. That's how I feel about this. I hate them. Alright. Grenade. Oop, don't zap me, please. No zappies. I need that. Did you seriously just zap me? Why? Why would you do this to me? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't think it changed that hard. It changed really hard. If you're if you're shooting in even remotely the direction of your friend, your friend dies. Nice. It changed for like a mile. It's absurd. You'll learn. You'll see. I'm getting the hang of that. Yeah, it's crazy. It's an awesome weapon, but dangerous. The fact that it has infinite ammo is insane. Really nice. Never reloads either. There's still, I think, one more bug now. There is. I don't have oh. any more grenades. But now you have grenades, so it's fine. I mean, yeah, you call me in, I'll have grenades. Here, what I'll, here's what I'll do. I'll actually just mark it, and if you land on it with your pod, it'll die. Oh, I don't have the increased maneuverability. You don't need it. I landed it right on it. Oh, someone else called me. But it's dead now, so we're good. All right. That was a bio titan. I want to find this mushroom. Bad. I don't see the lights, though. Hey, there's a bunch of bio titans down there. You guys should leave. Yeah, I'm trying. Oh, some kind of a weird base. I'm getting out of here. I see a big laser beam. It's probably fine. Uh, there's a lot of bile titans on my body. I hear screaming in the distance. Is is everything okay over there? No. Okay. Well, that's good to know. Thanks for the update. No problem. I see this base, though. That ammunition. Supplies. I think I'm, I think I'm at extraction. I am. Tagging map. East. All right, I'll I'm gonna go. Them a little bit. I'm actually gonna go north since Aruku's going Copy to the east. You want to come with me? Sure. All right. Are you using that robot that has a laser? That thing's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's honestly one of the best weapons because it just goes forever, and you don't even have to do anything. I'm just watching my kill count go up, and I'm running away. I'm still not seeing the mushroom. When you see it, let me know. I want to see it. Wolf just died. I'm going to get him down. I got him. You got him? All right. Wrecking him, dude. At the mid-range, this thing is disgusting. At long yeah. range, it's disgusting. In melee, it sucks. That's what the guard dog's for. True that. It kills you sometimes, too, though. I haven't died to it yet. I watched a guy walk into his own laser the other day off of the guard dog, and it was hilarious, dude. It hit him right in the head. You got anything for that big charger? Uh, I got a solution. And there it is. Solved. Wait, it shot the wrong thing. You know, whatever. Um, yeah, now that calling in reinforcements to me, I think I did. It's okay, it's karma from me came to you earlier. He's trying to land on me. I did. I'm gonna let Wolf handle that. Hey, more V-Bugs. Yeah, that thing is gross.
Damn it. Uh, that was way off from you. <laughs> it like 90 degreed into you. I feel bad. Arma a second time. I thought okay. I was going to hit that rock. That sucks. God damn it. This is fun. Everything is fun. We get a lot of big bugs. I don't like them. Zap. I wish I had more orbital cannon. Yeah. I really do. Oh my, I just saw that whip by my face. Whoa. Reloading. Okay, I'm going to try and get the samples that are down here. I don't know if we got them already. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Nice. I popped its butt off. Dude, it's dead. We got this. Yeah, like a full clip of Breaker in melee against the butt of those things kills a Crusher. Yee. Uh. Oh, Stalker Lair. Nice. Nice kill. Ooh, rare samples. Really, I really don't like Stalkers. I still haven't actually seen a Stalker. Well, you can't. They're invisible, so... Well, it's got a bar for the course. Alright. I... We need resupply, actually. Ah! I got our orbital rail cannon up. Oh, god damn it. Uh, That's probably bad. Oh. Where the fuck is that laser going? You know, around. Dodging your, your laser here. It's not my laser. Oh, man. Well, I got a good portion of the eggs. Alright. I've got a 500 kilogram bomb. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna chuck it. Sending in an eagle! Um, it's, inside the... Oh. It's... Yeah. The bomb's Fine. in there. Okay. I'm gonna It'll probably away. do the job. It didn't do the job. It didn't do the job. That's really surprising, no, actually. Now I gotta go in and clean up seven eight. I'll do it. If you wanna, if you wanna pop the uh, the holes, in, how did that not break that? What the hell? Ridiculous, really. You got a grenade? Good. I think. I think we're almost done. There's a couple more holes. Do you get anything for actually breaking yeah, all do. the holes? Oh, you do? Yeah, yeah. You get points. They count as a nest. I didn't know they counted as a nest. Yeah, there's another one over here. I got this one. Fire in the hole! I think it also reduces the bullshit we have to deal with during extraction. Oh, there's more over here. Tagging location. Northwest. Reinforcing! Haruku dying is probably not the best. I'm waiting on resupply so I can break these. Yeah. I got this one. Yeah, I got the next. Goodbye. Nice. There's got to be more in here. Oh. All right. Well. Requesting orbital strike. Oh. Feels good. Jesus Christ. Why? I 
No, come on. Oh my god. I hate them. I hate them so much. I gotta escape. I gotta escape. 500 kilogram bomb is 1 million... No, 1,102 pounds. I was gonna say that. It's not a million. But no, you're right. 1,000 pound bomb, dude. Well, I'm out of grenades once again. Well... And I have a, I have a bug hive. I feel like right we should here. go get the last Take eggs. Down, There's also a, a nest down there that's really spooky. A stalker nest. Mm. Stalker's bad, you know. Eat it. Shoot the nuke? I'm nuke are you talking about? Oh. Requesting air support. It's gonna It's gonna do one of those. Ah, that works. Cool. He's dead. I got rid of the bile titan, it's fine. Nice. I'm going on a little adventure. Democracy. Sending in an eagle. Is this the new Deep Rot Galactic DLC? Yeah, it's bug edition. Even more bug. We decided to stop digging underground and we just, you know, we fight them on the surface. Oh. Marking location. Never mind. Southwest. <laughs> I love cooking Ammo. things at range, you know? So many grenades. So many rare resources. Look at the good stuff out here. Oh, I found the dick rock. Found something! Nice. Rare sample acquired. We did it. About another hive. Is that a good all in the Gatling thing. I've never seen anyone use it. Yeah, super uranium. It's like normal uranium, but more. We should probably kill this. I'm dropping a resupply. Nice eggs are dead. Um, it's just extraction time. I got a heavy bug nest done. Very nice. I also have, like, a lot of bugs chasing me. Alright, I dropped a resupply for you guys, so grab it. Rail cannon's coming down in one second. I'm gonna save it for extraction. Because extraction is gonna be a bitch. I wish I could trade my super materials for common materials. Oh, you have more supers than you need? I, dude, I have so many super materials, I have like no commons. What difficulty is this? Maximum. Held ever difficulty. And we've cleared the map. We always clear the map. Nice. And we've already won, so we're gonna get all of the medals. Suffering from success? I don't know. I like shoot bug. I like shoot bug oh, get stuff. Wild Titan. Nice. Nice. Look at that nuke. Run lower difficulties for the lower level samples? That would require me to run lower difficulties. Enemy patrol. Oh, I thought a co-op door. Not going to happen. Wait, where are you? I'm on Mark my way it. to you, Bar. On my way, on my way. There's a large bug between you and the edge of the map. Don't kill it. Don't attack it. Don't even look at it. Don't let it smell you. Map, oh, damn it. You pissed off it. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, the door. The door. I'm on it. Had to kill the bug. Anyway. Sorry. Door. Apparently you have to loot these slowly. You just spam click it, it bugs it out. No, it still gives it to you, it just leaves it on the ground as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's fine. Alright. Spam clicking it is. 
I got requisition um, slips. I think we've made a uh, mistake. So we just lost six super samples. Oh, look at my chunks. I got a lot of chunks. Hey, guys, you may want to go where I'm dead. Uh, I, I called you in. You're good. You're coming you in. You in a weird location. Yeah. I'm in a, I'm on a little safety tunnel. There, I'm zapping that. I live in here now. This stupid hunter, like every other thing that attacks me. Where's my stuff? Did you get my stuff? I got, I got, I got your samples. I got your samples. Where's the rest of my stuff? I don't have your samples. You should call me in. I'm calling you in. Legally distinct, totally different person. I'm dead. You should probably pick me up. It was a pretty wet death that time, I think. All hunters. Oh, both got the samples. We're good. Reloading. Hunters are the worst thing in the game. They're fast and new. They're really strong. They can't be stopped. They have just misunderstood. They have multiple attacks. My bones are falling out. God damn it! They don't don't stop. Ugh. I I could fight anything with those. All right, where are we going? We got the samples. We good? Yeah, we're good. I need a gun samples. and a shield. Samples are here. They're with us. And there's some hunters. Please don't engage those. Just, just let them be. Now. They're dead now. Okay, that's fine. Less hunters in the world. I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh. Good. Oh, look at that, another sample. Railgun, shield generator. It's a good time. Resupplies coming up. How long do we have? Two minutes? Not bad. I don't see any enemies. That might Resupplies be fine. coming in a second here, too. I'm covered in blood. That's good, right? Yes. I feel very lubricated. Uh, uh, you should run from that. Run. It seems to have worked. But the thing is not dead. It's dead now. It's so dead that it stopped animating. That's good. God, I hate them. Grenades for all. You'll be missed. Oh, damn it. So this is bad. We need those samples. I only had one rare on me. It's fine. No, 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 no. They dropped the six supers. Oh, shit. Call me in. They got him. They got him. We got to get the extraction bonus. Just call me in. I'll make it. Reinforcing. Calling you in. Falcon 1, preparing to depart. 
I made it. I think we got it. Get in, get in, get in. Baru, go. Baru, I believe. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> I watched you break dance your way in the door, dude. Oh, Just one shit. dive after another. Today you another Absolutely fantastic. Flopping to safety. World's greatest fish. Well yes. done, Bart. Well done. That's a medal in and of itself right there. Joel will be proud. Joel will be proud. Then thank you, Joel. Oh. We missed that. There was a satellite there. Oh. Missed two objectives. Just didn't see him. Too much map. Get a lot of outposts, though. Yeah. Democracy. Yeah, Baro gets a purple liver. I agree with that. If he would have died, it would have been a purple dyer. So, be happy. Only a four star. Yeah, it's kind of rough. 14 medals, though. Worth. <coughs> nice. That's so much stuff. 11 green. Yeah. And yeah. another level up. Just two more missions. Oh, squad impact. Oh, we're liberated. Zero percent. Zero percent, everyone. We've done it. Oh, wait. We're zero percent liberated. Maybe we should move to the other mission because I'm pretty sure this planet is currently regenerating its health faster than we're doing anything. Yeah, we're kind of we're doing democracy wrong, I think, a little bit. We are. We got to go where the main army is. Was I the only one that did finger guns? I'm ashamed of all well of you. Done. I think so. That's shameful. Hell yeah! Look at those. Look at kills. all those deaths. My God, you killed so many. Insane. Yes. Welcome aboard, Helldiver. I have so many points. What do and I use? Most drugs points? used. Yes. Mm, I need one more point for a UAV recon booster. Really? One point? Uh, I, I somehow have now point. unlocked the ability to do hell dives. Yeah. Yeah. So if you do enough of the super high level mission, every time we do three in a row, you get an upgrade. So you've got all your upgrade. You've done nice. it. Congratulations. Congration. Can I join you for the next operation? Our team is full, unfortunately. All right. We have a problem. These are rapidly mm. decreasing. And I have a fear because in two days, our major order goes through. And if they take all of this over, we're going to have to push very hard. Because they'll go back out here and take Angel's Venture and Heath, which is the major order. So, I think what we need to do is go where the main army is. Yeah. So we can keep... Because if we, if we spread ourselves out, they're just going to keep regenerating. I agree. I, I agree. Everyone hit Fenrir. Everyone hit Fenrir. All, we have to all go for Fenrir. It's Fenrir 3 for sure. Ooh. Oh, they that's the options. shittiest of missions. We don't want that one. What was the combination? I got to know. It was the... Uh, you have to get the NPCs to walk through the door and hate oh, God, all of no. life. Eradicate terminated. Hatcheries. Okay, we're gonna do the launch the ICBM first because that one is like five five bitches at the same time. It's not good. The ICBM is rough. The percentage is accurate? Yes, they are. FTL jump successful. Hellpods prime. Mission coordinates locked. Oddly enough, people are still fighting the automatons, and I don't know why. ICBM is your favorite mission. Mine is defense. Okay, so we need to reactivate the power generator, but we need to retrieve the launch codes first. We're going to go to destroy rogue station, go up to retrieve launch codes, and then go to the power generator from there. Sounds good. And I think we're good to go. So we're going to pump it right out here so we can get set up and go. All right. Are the DMs organizing the enemy? You mean the DM. His name is Joel, and he organizes all of the game. As such, he's creating conflict. We can't just win. Joel is the DM. He creates the game for us to play. 
Praise Joel. Joel is fantastic. Joel wants good you job. to have a good time, but he doesn't want you to have an easy time. And that makes it I like more Joel. fun. I like Joel, too. Joel's nice. Joel's good shit. I'm gonna land on this rock. For nice. democracy. Uh, we got a mushroom? Yeah, there's a mushroom on this map, for sure. I immediately have a charger on me. Oh, God damn it. I'm just gonna kill that. There. It's dead now. Just ignore it. Don't even look at it. It's depressing. Oh, my bones. Oh, God, the bonitis. Oh, my God. I can actually see on this map. Feels good. Yeah, see, there's a mushroom way out there. See that one way out there? If you can see it, you can actually shoot it. So, I'm just gonna keep doing that until it dies, because it will. Wait, that thing? Yeah, it looks like a mushroom way out there in the middle. See that thing? Pretty sure that's the mushroom. If you have a railgun, it'd probably be easier. It'd be great if I wasn't just getting blomped around for no reason. No way that works, wanna bet? I've done it a billion times. It'd be great if I wasn't covered in ticks, but, like, it would work otherwise. You know what? Enough of this. That's fine. Worth. Can you get me back up? Yeah, I got you. Got him. Punch right through his body. That's kind of a cool way to die. Nice. Get me out again. I am a bullet. I am a bullet. Alright, go get him. Mark him, please. Oh, you guys reinforced me in the dumbest way possible. Why'd you do that? Reinforce me inside of the enemy. Again. Again. Make me the gun. Please. All right, now I want to show them that I can destroy this mushroom. Don't touch the mushroom. I'll show you. I'm just gonna run past all this shit. I'm gonna break my bones. I'm gonna stim myself. It's fine. There, fine. That one's dead. I don't want to think about you. Get away from me. Oh my god. done this before. Nice. I wonder if there is a distance. Really? Really? I hate them all. Oh my god. Hunters. They love you though. Ah, oh, god. So anyway, I want to destroy this mushroom, but there's too much shit going on, so I'm just going to run at it while shooting. I have to, it's, it's like a feud now. Did you just zap me with lightning? Jesus Christ. No. Yes. Yes. No. 90% of my HP disappeared and there was lightning coming out of my ass. Coincidence. Are you lying? I feel like you're lying to me. Just a coincidence. Look out, folks, buddy. Yeah, I found some greens. I got some blues. Or oranges, whatever they are. Oh, great. There's another one. You know... I'm starting to think this game doesn't want me to play it. I'm upset about this. Joel, I thought we were friends. What happened? Hey, look! It worked! Give praise, Joel. It's dead now. You can shoot him from really far away, by the way. Like, crazy far. Yeah. The sh yes, it works. Shoot it. If you can see it, you can shoot it. It is great. Mushroom Zero, Thor One. I I'm running away. I don't even know what's All going right, on. Cool. There's a lot of dudes. I think there's another mushroom. I know there's another mushroom. I can smell it. I've got mushrooms. What's the range on this arc thrower? Very far. 
I'm being chased um, by a whole Bugman army. But I'm after that mushroom. I'm going on a suicide mission. Oh, call me in with you. All right. Calling Off we go. There's got to be a mushroom oh, here somewhere. Someone else got me. Oh, well. Goodbye, friend. Oh, my God. Where I'm did you gonna, call me in at? In an oh, no. I'm throwing a bomb in there. Rude. Jesus. Well, I mostly destroyed that nest. I'm just running through. Reloading. Call me in, Pyre. I got some Overwatch going on. Let's see. We're next to the extraction. This is fun. God, I love this gun. Um. Hi. Are you able to call me in? Yeah. Well, if I have hands. There you go. Here, land on that guy over there. Yeehaw. You, you're gross. Oh, punching that was probably a bad idea. It burst all over my body. Rare sample acquired. Ow, I broke my arm. It's all better now. It's fine. I put bone juice in. Stim it, and you're good. Yeah, bone juice. Hmm. I'm really good at pressing buttons. I got the terminal. Oh god. Oh. Is that not correct? Oh, we have to do the thing. We did it. Mr. Silo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why did you blow me up? Why would you do that? Why did you... We were friends. You gonna you gonna summon me, Wolf? Calling in reinforcements. I feel like I feel like getting summoned would be a good idea. No. There we go. Mission map Reporting to the front. Sending in an eagle. Oh my shit! Requesting orbital strike. Dude, yeah. I die within like two seconds. That's a pretty good lifetime, to be honest with you. Two seconds. I like that you threw me into the bugs, not on top of the rock of safety that you're on. Well, I mean, you know, I gotta draw them away from me somehow, right? Oh, okay. Jesus. It's like shooting bugs in a barrel. Oh, God. I'm gonna throw a big old bomb on that. What the? Oh, God. Oh. Wish I had bones. I wish I had bones. I don't feel like this mission is going well. It's not, but don't think about it. All right, killed it for you. What is it? Um, I punched that and it exploded, killing me. I don't really know what happened there. I, I honestly have no idea what just happened. Killed by unknown. Point me nice. to the enemy. Well, enemy. you have the high ground, so... Unfortunate. I can't get up there. No. I need I need actual weaponry. I've just been chain dying. Same. And my arc throw is on a two-minute cooldown. Yeah. Well... You want to go take out that bug nest? I kind of do. I have grenades. I have four grenades. Join me for grenading. 
Oh look, the there's one. a Bile Titan. Horrifying. Rare sample acquired. Injury? What injury? No injury for me. You know, I shot your head off. You should die. It's only fair. So I used all my grenades and we still have bug holes. Yeah, so did I. You ready to die? Uh I know. <laughs> It's just a bunch of hunters, you know. I was full of bug parts. Oh, land on that. I'm gonna land on that. I'm gonna try. I'm not gonna make it. Oh, I missed it barely. God damn it. It's fine though. We're we're succeeding. Somehow, somehow we're succeeding. Yes, the ICBM is ready to launch. This is fine. Maybe we've been distracting all of the bugs. I feel like that should blow it up, right? Fire in the hole! I'm ready to be called in. Package acquired. Dropping package. I'm bringing you in. I got the bug nest down. Package acquired. Dropping package. I'm bringing all these bugs to the ICBM. That's a good idea, right? Yes. This is a good idea, right, guys? Yes. Requesting air support. Package acquired. Dropping package. Unlock all the things. Unlocking all the things. Unlocking all the things. You can unlock them early. Well. I got good news and bad news. Give me the good news first. Calling I killed like three bugs. Now don't give me the bad news. Okay. Perfect. Don't you move. God damn it. Oh. Okay. The bad news has arrived. I want I told you not to tell me the bad news. This this one's on you, bud. Well, for better or for worse, the bad news is here. Hmm. I choose simply not to look at it. Give me my shield, please. Yes. Yes. Is that dead and wiggling? What does it do? Oh, God. You know, this is probably for the best. This is fine. Down it goes. Good old zappy boy. Hey, you gotta lock in the coordinates of the terminal, man. Where's the terminal, Ew. man? Oh, there it is. It's gonna... Alright. Yeah, this is fun. Hey, wait, let me do it. Oh, you got it. Okay, I think this is the last step of the mission, but everybody come out here. We have to salute. It's important. When the missile fires, we have to salute. It is, it is tradition. You must salute the missile, Chet. 
This is a good missile saluting spot, I think. I'm saluting. A little bit. Shit. Calling in reinforcements. Fire it. Fire the missile. You have to launch it. We gotta use the thing. Launch the missile. Have a taste of democracy. It doesn't matter if we live, it just matters if it launches. Yeah, there's this like is, this is bad. Five acid boys on top Falling of in reinforcements. Yeah, I'm shooting them all. I'm sorry, I have to do this. Don't get near that. Wolf, you're an insane person. Salute the missile. Salute the missile. I'm kind of saluting. You've done your duty. You may extract with honor. There it goes. There it goes. For oh, democracy. There it is. Come on. Yes. Yeah. There we go. That's how you know the democracy is working. Ready for the shockwave? Anyway, let's get out of here. This place sucks. It does. And we blew up the name, like so, it. you know, I don't really want to be here anymore. Democracy. See, chat? That's the power of democracy. Right there. Yeah, freedom. Look at all that freedom. The nice, soft glow of freedom on the horizon. I love it. Happy birthday. How dare you? It's not my birthday. I can't believe we did all that with 22 minutes left. Yeah, it's kind of surprising. Yeah, but we've got like very few reinforcements, I think is the big problem. We've still got a whole yeah, extraction to do. I ate most of those, I'm going to be honest. I did too. I was a bullet. Six ads is six times the democracy? Yes, it is. Pretty sure it's my birthday today? No, I think I would know. If oh, it happy was birthday, mine. dude. It's not my birthday, no. Don't you start. Happy birthday to Thor. No. No. Why? You could be any other way. You choose to be like this. One of the goblins. I'll make sure to bring a cake. I'm gonna All make right. you eggs. That's, oh you god! Oh, I would. Oh I would, my! I would How many artillery strikes they sent in? Yes. That many. How'd you like to taste the freedom? Be gone. That thing's done. The laser is here. <laughs> oh. My bones. Oh god. Oh god, there's another one. I hate when you see the little leg just pop out from the side. 
Get ready for shuttle. Here we go. Extraction. I'm in. Run, Wolf. I'm ready. Hey, I'm gonna throw a, a bomb over there. Don't go to extraction right away. Just, just don't. It's a bad idea. I like how the pelican just doesn't care. Yeah, the pelican does not give a shit. Go, 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 go. In, in, in. Bari, what are you doing? Need my arc thrower. <laughs> Why did you need an arc thrower? You're leaving. I'm saving us money. You know, it's very democratic of you. Say what you can. Is it your birthday? And this news article is wrong. What do you mean it's news article? What news Wait, article birthday? is saying it's my birthday? Wait, your birthday right now? No, it's not. My birthday's in July. We got a lot of What deaths. news article? Link me the news article, you goblins. What have you done? Have you tricked the news into thinking it's my birthday? I mean, it is your birthday. Oh, dude, almost 1,800 there. Who is Jason Thor Hall? Wiki, age, height, net worth, wife, parents, family, and more. He's a video game developer, entrepreneur, and social media influencer who's named for himself in the gaming industry. Where's, where's my birthday on this? No, the date of birth is, is July. It's not July right now. Wait, they think I'm Christian? Religion, Christianity. Nice. They think I'm married. They think my link... What? <laughs> you're not... You're not married to Twitch chat? I'm not married, nor am I Christian. This is not a Christian Minecraft channel, unfortunately. The existence of high casualty missions mm. implies the existence of low casualty missions. Good website. We Very good. Fantastic. I had one of those articles from me as well. I thought my name was Sam because my, my mascot was Sam. So naturally, my name must also be Sam. I love the internet, don't you? Yes. It fills you full of democracy when you think about it, really. Mm-hmm. It's true. I'm going to equip this so I can run fast. I've got the full set now. I look cool. Mmm. Speedy boy. Right. How fast is it? What's its speed rating? 550. 550? Yeah. Mine's only 544. Wolf timed out. Oh no. Oh no. Wolf crashed. He'll be back. And in greater numbers. Yeah, it's 550 movement. It's wildly fast. Let's scout too, so. Reduces range at which enemies can detect the wearer by 30%, and place on the map will generate radar scans every two seconds. I like that. How's the scythe? Have we tried that out? The Laz Scythe, it's really fun, yeah. but it's not good. Oh. I wish it was I wish it was good. Like on lower level missions, awesome. On a mission where you're not surrounded by like a million crushers and like throughput is the only thing that matters, great. Awesome weapon. What about the Liberator Penetrator? That thing is awesome because it's got medium through like medium armor pen, which is good feeling. I have one more upgrade no. to get. Just the orbital. I'll try it out. What about ship modules? What can I do? I need... What is that? Military watchdog groups have called Exploding Shrapnel savage, merciless, and well-suited for spreading democracy. Very nice. Very nice. No, it's the orange thing's always in the higher. I know, it's ridiculous. There's so many rare. They need to have more common, to be honest with you. I, I'm finding that, like, the economy of the resources is very strange. Bacho Grande. Rating with a party of 32. Thank you for that. You're wonderful. More common and lower diff. Yeah, but that's lower diff. Democracy with AOE, yes. I need to get pit, pit crew hazard pay, though. Because reduced I eagle rearm time by 20% is huge. I see what you mean, because I currently have five green and 125 orange. 
Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at, too. Let me just trade them down. If I just break up the rare materials, they should become common. Huh. Right? That's kind of how I felt, too. I was like, just let me turn supers into, like, lower level one. You know? Just break them up. But, but maybe not. Maybe it's fine. Because, like, what happens after I upgrade everything, right? What, what else is there to do? At that point. Spread democracy? True. I'm going to be right back. Give me just a minute. Okay. I'll take a second as well. Liberty's enemies march ever closer. I've returned. <sighs> Are you ready? Greetings, Helldiver. The Galactic War awaits. Did you enjoy eating your birthday cake off camera? How dare you. He's on break as well. Nice. We can do some alerts then. Crusher Crusher with two New Zealand dollars said how do companies decide how much MTCs cost? MTCs? Like what do you mean? MTCs. Unless you're talking about microtransactions. Microtransactions end up coming down to costs. Yeah, MTX. It uh it comes down to what they think people are willing to pay frankly. That's really what it comes down to. And it's kind of weird because largely those will go for more money than the game costs very quickly if people are into it. And um, there's a whole sort of science to figuring out what people are, like what the limit is for low end set like buyers, initial buyers. So you'll usually get a, a purchase that's like $2. $1.99 is usually the entry fee kind of a thing. And then like a $10 one, a $15 one, Maybe a $60 one or a $100 pack. Things like that. Yeah. And it, it just... It's a way to get people engaged with it and make it feel like the barrier is gone and then they go for it. And I don't like any of it, frankly. I think it's gross. Salimus with 500 bits said you said that the reports of your death were greatly exaggerated and that stating otherwise is a traitor to democracy. True. Now I'm not a traitor to democracy. But given the fact that death is not binary, does that mean you did somewhat die and are now a zombie? No. I am trusting but verifying you, given that you stated you are not 100% dead. That sounds How treasonous. How dead are you? 777 happy birthday. Um, I, I think Silimus might be a traitor. Uh, we'll let the Ministry of Truth know. Immediately. Yep. Anuhak underscore Ocean Walker with 777 bits said morning Thor. I have been a hobby level programmer for a long time, C++ cool. being my main tool. 
I want to make a game, I'm slowly plucking away at design and lore for the game which is a 19xx style One, top down two, SHMUP. Three. Me I being a person who puts the cart before One, the carrigan two, looking at engines. Three. Am I crazy for being more interested in frameworks than in actual engines? What major That's differences right. if any lie between engines and frameworks? Thank you One, for being an inspiration. Two, three. I win! One, two, three. I didn't do it fast enough. I win. One, two, three. Wait, I'm just... God damn it, I'm trying to ask the question. Been a happy, happy little programmer for a long time. I'm slowly plucking away at design and lore of the game, which is 19xx style top down shmup. Me being a person who puts the cart before the carriage and looking at engines. Crazy for being more interested in frameworks than in actual engines? No, you're not crazy for that. Frameworks are cool, but remember you have to deal with all of the maintenance regarding putting your game on different platforms if you're just going with framework. Engines largely handle many, many different things for you, and that is a big part of it. Some frameworks are fine, though. There's nothing wrong with that. It's okay to use those types of things if you feel that that tool gives you everything that you need. As long as you do enough research before you dive in, there's no reason you shouldn't choose one. You know? Yeah. XNA framework is great. XNA is phenomenal. One, two, three. Tie! One... Two, three, I win. How did you win? One, two, three. Wait, I didn't I even win. get to I didn't even get to choose. One, two, three. It's not fast enough. God I damn it. I wish it didn't go on, on two. One, two, three. Correct. I win. Wait, One, who's winning? Two, three. Tie. Is it One, my two, character three. saying I win? Oh, One, we have the same two, voice. Three. I win. That's why we have the same voice. I was so confused. I was so confused. The bridge is yours, Hell Diver. Take yes. us to the fight. Baro, you, Lord Baro, are you back? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I am ready. Manage democracy. You ready for manage democracy. I am. Freedom. So what's we the need to kill the breaker and the breaker spray and pray. I don't know because I haven't gotten the spray and pray yet, and I want it. I want it in my bones. It's time to break some eggs. Omelet time. Yeah. We're going all the way out here. Yeah, we're gonna go out here actually. I want to get that illegal broadcast. Come on, come on. Who isn't potted up? Here? Pot up, nerds. What about here? Am I... Can you hear me? One of you has to be inside. Yeah. I have this weird thing that's been happening recently where every single USB port uh, just dies. Really? I don't know why. Yep. I have the same thing, and I think it's... Do you have a stream deck? No. Hmm... It happened after the most recent, um, was it Windows update? Ever since then, never been the same. So, don't update. I see. Have you ever well, read? You've, the already, wait, wait. you've already done it. You've already done the update. You can read the illegal broadcast. Apparently, that does sound does sound like a traitor thing to do. I was gonna say, I got my eye on you, Chet. I got my eye on you. I don't know about that. Which difficulty? Highest. In this house, we only play Helldiver. Only. And we win them all. Okay. Yeah, I think it's treason to read the broadcast. If a squad mate dies during a mission, make sure you pick up their drop samples. There will be time for mourning later. It's true. What I had to tell that's what I had to tell chat is that the the bodies that we're sending down are less valuable than the resources hey guys, we're we, up. we can't read the broadcast it's already been terminated yeah terminated on the way down Yoink.
My shield. That's bad. Zoop. Okay, so we got a lot of dudes. Yeah, we got two Bile Titans right off the bat. We got like three Crushers, too. Hey, we got a Spore Spear done. Zappies. That's a nest that looks like a stalker nest, but I don't know if it is. It might not be. It might just be a baby nest. It's probably dead now. Good. Light bug nest. Hmm. I yeah, I got a bunch of bile titans chasing me right now. Don't worry about them. They're, uh, they're fine. Dropping a pin, northwest. Hate those. Hello, Shay. Okay. Nice double spores down. Dude, I love this new this new suit is great. Yeah? Yeah, I'm just fast. Sending in an eagle. Oh, dude, I'm real fast. I got the rock. Six super samples. Nice. Check out the Bile Titan. Sending in an eagle. I'm throwing bombs and stuff. He's dead. Found something. Passing air support. Bug outpost spotted. Prepare to exterminate. So, funny thing about those little doors, you can blow them open with a grenade. Yeah. Yeah. You see a little blue door. And there we go. Rare sample acquired. It's a flamethrower in there. Ew. Oh, the arc thrower can actually blow those doors open too? Really? That's interesting. Can it? It's kind of nice. Know. Yeah, arc thrower is sick, and dude. I only have two grenades, and there's a lot of nests. Yeah, I'm going with Wolf right now. You're super, super far ahead. I'm fast. Uh, yeah, you are. Heavy, southwest, 50 meters. We got a bad guy out here. I'm too fast for him though, so I'm just gonna leave. Yeehaw! Oh, I found a co-op door. Well, if you can head over here. Nice. That's a way to deal with a charger. God, it feels so good running so fast. I'm so fast. I'm dead. It's ridiculous. Is it that big of a difference? <laughs> it's huge. It's honestly insane. I gotta come see it. I'm just, I'm 10% faster. Like, it's ridiculous. 
I can basically just run all over the map and pick up as many samples as possible while, like, hitting objectives piecemeal. Yeah. Shit. Any other samples around here? No? Alright. Yeah, let's just keep heading north. We got another question mark right here. What's this? Got multiple question marks. Oh, four, more green samples? Yeah, I'm never using another suit of armor. Does art kill eggs? It does. It's just not very good at it. Ooh. Oh shit, stalkers. There's a stalker nest somewhere near me. I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went at all. I'm getting out of here. Dude, I, I have like super samples. 11 greens so far. It's feeling good. Yeah, we gotta break these eggs. Best of luck with that. Hey guys, how's it going? I'm full of stuff. Nice. I got a lot of dudes. Oh shit. Alright, broke that one. Oh my god, that is a lot of bugs. Don't worry about it. You guys got a resupply? Is there any resupply? Oh, we got resupply. I'm gonna put it up here. How many bugs did you bring? All of them. Oh, there's a big one. Oh, there's a stalker on me. Yeah, there's stalkers and stuff. I'm running. It's large. There. I'll just throw that down there. I feel like the 50 kilogram bomb or 500 kilogram bomb should. Oh my god. You know I marked that, right? I didn't realize it was that close to me. <laughs> well, you have grenades now, so that's good. Good sacrifice, soldier. For freedom. Oh, that's not good. I mean, All honestly, right. I'm okay with it because now I have grenades. You. Got him. All right, I'm gonna go back around this way, and maybe that resupply is still up. Where is it? Where's the resupply? Oh God. Well. That sucks. Okay. This is fine. Alright, I got my samples back. Where did those just go? Did you see that? They just flew away. They're just gone. 
Oh, it is dead. Nice. We need resupply, and I know it's around here somewhere, because I spawned it in here. I just don't know where it is. Oh, there we go. It's all over the ground. Found it. Oh, shit. One right here. God, I hate them. Got it. Alright, did we get all this? Is this thing dead? I think it's dead. I'm right, go to the eggs. Actually, I'm gonna go all the way down here and I'm gonna start popping those those nests because I got four grenades now. All right, if you guys get this egg or this egg over here, I will get the eggs down below, and I'll get the nest down there. Run, 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 run. God, I got so much stamina. Wondrous. Alright, here we go. We try and keep them split up. What armor oh, is that? Stalker nest. I think it came from page seven. It makes me fast. What's the stamina from? I'm using the um, booster that gives the whole team more stamina, and I'm using scout armor that has 550 movement speed, and also reduces the, my stamina usage. Basically. It just makes me run forever and very fast. And as you can see, I'm already on the other side of the map. Ooh, stalker lair. Good job. Yeah. Good job. It also makes enemies less likely to see me. There's a radius reduction of like 30%. Hunters don't seem to care about that though. Yeah, hunters are bastards. You know... Eat it. Got it. Nice. Who needs bullets when I got fists? Bug out post spotted. Prepare to exterminate. Throwing grenade. It's one. Need to find ammo. Oh, hey, a supply. Two. How about a Three. nice cup of liver tea? All right, got a medium bug nest down. Start some eggs. God, I love this gun. I don't know who samples these are, but I got them. Okay, next eggs are south. That should be a good spot. Right on the eggs. You nuking some eggs? Nuked a lot of eggs. Mm. Nice. For democracy. Calling I'm getting a resupply out here, by the way. Get out of here. Please tell me there's ammo over here. Uh, I did, I did get ammo. 
We got a resupply for us. We got more samples. Nice. I have a lot of samples. I have an absurd amount of samples. It's kind of disgusting. Oh my god, ammo. Thank you. I don't know if this is going to work. We're going to find out. Wow, that was really awkward shooting. Shit. I need help with the eggs. Throwing grenade! Reloading! Fire in the hole! I got most of the holes closed here, but I need I need more help. Maybe not. Maybe I'll be okay. I just gotta get ten more. Got it. Nice. What is hell divers? This video game. But what is hell diving? Hell diving is when you land on a planet and you kill things. And it's, well, it's hell. What difficulty is this? The highest. You can see the difficulty in the top right corner. Nine. We only play on the highest difficulty. Once they change that. Uh, there's a nest down here I need help with. I don't have any grenades. Coming over. There's bile titans everywhere. Ow. It's gonna melee those to death. I need grenades. Oh, actually, I think I can get grenades here. I think we're good. Okay, I need to find... There's a couple more holes in here. I just don't know where... Wait, I see orange. This is it. You make it look so easy. I play the game a lot. And I enjoy it very much. I'm only level 32, though. You basically Arc have to order. form a kit that allows you to sort of adapt to many situations and know which ones you can win. Did that not break? What the hell? And then try and win it anyway. What? I'm just taking out every bug right now. It feels good. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. Requesting air support. Requesting air support. There, you know, if that doesn't blow it up, I don't know what's gonna. No data, you are moving outside the mission area. Well, it's dead. So that worked, I guess. That was a weird bug. Yeah. Mission at twenty minutes remaining. I'm heading to you. All Wait, right. Thor. I can't find this last. Last what? Last bug hole. I don't know where it is. Wait, found it. We're good. Don't come this way. That'll be fine. Oh, wait. I don't have a grenade. Do it. I don't have one either. Shit. Wait, what wait. do you have? Apparently I missed supplies? I'm just gonna do this. 
I don't know what that just shot. I think it just shot a rock. There. Now we have supplies. I love some. Ow, my, my organs. Okay, I got a grenade. I'm doing it. Oh. Well, there's that. Was that not the last one? I don't think the actual egg nests those count. count. They may not. I don't think I they a, do at all. I found a, a hole in there. They just kept absorbing all of my grenades and didn't care. Damn. Any thoughts on these insects as an insect scientist? Yes. I feel that they need an instant dose of democracy, I think, is what we need. That's the only way. We'll cure them of their affliction. Ooh. I'm heading to it. I found her some metal. Nice. Free metal. Get that metal. For democracy. I mean, that's really what this is all about, you know. Let's get this, this bug nest down. Because we got extraction available, but, like, look at all these bug nests. Down he goes. Do you use light armor? Yes, I do. Mobility is king. Yeah, especially in this game. Where'd they go? Rude. Mag's empty. Ah, oh, shit. New mag. New mag. New mag. Oh, there are some nests over here. We got a bug hole here. You do? I'm heading over. Ending in an eagle. I got a bile titan and a charger coming after me right now. Not a good time. That's probably fine. Where's the last hole here? I don't know where it is. It's hiding. Or was this an egg area? This might have been an egg area. Or it's hiding in here somewhere. Oh well, let's go to extraction. There's a large bug after me. Yeah. Trying to shoot him in the butt. Do extraction. I got a little caught up. Oh. Reinforcing heavy heat on my position. This is not good. Why did all of you die at once? Calling in reinforcement. 
Oh dear, that's why. Throwing supply beacon. Jesus. That was nasty. Good as new. Good as new. Where's the health bar? Bottom left. Requesting orbital strike. Let's zap that one. Oof. And he's down. No. Oh, come on. I got stuck inside of his body. That sucked. That was physics lame, to be honest with you. Can you get me back up? <laughs> Anybody? Boop. Joining the fray. Oh. Can you get me back up again. Also, somebody's got to get my loot. I had six supers on me. <coughs> Let me in. Did you guys go with my stuff? I hope so. Point me to the enemy. Rare sample acquired. You did. Good. Nice. Is there a mushroom out there? Yeehaw! God, I hate hunters. That's democracy. At least there's no water on this planet? True. Go, go. It's time to leave. In, in, in. Nice. Ooh! Feels good. You playing on a VM? No, I'm playing on extra hardware. I'm playing on a completely different machine. For Super Earth. Dude, I've been muted, I think, this entire time. You definitely were. Because I have definitely been talking. <laughs> it's really funny. I was like, what happened to him? He must be really intensely gaming. Oh, dude, we, did we 100% I, mean, I, I mean, I was... Dude, I was gaming out of control dude, there. Dude. I think this is going to be the highest score I've ever gotten. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's a perfect score. Oh, shit. 1844. Oh, shit. That's pretty good. Now for the easy mission. You ready for the easy mission? Oh, I'm ready for the easy mission. Because after the easy mission, I get my railgun. Hmm. I got another level. Nice. You got another level, too. Nice. You'll fail the easy one? Nah. If we fail this mission, we don't deserve to be True. called hell divers. Bring Failing the a defense is very hard. Or wait, am I level 20 now? Oh, man. I can have the railgun. 
Get your rail. Dude, there. look at those kills. Look at those samples. You were the one who picked up my samples, weren't you? I had collected oh, so I, many. Oh no, I found I found like seventeen green samples. Oh, that's beautiful. It was crazy. Yeah, so this is the armor that I'm wearing. It's from page seven, Trailblazer Scout. And if we look at this, it's 550 speed and 125 stamina regen. And I'm using the stamina enhancement uh, booster for the entire team while I'm running that. It's just good. I have it. The rail gun. Nice. It's mine. Dude, I'm, I'm really happy now. I have the rail gun. This is all I've been wanting. Because the only way I've been able to get rail guns up until this point is by taking other people's dead rail guns. You know how to take the safety off, right? Oh, d dude, that's the first thing I do as soon as I spawn in is take the safety off that shit. Fantastic. Because with, with, with like, um, it takes like two or maybe even at most three fully charged unsafe railgun shots, we'll kill a charger straight to the head. You don't even have to break his leg. You just shoot him in the head with unsafe shots. <clears throat> you should hit him from the back. You shoot him in the butt, they die. Shoot him in the butt? Yeah, yeah. I do. I just wait for them to run at me, and then I run around them, and I shoot him in the back with Breaker. Uh, two full clips of Breaker kills him. In the back. So you don't have to spend super ammo. What about here? Yeah, but... Yeah, there's Shoot an external the safety. Where do you think we should go? I think there's good. No, I don't think we should. Uh, I want that and that. And then I want this. And I want that. And I want this. Oh, we need about that. Yeah, what about here? How about over there? EMS Mortar over all? Ah, EMS Mortar's cool. It's a cool one, but yeah. <clears throat> How about here? How about there? Oh, thanks. EMS Mortar is pretty damn sick. Opinions on Enprotect? I don't like Colonel Level Any Treat. So I, I'm running the game on a separate computer and then piping the data over to my primary computer and then piping my data back. In this house, I am the administrator of my machine and no one else can stop me. Getting supply out early. Oh, there's a lot of dudes. a lot of death, you know? Baru, I'm worried about hitting you with lightning. I'm worried about that. <coughs> yeah, no. It's, it's okay. Lightning is just a part of the process. It's part of the experience, right? There's a... Ah... Oh, nice. We get a new borrow. New borrow, everyone. I'm trying to get all the samples. God damn it. Got 
Well, this isn't great. <laughs> There's a lot of Bile Titans. Yeah, there's kind of a lot. We've killed most of the little baby monsters. There's a lot of Titans. Working on them. Ah. So anyway, I started running. I'm right there with you. There's another Bile Titan. Yeah, I'm trying to zap one right now. Oh, he's pissed. You, you got a bug. Shit. Warning, you are leaving the mission area. Reinforcing. Come on, come on, survive. Somehow survived. Don't know how. Triumph for managed democracy, though. Where's the extraction? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna try to activate this. Good luck. Oh, I guess it's just doing. What am I doing? Excellent question. In an eagle. Let's go throw that bomb in the middle of them. That'll be fine, right? Oh, wait, it's leaving. Well, democracy prevails. I thought it was landing in five seconds. Well, no, same. Failed to extract. That's fun. Yeah, I thought it was landing in five seconds. I didn't realize. Why is there screaming? Do you hear that? This is just random guess. screaming. Is that a golden kappa? Golden kappa? I get a golden kappa train. Golden kappa train. Yeah, the nice. new alert system is running too. I made a new system where it shows the levels. It shows the levels on on Twitch, like on my stream. Look at it. So it it we don't have to wait for the UI in the Twitch chat anymore. Look at it go. Oh yeah, let me take a look. It's working. Holy crap! Thank you for all those subs. That is a lot, dude. That is a lot of subs. Your primes do count for it. They do. Yeah, it's just like a big UI. I haven't even done any fanfare on it yet. I want to make it, like, explode and do stuff. We can't tell when it's a golden cap, but did you know that? It's not part of the API. There's no API call to know if it's in, if it's golden or not. That, I wish dude, there that was. Actually that actually looks sick. I'm pretty happy with it. I made it this morning, and then uh, the first train of the day, it was completely broken, and then I fixed it. Nice. And it's working out awesome. I, yeah. I need to copy one of those. It's done through streamer bot. Thing. I can I can show you how I did it. It's pretty easy. But I, I, I just got that. I just got sick of the Twitch interface being slow, so I was like, I'm just gonna build one. Cause then it goes right from the API and we don't have because before it was just dumping in a Discord and I was like, nah. Let's just do it. That's not, it's gotta be on the stream that it's happening on. Yeah. You know? Look at it go. What is going on? The golden Kappa train is going on. It's wild. It's completely insane. You guys are in oh my god, there's so many. There are so Welcome many. The Golden Kappa's last for 24 hours. Thank you for- oh my god. 
There's so many of you. Holy bajolis, dude. Get that golden There's kappa. so many. Oh my god. Hold on, I gotta get my golden kappa. Do you have a golden kappa? No, I I'm, I'm giving mine right now. Oh, oh, you're getting yours. Yes. I'm well, acquiring thank you. I'm giving That's very nice, so Baru. Thank you. I need it. There we go. I've got mine now. That is true. That is. Look, oh my god, it's still going. Look how fast it goes. Cause so like the, the UI is like two levels behind right now for me. But the the on stream UI is perfect. I'm actually gonna try and make it so that it, it actually fills up the bar instead of just sets it to. That'll be the next one. So it like animates smoothly. Oh my thank you very much. Level twelve already. <laughs> the UI on Twitch stream says it's level seven. <laughs> oh god, it's completely broken. It's completely broken. Oh wait, the debt. Oh god. My rage is Aline with 1000 bits said at Parade Software Howdy. I was wondering if you're alright with other developers make references I can to your see the games. Progress. I might I be taking up it. a personal hobby project to try they and make something that gives a love letter to Toontown Online, Corporate Clash and Roguelikes. Because I'm inspired by my modding work. Loads of love, oh, Thor. Loving your you. game by the way. Chat is so nice to me. You guys are outrageous. I got the best damn community I could ever ask for, man. Holy moly. It's level 13. Yeah, look at it go. It's working perfectly. Yo, that's nice. The timer on it is a lie, by the way. <laughs> it just resets to 5 every time it, it detects a level up. <laughs> so it's, it's actually perfectly accurate, but also a ruse. It's quite funny. Oh my god. There's so many. There's so many. The galactic war waits for Liberty is victorious once more. That's so many gifted. Yourself Holy moly. Of great value to the Ministry of Science. Everything serves Liberty. I'm gonna I'm gonna Even do some of my alerts for a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> My Rage is Aline with 600 bits said Yarchir 600. I just wanted to show some support to you, Thor. Love the ferret avatars. How hard was it to get those set up? Very easy, actually. We used a tool called Stream Avatars on on uh, Steam. You can get it yourself. It's like 15 bucks. It's awesome. Oh when my Manatee God! Geez. With 20 Swiss francs said I've watched so many live streams you have invaded my brain. I dreamed you cut your hair short and became an opera singer. I can't watch today without remembering all short hair opera singer Thor. All talent, but WTF. You got to see an alternate universe Thor. You're not supposed to see those. That's behind the curtain. Yeah. Bloody underscore wolf with 500 bits said what are the rules to gnome the man with the voice changer? <laughs> you have to show me an image of a gnome and make the gnome sound go off. There's a very particular gnome sound. It's not Dark it's not and a normal underscore sound. shadow with 777 bits said Yarchir 777. It is bees. Bees. Dragon Blood 2013 with 500 bits said on a dark desert planet were bugs. Bugs we had to bring democracy to, so we can build a highway, a dark desert highway. There's so many bugs. Mogdash with 500 bits said Hello Games. Do you make Thor? What? ZX here with 500 bits said thanks so much for taking a look at the Amata Steam page last week. Absolutely. Wondering if I could use the footage of your first impression in some promo reels. Please do. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with it at all. I think that's totally fun. I'll never have an issue with that. I, I think your game is cool. So, yeah. Do it. Do it and I have no issue with that. Whatsoever. Gizmoby with 500 bits said I need help with some habits like clean my room or program. And I always give up in four days or less. And I'm never keep myself on it. Any tips? Uh, write it down. If you give yourself a schedule, if you give yourself, like, stuff to do in a list, it is so much easier to do. It is so much easier to do. It's, it becomes one of those things where you mark it off and you feel good. Not you don't mark it off and you feel bad. That's something to always think about. It's, it's better to gamify it and give yourself points for doing it. Brain points, you know? In playing VR with 500 bits said no problemo good sir thanks for the entertainment always Thor. I'm new to Twitch been watching from YouTube for a while. I'm really glad. Thank you very very much. And yeah welcome to Twitch man. It's 
cool over here. 8-Bit Biochemist with £10 said Mr. Thorium, I wanted yes. to ask, what websites would you recommend to improve my coding skills? Ooh. Skullgamer underscore 69 with 500 bits said where do I start to start learning how to make the overlay things with the appy? So, both of those things can actually be the same thing. Um, Twitch's developer docs will allow you to do API call stuff and like learn about API calls. It's great, actually. And when you play around with that, pick up a tool called StreamerBot, which is free, which is what I'm using. And then StreamerBot will let you integrate directly into Twitch, read those API calls and do stuff with it. And this, this can actually help you improve your coding skills, learning how to make things for Twitch. And those things can be helpful for other streamers as well. It's actually really useful. And the thing that I built up there, all it's doing is taking information down from the API call through StreamerBot and then manipulating OBS to put that up. And that's it. It's very simple. Also, a level 14 hype train is outrageous. I hope you guys enjoy your golden kappas. And we're waiting for it. It's got a minute and 30 seconds. A minute, yeah, minute and 30 seconds left. The golden kappa train on the UI says two minutes and 30 seconds. We're going to see which one's correct. We're going to see which one is correct. Because it'll go down to zero. And then it'll give 30 seconds. choose one of you? It's going to go down to zero, and then it's going to sit for 30 seconds to show what the level was. I had to go with him, sorry. Oh no, it's fine. I was just talking oh. to you right now. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's so many subs suddenly. Oh god. Oh, it's level 15. Oh god. It's going, dude. Get it. The UI is so much better than the than the uh, in-stream UI. Because it's instant. It's all done directly through the, uh, the API, man. It's freaking awesome. Something the wise with 500 bits said, I don't think That's I've awesome, heard dude. you say what your all-time favorite game is. Secret of Mana. Sounds like maybe it was Eve until the thing happened. No. Do you have an all-time favorite? Secret of Mana um, on the Super Nintendo, 100%. There we go. Love Secret of Mana, Super Nintendo. In playing VR with 600 oh bits, said Yard Cheer, 100 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 Hey Thor, in new to Twitch. And I wanted to ask you, because I wanted to start streaming, what is the best tip you can give me to help me get started? Thanks for the entertaining content as always. Don't worry about being awesome at first. Just worry about finding your voice. It's really easy to get trapped in the idea that you need everyone to like you, but in reality, you just need to like streaming. And if you like streaming, and you enjoy the process of doing it, eventually other people are going to catch on and they're going to enjoy doing that with you. They're going to enjoy watching you. They're going to enjoy hanging out. And build a Discord and talk to people that watch you. I try to go into Discord all the time and just like sit around with people and talk to them and they freak out when I show up. And I'm like, I'm just another human being. I'll hang out with you. And then I do. And that's it, right? So like, hang out with people. It's a collaborative experience. Your community carries you through everything that you do. And you wouldn't be there without them. Hands down. This is an anonymous account with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, first off love the content, secondly, Thank you. yes, I did make a new, anonymous, account for this message. Oh. I was wondering how would you <coughs> recommend going about starting a stream as a femboy streamer, if you have any suggestions. Would you recommend starting this style of content from the start, or becoming a standard streamer and pivoting to this niche later on in the stream when one would gain the viewership to not destroy the community that is built? Dude, if Hashtag you want to goblins rise up. If you want to stream as a as a femboy, it's fine. Whatever. Welcome to the internet. You be whoever you want. Who gives a shit? It's 2024. You don't need to ask permission for that. Do whatever you want. Who gives a shit? Literally. Yeah, be yourself. Who cares? Overthinking, don't overthink. RCH Aina with 500 bits said, Hey Thor, just wanted to let you know that you were that main reason I felt motivated to get a new full-time job with awesome benefits and career path. Aww. Today is my first day. Wish me luck. I wish you luck. Good luck, dude. New Cernamrek with 500 bits said, Hi Thor, I have Hi. been working as a dev for several years and a few months ago was asked if I want to TMP step in as team lead. I do still code but less and I do miss being more focused on the tech and code. Now I got asked if I want to make it permanent or go back to my previous role. Should I? It seems like the next logical step and there are things I like but unsure. Might be just the growing pains doing something outside my comfort zone. My boss and the team said I'd do a good job, perform well. If your boss and team says that you do a good job and you perform well, right? That's a big thing. I got asked if I want to make it permanent or go back to my previous role. 
you need to determine is that cost effective for you are you making enough money in the new role is the bet is the last role better for you you have to choose and that choice is going to come down to what you feel most comfortable at what you think you have the most growth for going forward and what the pay is like and that's important it's really important do you like your new team that's also very important the parts of the job that are not just the work are going to factor into this for you so you got to choose and think about every one of those little pieces and it's okay to sit down and think about that i need some time to think about it you know so i noticed something the umlaut sector is slowly falling we're at 45 percent now which sector the one we're working on nice meridia is down to 72 percent Benru is down to 80 percent Arata is down to well yeah yeah we're, the we're losing that system the bugs are making a push to get back to heath and Angel's Venture. That's not good. We need those for the major order. <coughs> we have to close up Fenrir. We have to. We just keep pushing Fenrir. Eggs and ICBM. Let's do it. Joel loves us. That's why this is happening. Oh my god. This By the way, I sent you something. Oh. It's very important. Here. Orbit. Synchronized. What about here? <gasps> here? Ooh. I'll trade you. What about here? Trade me? Yeah. Here? Because I have a dog. You have a dog? I have a dog. I'll send you a dog. I like a dog. When we hang out, I'll just hand it to you. We have to plan Thanks. that. I almost have the new house. Soon. Soon? Soon. Nice. Soon. It's a golden kappa. It's a golden kappa, chat. And it has 22 seconds left. Let's see if it works. It's ending. Is it gonna work? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. It ended. It technically ended. Did it work? I think it did. Yeah, it totally worked. Timer worked. Timer worked. Level 16, 84.14%. What up? Thank you very much. You guys are amazing. That is a massive hype train. Thank you. I'm really glad you like the new system. Wow. I, uh... I was digested. It's pretty good. Enjoy your golden capus. You guys are amazing. Can I be uh, uh, no. undigested? Oh. Oh. Ooh, there's a lot. Now there's one less. Ready to liberate. <laughs> Jesus Christ. If you die to acid, it says killed by unknown. Please help me. I got you. Please. Oh, that one is already dead. Alright, let's get out of here. Requesting advanced weaponry! Drop pack pack inbound! Some objective nearby. Thank you all very, very much for that. Yeah, being digested is not very democratic. I agree. I'm gonna start doing the commando thing. All right, sounds good. I'm going out. Where are we headed anyway? Uh, go to the pickup location down Take there. South. That you want to get that launch. Towards, I'm gonna head towards you. That's a bad idea. I'm really fast. I got the foots. I can keep up. I don't know about that. I can keep up. I'm already catching up. I'm not running. Now I'm running. Requesting air support. Oh, 
Hey, Baru. Yeah. Dropped a really big bomb. You good? All right. Yeah, I'm good. I was really worried for a moment there. He's happy, boys. You this okay map over there? sucks. This map sucks a lot. Think of those gifted subs. Holy moly. All those alerts are finally coming through. Oh, I see a mushroom. Oh. Where'd you come from? Uh, we got a turret here. I'm gonna start the machine and then bail. You call me in. Nice. Good kill of that. You call me in, Thor. Oh, yeah. One sec. Oh, God damn it. Calling in reinforcement. Get my gun. Mushrooms down. Let's see if I can't find us. Rare sample acquired. Sample. Picking up as many of these samples as I can out here. That's kind of what I'm doing down here. Nice. Three more commons. Moving, moving, moving. Oh, fuck. Get down. Man. I just got stepped on, dude. Yeah, it's a rough time out there. Yeah, the terrain is just not... Not it. Okay. Whoa. Hey, hello I thought you were a bug for a second. I'm sorry. I'm glad I'm glad I'm not a bug, you know? Alright, nice. I hear sounds. Yes. I know there's samples somewhere on this map. I can smell them. I need them all. It's got two more there. Oh, I got launch codes. Nice. I'm getting so many samples, it's ridiculous. Good to hear. Yeah, it's great. Northwest. Oh, uh, go get that radar. Radar. 
Radar? Yeah, we got a radar. I'm pinging it. Okay. We'll get scans out in a moment. Oh, I see a side objective. I'm gonna grab that real quick. Okay, I need to see if there's anything in here. There likely is. Nice. Sample. 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 Oh, many samples. Yeah, I run I got fast. Got some requisition. My job: run fast, get sample. Uh, I'm stuck. I really like the scout gameplay. Actually, it's pretty fun because they just run around and pick up stuff. Uh, I'm stuck. I can't move. Uh, dive or blow you yourself can't. up using a grenade. Oh, I saluted in the. Ah! There you go. Wolf got me. Okay, I'm starting this. I think anything sees me yet. This is it. Oh my god, thank you for all these subs, guys. You guys are outrageous. Thank you, seriously. So the cool thing about running a scout suit is bugs have a 30% reduced radius of seeing you as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. Doesn't do too much for me, though, because I, as soon as I see a bug, I just want to shoot it. True. That isn't very helpful, I think. I got the terminal! Ah, oh, shit. Oh god. I'm on it. I have to turn it fully around backwards. Mission at 30 minutes remaining. Sending in an eagle. You're good. Pop it. Mission map updated. No wait. I got it. It's gonna die. There we go. I really like that thing. I might honestly I, put that on. I love it, dude. Did we get the sensor? Oh, this thing's done, right? Yeah. Did it go off? Yes. It's... Yes, indeed. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. I feel like it should have shown us more, but I guess not. I guess there's not that much going on on this map. Boring map. You finished Pacific Drive yet? No, dude, there's so much game in that game. I've been having a blast doing it, though. Not a bug outpost. Oh my god. I'm gonna need your help over here with this bug outpost. I don't know if I can. I got a lot of bugs over here. Shit, ticks. A lot of ticks. Thank you very much for those subs. Oh my god, you guys are wild. Dude, my my dog just killed me. Bad dog. Good dog. Democracy dog. Wait, is your dog fighting for the bugs? Wait a minute. Yeah. Traitor dog. Bad dog. Yeah, it looks like we've got basically everything in this map. 
Or less. I'm trying to scan around and see if we can find anything. Dropping a pin, southeast. Marking location. Requesting air support. Wolf is saying nests on them. Wolf, I'm on my way to you. All right, we're going, we're going. Wolf, just hold out. I'm on my way. God, I love the melee. The melee is so strong, dude. It's insane. It is honestly super powerful. Zap. Requesting orbital strike. Dead. The ICBM has gone off. It's a lot of ticks. Let's rock. Well, oh, it's a long, long cooldown. Huh? That seems good. I think I killed most of them there. On my way to extraction. All right, I'll be joining you. Hope you guys didn't have a lot of samples. I had some samples, but I'm on the other side of the map right now. Yeah, did you just try to melt me, Wolf? Wolf's like trying to land on me, dude. A little, a little bit of traitorous action going on there. You know, it didn't feel very democracy. -y. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Tagging location. I got one rare sample. I'll take it. Although, is it really rare? That was pretty good. Call me into that. I'll drop right on top of it. I got you, bud. I marked him for you. I'm coming in. Calling in orbital strike. 
I did some damage to it. Calling in reinforcements. Yeah, I need to run back over there and destroy that base. that mag up. Zappy zappies. Requesting tech pack. I'm going to go pick up whoever's samples dropped over here because somebody's did. How big is your democracy? Wouldn't you like to know? big the answer is yes i keep thinking oh, i can, can strafe those bile titans you can't yeah i didn't kill you no it's too powerful <laughs> Running out of reinforcements. Whoa. Hey, what kind of missile is next out of the, the thing? Calling an extraction. Ah, uh, explosive. Well, that's good. I'm gonna use it. Run. Nice. Ate it. Yes. Perfect. And with one bile titan dead, another one comes from the ground. Shuttle inbound in two minutes. We got a long extraction. That was an amazing grenade. That was an incredible grenade. There's a lot of them. That was a that was awesome. I had secondhand embarrassment for them. You guys gotta stop dying. Survive. We're out of reinforcements. I took down the last bile. Oh wait, there's another one on the extraction. There's a lot of biles. We have to we have to get there. We have to get there, it's gonna abort. Extraction's gonna abort! Oh thank god. Someone's a legend. Al. Al. Need that. What in the hell is happening? Yeah. That's a lot of death. There are so many bug hives. Oh my god. What just blew up on me? Aruku, you murdered us all. <laughs> oh, 
I think we're gonna die, actually. Yeah. Oh my god. Aruka just killed three of us in one go. <laughs> oh, he did? Oh, <laughs> yeah, no. Dude. I was like, what just happened? That's fine. We still win. I was so we got like, the objective done. Yeah, we got the objective. We win. For sure. It's just like, what happened? I was so confused. Yeah, we got all the mains and the optionals. Extraction was only optional left. Yeah. I like how extracting is optional. Extracting is overrated. That was the easiest one? No, I do the harder ones first. The eggs are so easy. Yeah, he voted that everyone leave the map. Good job. Mission passed. No, not the wrong way. Mission passed the right way, dude. Well, I had a bunch of samples for us, but no more samples. Let's go blitz the last two of them. Still securing that number one stims used. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Alright, what do we got? We got an eggs. Just, just eggs? Yeah, it's just eggs this time. Okay. Some humble eggs. We'll start up here and then go down to the right. Let's take a look at what you got. I mean, we could just make one big circle. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel about it, too. I'm a little worried about landing up here, but we should be able to land on top of a rock or something like that. Because the rocks up there are, like, pretty good. Hmm. Speaker bot crashed. What engine work best for a Majesty Fantasy Kingdom sim? I don't know. Nice. Mushroom destroyed. Good way oh, to start pissed. the mission. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm gonna throw that over there, and then I'm just gonna run this way. Sounds good. My bones. I love landing on a mushroom, dude. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Shit. This is not good. Ow. Oh god, oh. I don't even... I don't know what's happening there. Okay, I just need to... I need to set up. Yeah, I still gotta get my stuff. That one. Gone. What? Ruku, what did you just kill me with? How did I just die? It said I was just killed by a Ruku fluff ball, but I have no idea how. I don't even know what happened. Get them! <laughs> Eagle airstrike, but like... Can I get summoned? Oh, yeah. I was at the top of a mountain, and then somehow he killed me, and I don't know what it was. Oh look, we're back on the mushroom. This seems like a good place to be. Yeah, we really haven't moved anywhere. My bones! So we're all good. Yeah, I'm gonna go this way and try to get my arc gun at least. Okay, we got a shield. Shield good. Got my arc door. Alright, we're, we're in business. This is good. Rogue research station is down. Nice. Make sure to get those eggs. I'm gonna start popping these. That's good. 
Nice. Got a nice amount down. of them. Jesus. Man, that thing is turning great. What is going on? Sometimes they turn like shit. Look at him. Yes. The egg is invincible. Ending in an eagle. There we go. You have to get in close, probably. Nine kills on that bomb. Nice. Good amount. I guess we just start heading south from here. Kill it. Got it. Oh, nice. nice. a big one. Yeah, I don't know what that was, but it felt great. Looks like a mini new. Might have been. Attacking location, southeast. Never mind. Enemy control, southeast. Nice. This is a hell of a map. I'm getting some good kills in. Is this fog or mushroom? I think it's just fog. Nice. There's a nest in here. No, this has got to be mushroom, dude. This has got to be mushroom. This is 100% mushroom. There's mushroom in here. Ow. Found it. Found the mushroom. Mushroom dead. A nice. lava shotgun. Oh. We get a radar. You see one? Yeah, there's a radar. Pinging it. I'm going to go try and pop some eggs while you guys are doing that. Objective nearby. Requesting air support. Requesting air I got to find a supply. That thing canceled my bomb. Sending in an eagle. Oh, I thought I wanted to throw that much further. Boom. Requesting air support. 
Run in. I got. I'm going to start picking up samples over here. Nice radar station. Radar doesn't seem to really add much to the map, though. I think it shows you all the little tiny nodes. Oh, little minor interests. Yeah, which are kind of useful, to be honest with you. Okay. Oh shit. Finish off that bug nest. We gotta finish off the eggs over here, to be honest. I'm getting a bunch of samples, though. Yeah, I'm gonna head out of here and try to look for more samples. Do the scout thing. Get it. Zappy boy. Boom. That was your managed democracy. Mine is very managed. Nice. Super samples are found by Wolf. Hell yeah. Good. Or the Titans? I don't know. We haven't seen a single Bile Titan on this map so far. Uh, I've killed like three of them. Oh, maybe that's why. Supplies. Requesting air support. For alien scum. Wait, that's an unexploded bomb. Supplies. If I could blow that up. Oh, I made it mad. That's kind of cool. Supplies. I've never done that before. Neat. Man, those guys are brutal. A little bit. Got you, Ruka. Punched him. Oh man. You you do a tier three to watch me sleep? Thankfully I'll never sleep on stream. It's never gonna happen. What if you pass out? I feel like Shay would slap me awake. Oh my god. I got a few bugs on me. Have you, um, tried roasting them? They kind of look like little cramps. I've always wondered. Alright, I'm at the third egg 